Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. We're here. I've arrived. Hello. Hey. Hey. Congrats on 90k. Thank you. I, f I realized I don't... I don't know if I checked... There's like that follower goal thing. I, I forgot to set it up. <laughs> I'm going to set it to 100k. I thought it was set up 490 so that like when I break it, like you guys get to see it says in chat, it's like reach 90, but it didn't happen. And I was like, oh, <laughs> it is fine. It's not a big, it's not a big deal at all. I just, I, mean, I usually do it every 10k. So I was like, oh, well, I'm setting it for 100. There we go. <laughs> Now it's actually started this time. It's real. It exists. Real and true. Ta-da. Look at it. <laughs> Yay. Yay. <gasps> Luke! Thank you for the 20. Thank you for the 20. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Haven't had the chance to say congrats yet for both the whole V-Children thing and we're 90k. Big cool. congrats. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's, um... I feel like so many things have happened, but also not that many things have changed, which is good. <laughs> it's good. I've made some adjustments to some stuff, but yeah, it's not like not like these horrible, awful shifts very suddenly that even if they're good, they're like crazy to deal with. It was just, it's just a very chill and I, I like that. <laughs> I like that. I like how things have been going, you know? It's been very comfortable. It's been very... Very, very incredibly comfortable the way things have been going. So I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. I, um, I'm doing so much work behind the scenes. There's so much shit that I'm doing. Um, but, oh man. Big Milk has an important question for you. Fridge butter or butter dish? Oh, fridge butter. Fridge butter. Always, 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 always. Refrigeration so that the flavor doesn't change. Butter dish, it... <sighs> Ferment isn't the word, but it, it it turns over time, you know? So it what you do is, if you're going to use it for a specific thing, because you want it to be softer, you just take it out before you do that thing. You know? That's it. You're like, I'm going to have toast. Okay. So you take a bit of butter that you're going to use, and you take it out first before you do anything. And you just leave it out and then you do whatever else you're gonna do and then when you get around to making your toast it's fine you know not gonna schedule my life around butter no 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 i'm saying you take the butter out on your schedule before the thing happens easy so easy you know if only a device could use tiny waves to warm things that would be crazy <laughs> that's insane i've never heard of such a thing what do you mean what what do you mean for baking too, just let it soften. Yeah, yeah, you just take it out and leave it on the counter. Right? So easy. I need my butter soft now. What, what, do you people live like you, you get an idea in your head and you go, oh, I'm gonna do it right now. And that's how you do literally everything in your life. Is that how you live, you freak? Because for me, I'll think about what am I gonna eat later? Oh, I want toast within an hour? Okay. I'll take the butter out. And then I'll go do all my other things that I'm going to do before I actually get to eating. You know? And I don't, I don't make solid plans. I'm not one of those people who needs everything planned out. I really actually just absolutely do not plan stuff out. But I think, you know? I think. Oh boy, time for pre work, <laughs> GG now. Maybe you Being should evil. think. Viking Spirit, thank you for the six months. Kirito, thank you for the four. Raven Minded, thank you for the four of Prime. Uh, I feel like I missed one. I did. No, I missed multiple from earlier. Oh my god. Midnight Fox, thank you for the tier three for two months. Waco, thank you for the 10 gifted subs earlier. Those are all the ones I could see. Yeah, those are all the ones I can see. Well, if anyone subbed earlier, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate it. Think it's for work and maybe driving, not for anything else. Just, just think. I'm not saying you have to be like a mega genius and you have to plan shit. Just, you know, if you're like, I want to have, you think to yourself you're hungry and you're like, maybe, maybe I want to have toast. 
it's not hard to go take out the butter Please right now, but then do the toast, like, in an hour, you know? Don't perceive my lack of butter planning. I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just saying. You can have your fridge butter and have soft butter, too. Very easily. <laughs> Decap, thank you for the 15. No, 16. The 16 months. All I'm saying is it's possible. If you stopped living like a fool, you could have both. You know? You could have both. It's doable. On 90K. He is telling us to do it now. If you're thinking to yourself, man, all this toast talk has me thinking that I kind of want to eat some toast. I think I will in a bit. The moment you think about I will do X thing in a bit, allow the other thoughts to roll in of could I do something now to make that later thing better? Like taking the butter out of the fridge. Ooh, ooh, you know? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I can have both by having one stick in the fridge and one in the butter dish. That too. Imagine that. <laughs> Imagine that. You could keep the butter dish stocked with a small amount and the rest stays in the fridge, right? Like you don't put a full stick of butter on the butter dish. You do like a half stick, a quarter stick even, right? Like two tablespoons. That amount on the little dish. And then when you're out of it, you go, okay, and you get more from the fridge, put in the dish, done. That's a very right now strat as well. If you don't want to think ahead, that's a right now strat. You just you just keep a pipeline of it going. You don't have to think about that shit, you know? <laughs> you just you just refill it. Easy. And then you don't have to have a whole stick of butter sitting there warm, you know? Warm. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, the butter pipeline. <laughs> She's so wise. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I just think there are ways to have everything you want. There are ways to have all the things you desire and you know, you just you gotta reach out and grab them. They're in front of you. They're in front of you, right? Like the butter pipeline, or perhaps you prefer to be a, a butter preparation individual where you take the butter out beforehand when you think of the thing, you know, whichever works for you, but, but you can have it all. You can have it all. That's the butter strat, yeah. The butter and corn pipeline, oh dude. The other day I had corn on the cob, just just salt and butter. Oh. Nothing hits like that. Nothing hits. Now, is it nice to like spice the hell out of it too? Yeah. But I just wanted it buttered. That was it. So good. It was incredible. How do you, uh, what? This person says, how do you spread jelly on peanut butter? What you don't, what the fuck? You have two slices of bread. You put peanut butter on one, jelly on the other, and you put them together and you eat it like that. You don't, you don't put peanut butter on bread and then try to put the jelly on it and like spread that shit. What? That's crazy. Are you insane? Or you get the squeezy tube? That's a strat too. That's a strat too. But I feel like they, they make you pay extra for the squeezy tube when there's like a really easy solution right next to it, you know? You do? You're fucking crazy. You're insane. No. No, you don't. Hot take, I don't actually like peanut butter and jelly that much. Never ate much of it growing up. I didn't like it. <laughs> I don't like them together. I like them alone. I don't I don't like them together. I, they're, they're not like even bad. I just did not want that for lunch ever. It's just never, never a thing that I ever craved. Just didn't love them. Is jelly what I would call jam? They're actually two different things, but I think different cultures also use the words differently, so I don't quite know what it is in your locale. Go look it up. <laughs> Big question, do you use the same knife for the peanut butter and the jelly or separate knives? Oh, separate. 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 Never the same. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Cross-contamination. Not even that it's contaminated with anything bad. Just just don't mix it. What? Jam has sees jelly does not. Right, right, right. Yeah. I thought I thought jam was like the thing that I make on my stovetop. I know you can buy it, but like if I'm making fruit and I'm putting sugar in it and I'm just kind of like boiling it down in my head, I'm like, this is this is jam, right? I don't think I've ever tried to make jelly at home, because that always seemed like a a thing that takes more effort and I just never wanted to do that. So I'm pretty sure jam is, yeah, the one with all the stuff in it still, right? We get seedless jam. The seeds are 
good though. The seeds and the skins are, are actually where like a lot of the nutritional value is located. I would never get rid of that stuff if I if I can avoid it. That's that's why you should eat every fruit with the skin if the fruit has an edible skin. If it's not like, you know, really horribly difficult to eat, like like watermelon or something. Actually, watermelon's not the worst, it's just, you know, there there are worse ones, but you get what I'm saying, like rinds and stuff. That's where a lot of the good nutrition for people is and then all the stuff in the middle the fruit part that tastes sweet and good is just like sugar <laughs> you know it's sugar and water and it's for fast growth of the seed in the middle it's why it is the way it is so it's not a. Uh, it ain't the best it ain't the best so try and eat the whole thing if you can jam or chutney though i'm a chutney fan i am i am every time a chatter has a bad food take the voices get louder dude the voices have not left my head for a solid like eight years. I, <laughs> it never ends. It only gets worse. If you stream, they only get louder. Okay. They only get louder. Eat the orange peel. I love to make like like candied peels. I haven't done it in a really long time because I just haven't. I, I just haven't done it because it's it's effort, but it's not that much effort. Candied peels and stuff. Oh, they're so good. They're so good. Uh, jelly usually uses a gelatin to set it jam, doesn't it? Yeah, 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 exactly. I'm not a fan of anything that you have to use gelatin for. I don't know, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm not. I don't hate jello. I actually kind of like some jello, but I just... If there's a thing that is the same with or without gelatin, I want the thing without gelatin. But... But... I love gelatin if it's naturally occurring in like a broth, right? You have like a bone broth and you have just a bunch of that leaching out of the bones. Oh my God, it's so good. Oh my God, then it's the best. Then I want the gelatin, you know? I don't know why those two things are different to me, but maybe it's because one is umami and one isn't, right? <laughs> maybe that's why. IDK, man, IDK. Less hooves in my diet, the better. <laughs> yeah, yeah proper tonkatsu broth. There's this one ramen shop in, in New York City that I went to that had the the most rich broth I'd ever had in my life. So much natural gelatin in it, like none, none added. It's just that they put their whole ass into this broth. It was so good that I, I like teared up eating it. It was ridiculous. Ridiculous, man. Oh my God. It was insane. It was so good. So good. Whole ass, you say? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. The whole thing. It was just... It was just... Oh, man. They're, they're, the broth was so good. <laughs> it was so good. I haven't had it in a bit. I should go get it. It's been a hot minute. It's like... Getting a bowl of ramen from that shop, though, is... I think the... The cheapest one is like $10. But then the good ones, with all the things in it that I want in it, it's gonna be like 15, maybe even up to $20. So I'm like, ah, you know. I'm not going there every day or anything like that, for sure. It's already expensive enough, no thank you. 24 ramen, yep, yep. I mean, it's very legit made in a great shop and it's in New York City, so... That's just how it is, that's how it is. Leo, thank you for the 16 months, thank you. Thank you. I think I will I will pay more for something if it is that much better, right? Absolutely, but I'm not going to do that often, you know? I do I do pay I I'm really frugal with owning things with, with mo most stuff, but when it comes to food, that's one of those things I am willing to pay a little more for because I feel like if I eat at home, my food variety goes down, right? The number of unique things I end up eating always goes down if I'm always eating at home. Because you're buying things in, in a bit more bulk. Even if you try to vary your diet, you're, you're used to certain recipes that you just enjoy making and you you just, you rely on them, you know? And it directly affects health. So for me, that's the one thing where I'm like, I think this is totally fine for me to just go get food more often rather than making it at home. Even though food does cost a lot. Also, because groceries got so much more expensive since the start of COVID. Like they, the inflation on them is crazy that it almost... It's not that it's that similar in price going out versus making things at home, but the gap has changed a lot, so I don't feel as bad about it, you know? <laughs> yeah, $4 for the eggs, dude. I know. 
it's still cheaper at home but i'm like okay now now i care way, way less because at least the prices of foods that i want to go out and eat those have not changed that much those are mostly the same so i'm like okay well <laughs> i guess i'll just do this then i guess i don't know you eat way healthier when you eat outside that's what i'm saying a lot of people argue and they say, oh no, eating out all the time is so unhealthy. You end up gaining so much weight. And I'm saying to myself, no. No, my variety goes up. I it's you just choose the right thing. There are good options out there. I don't know. I don't know. Now the time cost is a legitimate thing to consider. That was why I started doing it. I was always one of those people where going to a restaurant, going out and getting food was a huge luxury. Never did for the longest time. And then at some point, my the way my work was it was time equals money and i didn't have a lot of time and i quite literally sat down and calculated how much money i could make by using that time to work instead of making food and then washing dishes and you know doing all of the prep and and follow up and i went wow it makes more sense for me to go out and get food and then just keep working <laughs> And that was exactly what I did. I, I made like, I, I flipped a switch in my brain and I went, okay, we're gonna do this now. We're gonna do this now. And I just started going out and, and grabbing food more often. I just, it, it made so much sense for me, right? Slow cooker even, I could do those things, but how many fucking times are you gonna slow cook the same five different things? You know, I just, I grew up eating the same 10 things all the time anyway because my mother was incredibly frugal. No, no more. <laughs> no more. I didn't have to do that. So I said, I'm going to, I'm going to not do that to myself for no reason. You know, you know, you slow cook one thing and eat it for three days. Food's one of those things I have to have variety. I, I go, I go crazy. I go crazy. I don't know, man. I don't know. Slow cooking comes back to the butter conundrum. I'm not a great planner. Yeah, yeah. I was never comfortable leaving a slow cooker on, even though I know I know they're very safe for the most part. I was not comfortable leaving them on in the house and leaving. Ever. No, no, I don't like that. But I was coming home late. I wasn't, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I was, it just, it just wasn't an option for me. I, I know they're mates that you're, you're supposed to be able to, but I can't do it. I, I do not leave things on and go out ever. Not even, not even lights, not even lights if I can avoid it. That's, you know, I don't like that. Or certain ones, some of them okay, some of them not okay. I don't know. What if it randomly explodes? What if it's, what if it shorts and what if a thing happens? That's pretty much all house fires are started by something that normally works, suddenly not working. That's just it, you know? So yeah, that's why slow cooking is a great thing you could do, but I just, I couldn't do it. Yeah, but if a cat jumps on it, that's the other thing too. It's not like I'm leaving the home and there's nothing there. There are cats. There are cats that run around and play and do all these things. They might smell food and go, oh, you know, and start walking up to it to see what's going on. And while my cats are not the types to try and get into something if it's very hot or unplug it or whatever you just don't know so i i just couldn't i couldn't do it and i was tec technically working from home a lot of the time but i would still have to go out often enough to do things and, and eh, you know most of my hours were home but not all of them every day so i couldn't do it i couldn't do it man cat's just waiting to strike when she's out you know what my cats do when i do go out and come back I, I set up one of those cameras a while back and I was checking. You know what they do? They sit near the door and chill. They literally, the, the Patrick line where he's like, wait for you to come back. That's my cats. <laughs> I leave the house and they just sleep. They're like, there's no point if she's not home. And they just, they just go to bed. <laughs> They sleep or they if they're awake, they just sit near the door or they sit in a spot where they can keep glancing at it and looking. That's all they do, you know. But if I have food on, you know, that's that's like a, a new novel thing. They might they may go check it and I don't want that. I don't want that at all. No, no, no. Your dog shits around the house. I wish she'd love me. <laughs> 
<laughs> she just shits. <laughs> I'm gonna shit just like right in the middle of the floor. That's fucked up. Do they sit on the window? Yeah, they like the little the little window sills and things. Yep. I have some um I really like them. I got these cat shelves that you can attach to the wall and they attach really nicely right under a windowsill. So if you have a tiny windowsill, it'll kind of extend it out. And it's got like a little a little curve to it, you know, so they could sit in this like curvy shelf that they fit in like a little bowl. Oh, they love it. They love it so much. Or, or if it's, uh, if I do have a bigger flat surface near it, I'll just put like a, a round bed. I have one to the left of me, just right next to uh, one of my big windows. And they sit in there all the time. And I love it because I have these, there are these two air vents that blow cool air right onto this one little corner next to a window. But it also gets really hot in that spot because the sun is just beating down. So what I do is I place a cat bed there and Wolfie sits there all the time because he gets very warm from the sun, but he also is being cooled by the two different air vents that are blowing onto that one spot. So he's like, he's in paradise, right? He can sit there and bake, but also not get too hot. <laughs> he's been sitting there every single day for at least like two, two, three hours, I would say. <laughs> yeah, perfect balance. <laughs> he loves it. He loves it. And it's in a spot, it's it's to my left, it's in a spot where when he sleeps there, he can occasionally just look up and stare at me and then look, you know, go back down and sleep. Which is all Wolfie seems to want to do. He goes and he sits in areas with sunlight and, and cooks himself, you know, and then comes back over here. He just wants to sit somewhere where he can see me. So I put that over there. It's it's the perfect layout. <laughs> he just sits across the room and stares at me. It's actually really creepy. So he'll be completely asleep, like, like snoring. Literally, I hear him snoring. And then he'll just go. And he'll look at me to make sure I'm like not dead or whatever he's checking on. And he'll stare for a solid two minutes. Unchanging, unblinking, two minutes. And then he'll just go back to sleep. And I'm like, what is he, do what is he doing? What is going on? What, what is that? I don't know what that is, but he just he just has to look at me occasionally. <laughs> so creepy. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it spaces north and south with a lot of east-west windows. My cats follow the sun from one side to the other. Yeah! Yep, there, there are times when certain windows get that, that late afternoon sun, or it's, it's a lot of afternoon sun, really, just kind of beating down in the same location, and that spot just gets warm for the afternoon, and they are always there. They are always there. I see it every time, every time. Your dog would do that, too? My, my last dog, she would do that. She would, uh, sit, she would sit under my desk, and she would sleep under my desk, so I put a, a big old dog bed under there, and I would just put my feet on the dog bed. <laughs> And she would just, she would sleep in like a ring around my feet. <laughs> and that was just how we would be like every day. And I'd sit there, um, she was, she was a huge dog too. She was like, I want to say at least 80 pounds and not, and not fat. She was a, just a big fucking dog. <laughs> she was just a huge breed. And, um, so she would just be like this big ring around my legs. And I would know she wanted something because her, her head would just, she'd put her head on my lap. And I'd look down, I'd just see like her nose sticking out from under the desk, just the nose. And she'd be like, <laughs> you know, to get my attention. <laughs> I like big dogs. Big dogs. I miss having a dog. It doesn't fit my lifestyle right now, so I just have two cats, but I miss having a dog. I do. I don't know if I would get another one. I think about it all the time. I, I think with my current lifestyle, I wouldn't because I, I don't want to be a half-assed dog owner, you know? Whenever I did own a dog, I tried to be very active with it. So I'd want to take the dog outside all the time, go play with the dog all the time. And if I'm sitting here for a long periods of time, just working at a computer and not really getting up and like spending 20 minutes with her in the middle of it or something like that, then I think it doesn't make sense for me to get one. But the cats are good. What type of cats do you have? Normal American cats that I adopted. <laughs> no special breeds or anything like that. I don't think you should get special breeds when there are a billion cats uh, in shelters. Just go go to the shelter and be like, can I have a cat? And they'd be like, check it out. We got 50, <laughs> you know, <laughs> get those. They're almost all going to be American short hairs and they're going to be cool. They're going to be real nice. 
They're gonna be wonderful. Wonderful. That and small medium dogs, 525 pounds aren't your thing, right? Yeah, no, I, I think I don't want to, I, I would not want to own a dog unless it's 30 plus pounds. I don't dislike small dogs, but other people have them like, oh, they're cute. But I just personally like a, a bigger dog. Tuxedo, torty, calico. Why do you want to know, huh? 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 What do you want to know, huh? Huh? You stoned two shepherds. Yeah, my, my old dog, she, she was a shepherd mix. She was something huge. Some amount of black lab, some amount of, uh, border collie but something else mix, mixed in there that made her fucking huge and we don't know what it was <laughs> i don't think it was the labrador because labradors can get big but usually males so i don't know why she was so huge she was something i don't know was this that i'll read in a sec ryuko said is it time can i complain about dog owners ryuko pop off pop off american labs get big yeah yeah but 80 pounds big without being fat a, f a female lab maybe maybe it just seemed really large that seemed like uh it seemed to me like the males got that big but not the females she, she wasn't fat you know so she didn't weigh a lot uh extra for her body type i don't know man i don't know i just thought she was probably mixed with something else because they figured that she was because she was so huge so huge why is the TTS not playing? Let me reload the thing. Hold on, I'll read out what you guys were saying. Let me, let me, uh, let me reload it. So it works. Uh, oh, that's why. I see why. Okay. It is fixed. Okay, before she pops off, do depart. Oh, well, thank you. Um, what did you say? Did I? I was a huge dog lover. Then I met my girlfriend's cats. Now I have a million pics of them. Love dogs still, but we go with cats now. It's a lifestyle thing. Yeah, just whatever fits you. Both are good. Whenever someone's like, I hate cats or I hate dogs. Uh, shut up. They're both good. <laughs> you probably met a bad one. <laughs> it's and you just you hate animals. It's okay. Just say it. <laughs> you would like to have a golden retriever one day. I tell everybody to just get a golden retriever straight up. Whenever any of my friends, especially if you haven't owned a dog before, get some sort of retriever. It doesn't have to be golden retriever, but any type of retriever. Labrador or golden. Just just go. Get one. They're the best. They're good size. They're nice. They don't have incredible, crazy grooming needs. You just keep them not dirty, right? They are not crazy uh in need of of a lot of training heavily you should train every dog but they're not hard to train right you don't have to be super super anal about it you can just slowly and calmly teach them a thing and they will pick it up the breed is just like that honestly that's that's retrievers are like the easiest and they're very sweet on average they're very sweet yeah, they're good listeners. They they really want to do what you want them to do. They're not trying to be different, <laughs> you know. And I think I think because of that, if someone is trying to get a dog but they haven't had one before, it's the way to go. Just go with labs or, or goldens. Yeah, just do it. <laughs> Furthermore, if you ain't willing to brush that thing yourself, don't get a doodle. Oh my god, yeah. People keep getting dogs that look cute because they look cute in a magazine and then they just don't brush them re not realizing that their hair type needs it and i'm like Ugh. it's so bad for them man they're sitting there grooming themselves and everything trying to clean themselves and you're like not helping them even though they have a hair type that they can't clean themselves it, ugh, it drives me crazy also <laughs> ryuko said before this i feel this so hard for the love of god there's no reason to have an aussie shepherd or any herding breed in the city <laughs> I know, I know, I know. It's one thing if it's like a mix, but to go get yourself, this is something that drove, drove me crazy. My dog was a little bit mixed with Border Collie and it came out of her occasionally. Thankfully, she wasn't like crazy um, in need of uh, attention all the time. She needed to feel like she was working sometimes, but she was lax enough that I could just hide toys around the house and she would find them once a day and I'd be like, you did it. And she'd be like, all right, job well done. And she wouldn't need more than that, you know? She was chill. Uh, one of my friends knew that she was mixed with Border Collie and, and she had certain herding behaviors because of it, but it wasn't like a, a need to work beyond that, you know? And she thought that was cute. She got a Border Collie. And I said, hey, 
before she got a dog. She was, she was talking about dog breeds and things. She was mentioning Border Collies. And I said, don't get one. You live in the city. Do not get one. That dog will go fucking insane. You will not know how to handle it. You are, you are a chill person. You do not go out five times a day running. You don't want that dog, you know? She got one anyway. She ended up, because she loved the dog so much and she was kind of willing to do stuff with it, she ended up just picking up and moving out <laughs> to an area where she could have a proper yard for her dog. Girl moved her whole life <laughs> for this dog. And I was like, that's good. That That's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she changed. She changed. She didn't move like super far out, but she wasn't in the middle of the city anymore. You know what I mean? She, she was able to get a yard and able to do things with this dog. And it was fine because she was working remote. You know, it made sense for her to move out of the city anyway. But yeah, she completely picked up and moved because of it. <laughs> I was like, thank God, man. Thank God. But it's, it's, I felt so bad when she first got it because I was like, you, you don't understand. You don't understand how much work this dog is going to be, <laughs> you know? And in a city environment, it's harder, you know? It's really hard. When people buy puppies because they're cute and then return them to shelters when they become less cute, it fills me with an ungodly amount of rage. Dude, constantly. You said, my least favorite dog at my job is an Aussie and his ass is not trained. He has too much energy and he doesn't know what to do with it. That's what I'm saying. They have to be. Uh, yeah, yeah. I just, just go, go get the most chill, get the chocolate lab that just wants to sit on the floor near your feet and be like, mm, feed me. Just get one of those, you know? They're so good. <laughs> They're so good. I love them so much. They're the best dogs ever. They drool a bit. That's it. That's all. Used to take my beagle on 35 mile hikes, never tired. Oh, I know, beagles are crazy too. A lot of people get beagles and they're like, oh, they're so cute and small. I like their little heads. And I'm like, dude, they're going to be going ooh, 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 through the middle of the night and you're going to be fucking going insane. <laughs> One of my cousins has two beagles <laughs> and her beagles are fucking crazy. One's, one's a full and one's half, but they both do the ooh thing. They sound like they're crying and dying, you know, it just, man. People forget beagles are hound dogs. Yeah, they're they're really good at certain types of work too. Yeah, I know. I know. Aren't huskies like that too? Huskies complain. <laughs> huskies complain. I've found even if you quote unquote train them well, they just like they they they're really loud. Yeah, they sulk. They throw fits if if you do something that they don't like. And that's why I'm saying get a lab, right? Because a lab. You do something they don't like and they're, they just sigh. They just go, oh, whatever. And they just accept it, right? <laughs> like, like they can, they can just chill and be like water under the bridge, man. Okay. Huskies don't do that <laughs> on average, on average. So I'm, I'm telling you, labs are the greatest. Any, any, any standard retriever is the best dog you can have at home. <laughs> you know? Every time I see a husky video, I feel so glad I got out of the phase of wanting a husky. <laughs> yeah. Yep. For me, it's not just, it's just, their personalities are cute. You know, I always liked having animals that you have to be really uh, on hands-on with and really, you know, aggressive in how you're training them. I always preferred that, but it's the, it's the grooming. It's the fur on huskies that I cannot do. Animal hair around the house is fine. You clean it as you go. It's fine. That doesn't bother me. It's the amount of fur that they shed and and just, oh my God. Ugh. It's horrible. It is unbearable. I <laughs> No, I had a dog before my last one that was the type that shed a lot. That was the one that I think I told you guys about, the Great Pyrenees. Um, he shed a lot. He shed a lot. But even then, it was, it was easier to groom him and just be... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Ahead of it. I feel like with Huskies, you can't be ahead of that. They're just going to shed a shit ton every day. At least with the Pyrenees, when I would groom him, he had a more wiry long coat. And as I would groom him, he just... He, it, we got it out of him by hand and didn't have to, like, you know, get it off the couch, basically. <laughs> it was not so bad. So I liked him. My brother has a Pyrenees huge dog. Yeah, yeah. Yep loved him he was he was fucking enormous my pyrenees was was god he was he was just huge he was a huge dog 
love them. And and we had this tiny, 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 tiny outdoor spot for him that um, he didn't want to like run around and have a big amount of land to be in. He just wanted one spot to sit in the sun. And and that was what we had. And we had this like patch for him and he just, he just chilled out. He wanted to be outside all the time and he just wanted to chill. And, and he was so nice. Yeah, they're super chill. They are, they are. The boy's nearly 100 pounds. This dog was, oh man, he was, he was over 100. I don't remember how big he was, but God, he was huge. It's that guard dog in him. Yeah, because, because the Pyrenees is a, it's a, a breed that they use to guard sheep herds specifically. And they like to kind of like back up on a rock face, walk backwards up them just a little bit. I'm like on a slope, not a 90 degree steep rock face, but they like to walk backwards up them a little bit to get a little height and just look around, right? They like to get a little high ground and just and just watch to make sure that nothing's happening. So that's what he wanted. He just wanted to go outside where he felt like he could have a good vantage point on like, you know, everything around the home and, and just sit there and just watch. And he was very happy doing that. He was so satisfied. So yeah. And we had a little spot, one spot that was a little higher up and he would sit there and he would just look around. <laughs> they're interesting videos of them working on YouTube. Yeah, you can see their cool toes. They have this special backwards toenail kind of thing going on that most dog breeds do not have. It's very unique to them. And it helps them have grip when they walk backwards with their back feet up a little, um, a little mountainside, I guess you could say a little rock face. It's very cool. It's very neat. And it was, it's funny because then when he would get on the couch, he would do that. He would go backwards. <laughs> he would he would step in front of the couch, put his butt up to it, and then put his back feet up on it and then <laughs> walk himself backwards onto the couch. <laughs> it was just, I guess, natural for him, like how to get up on a thing. <laughs> he would do it too when I was eating. When I'm sitting at the dinner table. He would try to sit on me and, you know, he's fucking huge. It just like never fit. But he would still just he would put his butt on the chair and then like start like backing up. <laughs> Stupid. I liked it a lot though. It was very, very cute. I loved it. St. Bernard sheds a ton. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I love St. Bernard's. I just like big, thick dogs, you know, big boys. Big boys. They go backwards up any staircase because they can. Yeah, <laughs> he used to do that too. We had these two staircases, yep. Yeah, and he would do that. He would back up the whole thing. Sometimes he would walk up you know, the front way when he was walking with us, especially. But if it was just him alone, he would just back up the staircase. And it's just, <laughs> I liked it. I liked it a lot. Eric says aunt had a mastiff. Oh, yeah. I feel like I wouldn't get a dog that big if it was just, you know, just me owning the dog. Then it's kind of crazy. Um, I think I would do, I would, I would do, I don't know. Just another retriever, probably. Another retriever. I think my my favorite dog breed is a. I like Bedlington Terriers a lot, <laughs> and I like um, I like giant Schnauzers. I like Schnauzers. I like them, but they're a little. They they need a little uh, exercise, and I'm not I'm not willing to go and take them out on the town 500 times a day. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Bernie's mountain dogs might be the friendliest of the big floofers. Yeah, I just like big dogs. They're just, they're just, they're chill. They want to sit around. They want to meet everyone. You could take them to a place and they'll be social. People getting an 80 pound Bernie's mountain dog and not teaching it to not jump. Oh my God. <laughs> Drives me insane. My dog wouldn't jump. My big old dog, the last one that I had, she would not jump. But she always wanted me to give her a hug like that. Like she would, she would like, like half jump in front of me, implying that she wanted to put her feet on my shoulders so I could just stand there with her. <laughs> she just wanted to like, she wanted to put her front paws on my shoulders and then stare at me. That's what she wanted. She just wanted to stare at me. So I would, I would let her, <laughs> but she didn't try to do it on her own. She would like wait for me to tell her, you know, that it was fine. That's all she wanted. It's all she wanted because you know i'm not i'm not that tall so she was basically my height when she stood up so we, <laughs> we would just stand next to each other and she'd just be like okay <laughs> and i would do that i would watch tv like that she would put her paws on my shoulders and and put her like head on a shoulder and she'd just be standing and i just have the tv on and we'd just chill she just wanted to be there <laughs> she would do it for like 10 minutes straight <laughs> your burner doodle does it 
Someone brought an Irish wolfhound to the park once and it was awe inspiring. Yeah, oh my God. That's like, <sighs> I would love an Irish wolfhound. That's probably one of my most favorite breeds ever, but not one that I would own if it was just me. Too big, but God, I love them. I wouldn't, I wouldn't own a dog that big again, I think without having a, a larger, not, not a large, but larger yard than what I had. I just want them to have room. That's all. Yeah, in the short lifespans, who, who the fuck? They only live like three years. All right, a little hyperbolic, buddy, a little hyperbolic. But yeah, they, they, the bigger the dog breed, usually the shorter the lifespan on average. And so, I, um, yeah, I'm not good with that. I'm not good with pet, with pet deaths. No, no, I'm not good with it. I'm, I'm getting one that's going to live way longer. I can't do it. <laughs> no, thanks. Yeah, but Great Dane's so cute. I know, I know they are. They're so cute. I love them. I love them. Love when my lab gets up on my bed and settles in, does his little huff. That's what I love about dogs. My favorite thing that they do is when they sigh. When they lay down and they look out the window and they act like they haven't seen their husband in 10 years. He went out to sea, you know, and they just go. <sighs> and there's like nothing wrong with their lives. You just gave them a million snacks and you feed them every day and they don't have to do any work. They have the best life ever, but they're like, <sighs> as they look out the window, I'm like, what's wrong? What? Nothing. Fucking nothing's wrong, all right? Nothing. Ryuko says, free dog trainer tip. If you want to teach your dog not to jump on people, when they jump, ignore them by turning your whole body away from them. They'll learn that's not the way to get attention. <gasps> oh, that's true. Sometimes when you tell them no, it's, it's some attention. So they're like, oh, <laughs> it worked. Yeah. Because then you start asking them what they want. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Dog huffs at me when I give him a bunch of kisses on top of his head. <laughs> I, I kiss my cats. I kiss them right on the head, right on the face, just directly on the face, you know? And Wolfie, whenever I do it, he like turns away a little bit, but not too much, you know? Not, not too much. He makes it look like he doesn't want that to be happening. But if I keep kissing like the side of his head, he's like pushing into it, you know what I mean? And I'm like, why, do you, why are you pretending? <laughs> why are you pretending, hmm? He's always like that. Because if he actually doesn't want it, he'll just run. He'll just he'll just start walking away, you know? Like, that's that's a very cat thing. But yeah, he just sits there and he's like, Very cute. You have a pet channel in the Discord. Show us your dogs. Yeah, send dog pics, send dog videos, send cat pics, send cat videos. Do it. You have a Basenji? <gasps> when he goes under the blankets when I go to bed, he always lets out a little groan when she... Oh, she, when she finally lays down. <laughs> oh, Basenji's so cute. Such so cute. One of my uh, uncles was it my uncle that had it? Yeah. He had this. It wasn't a Basenji. It was something like a Basenji. He had this one dog that was just so cute, and all it wanted to do was was hang out with everyone. It just wanted to sit on people, you know. It wanted to be directly on your lap at all times. What was it? It wasn't a Basenji. It was something very similar. It looked similar. Let me think. Let me think. Breeds like Basenji. Oh, they're so cute. I love their little curly tails. Uh, maybe it was a mix. I don't know. I don't know what he had. I don't know what he had, but it looked a lot like Basenji. Very similar. Pyrenees. Dude. <laughs> One of the things about the old Pyrenees that I used to have, they, they really want to be on your lap or they want to sit next to you and lean on you. They think think that you can handle it they think you can handle it but the dogs are fucking larger than humans you know so, <laughs> so pyrenees will just <laughs> they'll just get on you and crush you to death <laughs> and that was that was what my pyrenees would do all the time all the time you have a pyrenees healer mix Ooh, how big is it did it get the pyrenees size or or not I just, I just like their, their coat, even if it's crazy. I like how shaggy they are. The giant love bugs. Uh, some of them are, some of them aren't actually. Some Pyrenees just want to go outside and be guard dogs, but they don't actually want to hang out with you that much. It really depends. Um, it depends on how you raise them. It depends on if they are raised to work. Some of them just are kind of born with that personality. Some of them just want to work and they're not that interested in being your friend. <laughs> they're not disinterested, but you know. 
not as much as the ones that constantly try to sit on you on the couch. So it's very interesting. Although medium big dogs think they're like small dogs. <laughs> they don't care. They don't care. But that's what I would do. My dog would try to lay on me and crush me. So then I would go find my dog and lay on them. And, and they would be like, oh, <laughs> maybe this isn't so great. And they would learn. They would understand. You just have to teach them by example, which means, you, yeah, you have to lay down on your dog. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you do that to your lab. That's what I used to do to mine. Yeah, my lab mix. I, <laughs> I would just straight up, I would I would plank on her, you know, just lay down on her to teach her to stop. She liked it, though. But she stopped laying down directly on me. She started, like, leaning on me instead because she. I think she understand that I was... Uh, you know, I was kind of crushing her a little bit. She would kind of crush me a little bit. She was like, okay. <laughs> I get it now. I get it. There's two boxers at your job that take turns sitting in your lap. I love boxers. One of my other uncles, I have five billion uncles. One of my other uncles had a boxer. God, I loved that dog. I loved that dog so much. What a nice fucking dog. Holy shit. And we used to take him out. Um, we, we would, he would actually go hiking with us sometimes. I used to go with, with that little, that branch of the family. Some of us would go hiking and the boxer would go with us. Oh my God. Dude, he was such a good dog. I liked him a lot. He got Uncle Haver. Yeah. Yeah. My parents are both people that have like 5 billion siblings. <laughs> so when I say my uncle, I have to think in my head. I'm like, was it this one that had it? Was it that one that had it? And I have to sort it through like at least... <laughs> it's a lot of uncles. It's in the, it's in the beyond the double digits, you know. <laughs> it's a lot to think about. <laughs> Brother is a Napoleon Mastiff, all, over 50 kilograms. Oh my god, that's huge. Big old dog. <laughs> Uncle Tearless Stream went. <laughs> if I were comfortable sharing like the names of all of my uncles and and facts about them, I would do that. However, they will remain unknown. You can just know that I have a nebulous amount of uncles and I have a lot of family members. <laughs> you have a huge family? I do. Mm -hmm. I do. If I go to like my grandmother's for Christmas or something, there are three different dinner tables set up. Three separate long dining room-esque tables set up to fit everyone around. And even then, it's still not quite enough. There's so many people and I know all of them. And I have all of their phone numbers. <laughs> no one's estranged, you know? <laughs> so it's very like... <laughs> it's fucking... It's a lot. Give them aliases like Giuseppe and Peppino. That would be so funny. I should. Oh my god. Do you have a favorite family member? Why Why the fuck was that so loud? What? Jesus Christ. This Wait, it's gonna be loud again. Ah! There we go. Holy shit. It was, it was auto-playing my next uh, video on my playlist. <laughs> My God, my ears. Oh, you got a family family? Yeah, and when someone marries in, they're part of the family, you know? And they come to our place because we go hard on all the holidays. So I have a lot of family of very different cultures. <laughs> very, very different uh, kinds of people, you know? So sometimes I'll be talking about celebrating something and people will be like, why do you celebrate that? And I'm like, don't worry. We got the infinity gauntlet. <laughs> we have all of them, okay? <laughs> we have an excuse to have every single fucking holiday happen. Literally all of them, all right? We have everything. I'll be carrying some cousin around and they're like, did you adopt that child? You know, walking around the mall with some young second cousin. Or is it cousin once removed when it's a cousin's kid? I'm walking around with them. They're like, oh, are, did you adopt this child? And I'm like, this this child is actually directly blood related to me. Thank you very much. Even though we look literally the opposite. But they are related to me. Thank you. <laughs> it's just, sometimes I'll have one cousin from one cousin and one little cousin from another cousin and they look ridiculously different and I've got both of them with me and people are like, what is, oh, do you run a daycare? No. I mean, I almost do. No. They are related to me. <laughs> and it's just funny. <laughs> it's very, very, very funny. Can't wait for the Kwanzaa stream. None of them actually celebrate Kwanzaa, but I, I learned how to do um, 
I learned how to take care of like extremely textured hair to be able to do um, one of my like little cousin's hair. I kind of knew because of like some of my best friends growing up, you know, like I just, I already knew the principles, but I didn't have like hands-on experience. I wasn't about to be like, can I touch your hair? You know, cause that's fucking weird. But I learned how to like do it really well so that I could, I could do her hair. And now she comes to me for the shape up, you know, she comes to me. She goes in the pool, she gets out of the pool and she's like, can someone do my hair? And she just glances at me because she knows I'm the only one that's like, <laughs> that like is going to do it right besides like her mom. <laughs> I'm always doing it, man. Always, 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 you know, taught her dad how to do it too. Heard that curly hair is incredibly finicky and, and there's so many different types between wavy and curly and they should all be taken care of a little differently because something that works for very curly hair won't work for wavy hair it'll weigh it down it'll be too much you know it, and, and then it's not just what your hair looks like what's the porosity of your hair do you even know do you even do you even, uh, even understand what that is most people like don't get taught about that but it has so much to do with what products you should use and i feel like everyone should know porosity yeah how porous it is if you wet your hair and someone else wets their hair and you just sit there and let it air dry in the same exact environment does yours dry faster does it dry slower you can figure out porosity that way porosity is in how porous it is the way it absorbs and releases moisture right that has so much to do with the ending texture of it so it's oh my god there's so many stupid little factors to learn about but once you do it it really uh it pays off Porpoise. <laughs> Porposity. <laughs> How porous would bald be? <laughs> you got pores in the top of your head, bro. You got pores everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, it has to do with the cuticle type. You know, you know what hair looks like under a microscope? You know, it looks like a, a scaled, like, like the hair shaft is in a line, yes, but it looks like a bunch of little overlapping scales going down. It's these little keratin scales. Gina, you know, it looks like that. Do you remember mm. the 21st night of September? Do you remember? So imagine the curly hair is the way it is because the shape and layout of those little scales are not the same. They're regular and they tend to grow in kind of one way a little more. So the end result is that it grows out in a curled shape, right? And then on top of that, sometimes those little, those little scales of hair, right? They can be laid down a little flatter. Some of them are kind of not so laid down. And that affects how much they kind of stick to the other hairs next to them. Are they, are they silky, quote unquote, or not? Do they kind of stick to each other and hold together? So like little curly locks, do they, do they hold together or not very easily? Some people's don't, even though they have curly hair, right? And so these, these little factors affect so much about the end result of how your hair looks and changes what products you need to use to make them work. But like, no one sits there and analyzes their own hair. You just try shit, you know, <laughs> see what works. <laughs> and then once you figure out what works, you're like, oh, my hair must look like this under a microscope. <laughs> You do it like backwards, you know? But yeah, it's hard, man. Scales of hair, I'm a reptile. It's kind of the, it's the best way to describe it, right? It looks like little overlapping plates, but yeah. It affects a lot, it affects a lot. Here's a little thicket spring, you gotta pick it again, pick an oil. I, <laughs> I love playing with, with, you know, certain hair types because you can like shape them in a certain way that you can't do with others. And it's so fun. It's so fun to be able to do, you know? Hair science. There's so much that goes into it. And um, I don't know, I, I never really cared about taking care of my hair beyond what whatever was necessary for the longest time, because it just looked, it looked okay. It was passable, it was fine without doing anything to it. And then later on, when I got a real job, I was like, oh, <laughs> I realized that looking good affects um, how people see you in the workplace <laughs> and affects your opportunities and affects if you're trying to sell someone on something, you're trying to push one of your ideas. If you look better, they'll be like, oh, <laughs> you have great ideas, right? Stupid. So I was like, I guess I'll learn how to put effort in. <laughs> it's the worst reason to have to learn this stuff, but, but I did, I did. I don't know, but growing up, I like didn't, I didn't care. I was very utilitarian. I didn't give a shit. And I kind of regret not learning earlier because then I'm like, well, what, what opportunities could I have had if I did this shit earlier? You know? <laughs> Lamau even? Yeah. <laughs> it's so stupid. So dumb. 
struggle to find my hair type in video game character creators it's curly but not super curly it's not exactly wavy either yeah there's a chart i'll show you i'll show you reese's puffs reese's puffs eat them up 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 i'll show you the chart the chart here we go here we go everyone everyone's somewhere on this and if you describe this to somebody it helps them figure out how to help you across the internet boom boom you're categorized into one two three four and then the ABC within it is a finer way of talking about it. Now that there are other distinctions between hair, but this is like the, the the earliest thing, like what your texture looks like, right? Doesn't go over your porosity or anything, but you can look at this and figure out kind of where you are. And then what you do is go to YouTube. There are so many creators on YouTube that know what the fuck they're talking about and take care of their hair. And you just search for this. If you're like, if you're like a 3A, right? You can be like, oh, 3A hair routine. That's it, that's it. Just look at, oh, 2B, 2B hair routine. Hairstyles for 2B hair, right? And they'll show cuts that work on that hair texture instead of like everything being fucking straight and tall hell and styled tall hell. That's, that's the chart for 4A, yeah. And some people, a lot of people that their hair looks like it's 2A or 2B, if they start doing a, a curly routine on how they wash it and what products they put in it, it becomes like 3A, right? A lot of people that are somewhere in the middle, they, you have a range basically. So it's good It's good to know this because then when you go to a salon, um, you can you can kind of talk about it. You'll be like, I, I have, this is how I would describe my texture to you, right? Because there are different levels of wavy. They're also within that, there's some people that have wavy hair and it's like, it's just like this S shape going back and forth. And there's some people that have wavy hair, but it has the slightest amount of curl. It does actually go in a spiralized pattern, but it's just so light. So, you know, that chart doesn't cover absolutely everything, but but it helps you kind of start talking to a stylist about like what's going on with your head, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? But there's there's a lot more. You're grinding for 3A. Are you doing it to the extent where you started using like shampoos without surfactants and all that stuff? Are, are you doing that kind of grind or... Or do you still use um, conditioners with silicones in them and all that stuff? I don't know if you've gotten that deep into it. <laughs> but there's a lot. There's a lot you can do. Like a lot, a lot. What in this earth is a surfactant? Okay. You know how conditioners usually use dimethicone, trimethicone, and all sorts of silicone derivatives to smooth out your hair? So, so do a lot of types of skincare. It's not bad for you, but that's how conditioners tend to work. No? Okay. Well, that's how they work. Most of them. Most of them. They use the silicones because what silicones do is they create a light mesh of occlusive behavior, meaning they're not going to let water come out. So your hair is going to stay moisturized. It's going to hold in that moisture. But silicones are... They're a little heavy of a molecule. It's not a bad thing at all, which is why they all use them, right? But to take a silicone of some sort, a dimethicone, a trimethicone, whatever you have on your hair, and remove it from your hair, to, to actually break it down and get it off of your hair, you have to use a soap type that will break it down. So what they have in shampoos are surfactants, as they're called, and those can actually break down things like dimethicone, you know, not necessarily to smaller molecules, but they can get them to be removed from a surface, right? Which is great. The thing is, if you have really curly hair, using some sort of shampoo with surfactants in it can be overly drying, especially if your hair has a certain type of porosity, right? Surfactants, those that are in those shampoos that remove conditioners, most types of conditioners, are too drying for you. But you have to use conditioner to be smooth, right? So you're in this conundrum where you're like in this cycle where when you use very standard products, you just keep using this harsh shampoo type and you keep putting this very he heavy silicone based conditioner on and you're just you're just in that circle forever right so if you're trying to make your hair curly or you're trying to go a bit curlier because you know you have hair texture and everything but you don't want to use the overly drying stuff you want your hair to still be hydrated you got to change up what products you use completely so you do one wash that still has surfactants in it to get the last 
conditioner off of yourself however you can and you swap to natural products and use oil based things instead uh and and just some of them some of them are different not all of them are oil based but basically they don't have silicones in them and then you don't have to use shampoos with surfactants in them to get them off which means you can use lighter easier to use shampoos or easier on your scalp kind of shampoos so they don't dry you out that's the, <laughs> the that's the most layman's terms i can kind of do it but yeah basically if you want to go curly just read up on that kind of stuff be read up on how to switch to conditioners that don't have silicone in them and there will be like a million guides but that's the good shit man that's the good shit if you if you feel like your hair is like not quite straight and you're like how curly could it go you can try that and they'll literally they'll be like the curly girl method or whatever is what you can search for on youtube um some people don't describe it well some people do but just look for that on youtube and see people's routines and um Okay, yeah, I that's basically will put what they're the doing. In one directly on my hair and scalp. <laughs> Amber, thank you for the tier three for 20 months. Thank you. I mean, no one has to do it. If you if your hair keeps the texture that you like while still using products with silicones in them, then just use them. They're fine. They're they're totally fine for you. But if it's if it's not doing it for you, if you're dried the hell out and your hair looks like shit, you might want to look into it. You might want to research it because it actually can change a lot. And it just it's just a singular swap up of products. And then you just stick with things that are within the same product family, you know? That's all. That's all. Use the same product for your hair and your toilet. <laughs> use, use those little discs that you drop in the toilet tank <laughs> that, like, emit the bleach everywhere. <laughs> you just rub your head with it. Mmm, <laughs> so shiny. So clean. No bacteria on my head. They're all dead from the bleach. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I have the opposite problem. Bald, I have fast growing dense hair. It costs so much money to upkeep. <gasps> Mine grows really fast too, yeah. Mine grows really fast. So I'll only get haircuts that work uh, in a way where they don't have to be constantly trimmed. If it's the sort of haircut where it has to be consistently gone back and trimmed to look right, I'm not doing it. I can't. I cannot be in the salon once a month. Once a month to get a new trim for upkeep. I can't. No, <laughs> no, the people at the salon that I go to were even like, hey, we're, we're just never going to give you one of these, you know, this list of haircuts because it's you're going to have to come back and we're not doing that to you. <laughs> you know, you have to get a full haircut every month. Yeah, well, that's what I do is I cut mine short, like shoulder ish, you know, sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more. And then I just let it go and I get the occasional trim in, the, in between, but I let it go until it's like almost getting to waist length and then I chop it again. And I just, I just, you know, keep cycling. I keep cycling. <laughs> it is what it is. Haircuts are very expensive in your opinion. You go once every three months. They, they are, they are. And if you want to look good and you want to go to like a really nice salon, they get, the price gets jacked up so much, so much. So no, thanks. I'm not going monthly, man. I'm not doing it. Nope. Just get zero phase on the side and keep a little bit on top the style. Those are not the worst because I find with barber shops, it's a little, it's a little easier to get them to just do simple upkeep on those sorts of things. But if you have like a women's haircut, it's harder. It's harder to find someone who can take your hairstyle and redo it unless it's that same expensive person you went to. It's really fucking annoying. It's really annoying. I don't know. I'll hate it. I'll hate it. Your husband visits the barber like every two weeks. His hair grows so fast. Two weeks? Oh my God. <laughs> At that point, I feel like you should just learn to do it yourself if it's not like a, a really difficult one to do. Get some clippers and figure it out, you know? <laughs> you know, <laughs> just figure it out. I used to do my brother's, um, my brother's hair, one of my brothers before he, he moved away a little bit. So now he actually had to find a barbershop. <laughs> but I used to do his for a, like, probably once a month, I think. <laughs> give him the shape up out back, you know? <laughs> I use a bowl and cut around it. Dude, I saw someone the other day with an unironic full bowl cut. Straight up, from the crown of his head, brushed his hair down and out in every direction, right? He had no part in his hair. It was just a dot in the back of his head on his crown. And then straight up looked like someone put a bowl on his head and cut around it. It was like like the flat edge, like no no layering, no texturing, nothing. 
And I was looking at it and I was like, I don't think I've seen one of these in the wild in so many years. <laughs> it's been so long. It was so nostalgic looking at it. I was like, oh my God, bowl cut. <laughs> yeah, the broccoli hair. So stupid. Oh, uh, it was okay. Cause he looked like he was probably like, like young, like, like 18 or something at most, you know, maybe he was like, at most he could have been 20 at the absolute most. He was probably younger than that. So I was like, you know what? All right. All right. I'll allow it. <laughs> I feel like so many younger kids had those haircuts. It's fine, man. We all had funny, terrible haircuts in our day, but the current mushroom trend in teenagers is hilarious. Dude. There's that zoomer haircut. We mentioned this yesterday, didn't we, or the day before? There's that zoomer haircut, right? Where it's like, it's like short on the sides and then long up top. And I feel like it started off with people having like three inch long hair up top, approximately. And then it started getting longer and longer, whatever they've got going on up top. And now, now you can't even tell that their sides are shaved because there's so much length up top that just hangs over the sides. And I'm like, what are you doing? I blame, I blame Peaky Blinders for that. <laughs> I have one friend where all he fucking does is mention Peaky Blinders. I have to look this up because I can't even imagine it. I don't even know what the fuck is with Peaky Blinders. I just know that I have one friend where something will happen in a video game and he'll be like, you know, it's like in this one thing in Peaky Blinders. Oh, like, shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Who has that haircut in Peaky Blinders? Oh, you know what? I see what you're talking about. I'm looking at the characters. All the dudes got the shaved sides. Oh, yup, yup. They have, they have, uh... Oh, this is too much. Hold on. Hold on. Let me show you this. I don't know how I feel about this. Look at this. Like he had me in the first half, in the front. You had me in the first half and then you turn your head. What is this straight line? What is that straight line happening there? What is that? What is that? It's off. Like like something something okay was starting and, and then just it stopped. I, what? This is, this is a character from Peaky Blinders? I see what you're saying now. What did they do to him? they do to him? <laughs> ah! I see another angle of him. Why do they... Why Why are his sides, like, so shaved down and then, like, under the hair there's this sudden line? <sighs> I don't know. The cow patty. Yeah, it, it looks very, like, placed and glued on his head rather than... I don't know. This is, this is one of those things where it's like the idea was there, but the execution wasn't quite there. I don't know. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying the, the TikTok boy haircut now. It's the undercut. Yeah, but it's not the best, most well done undercut is what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, it's fades whack. It's sort of like what, what the kids are doing now is they're doing that where it's shaved up the sides. It's supposed to be a fade, but it's not always that much of a fade as you get up to like where the longer hair starts. And then the hair up top is just so long that it's like, why'd you even cut the rest of it? <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. The road to haircut hell is paved with good intentions. Yeah. Yup. According to IMDb, it's called a gangster family epic set in the 1900s in England, centering on a gang who saw so razor blades in the peaks of their caps. That's why it's called Peaky Blinders. Oh my God. That's what it's about. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't that. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> I'm sure the show's actually fine. I, I don't know. I have no information on whether the show is good or not. I just know that one person that I know mentions Peaky Blinders all the time, constantly. It's a gangster show. I mean, that sounds up my alley, honestly. Love that kind of shit. And British boo. <gasps> Be nice. They're at least 6% of the viewership on this channel, okay? Be nice to them. <laughs> they might be right around you now. <laughs> they could be everywhere. <laughs> you could turn to your left. 
Maybe they're British. To your right, maybe they're British. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They're everywhere. <laughs> Any Brits in the chat? Just wondering. Just curious. No reason. No reason. I just, I would just, I'm just, you know. Welsh? Okay. Okay. I'll allow it. <laughs> mods. Mods, get them. <laughs> Does Australian count? Uh, you're too many years gone for that to be the case. No. No, you are too many generations down. <laughs> Could you say uh, ethnically you are? Yeah, I guess. Go ahead. But you know, your accent ain't the same. I don't know, there's a lot of things ain't the same. You know? Does it count if I live there for five months? No. That just means you live there once <laughs> more than one welshman why are there so many how come so many of my british friends are welsh why 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 do they keep ending up on the internet in droves more than people from other regions what is that is there something happening over there <laughs> we spread very fast <laughs> they don't have anything better to do <laughs> oh no what are they going to do in Wales? Um, uh, uh, you go outside and uh, maybe there's a guy with some sheep on a ranch. And uh, maybe there's like one beef eater chain out there. I don't know. <laughs> is, there, is there one in Wales? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> You screaming? Is there a beef feeder in Wales? I'm gonna see. Beef feeder chain. I just think it's funny because it's called beef feeder, and I remember one of my one of my friends from London talking about it, and they're like, "Why do people come to London for beef feeder?" And I was like, "What the fuck is beef feeder?" <laughs> and now the name of this place is like never. It's never left my brain because I think it's so funny. It's a steak restaurant, apparently. Let me see. Beef eater. I'm on Google Maps looking at whales right now. Ooh, they're in Birmingham. Birmingham, and there's one beef eater, Walston Castle. <laughs> it's like way south. <laughs> Ooh, uh, the closest one you got is Birmingham. <laughs> Come to Birmingham. Yeah. I don't know, whales. I don't really think you have a beef eater chain. Is, is, is this. Is this place, uh, is Cardiff in Wales? Any, any Britoids know? Where's the border? Where does Wales start? Yes, it is? Okay, you have a beef eater. <laughs> you have one. <laughs> Cardiff is the capital, is it? Oh. I don't know much about, uh, what's what in other countries. Like, what the, what the capitals are, what... What different regions are there within, you know, Adam? I don't know. I don't pay attention. All I know is, um, the only place I went to that wasn't London, <laughs> I, went, I went to Stoke-on-Trent. <laughs> Such a specific spot. <laughs> because my friend's mom was there, so I went with her. She was like, let's go to my mom's house. And I was like, okay. So we were near Birmingham, you know, or we were, I guess it's closer to Manchester. We went there, we went to Stoke. Cause my, my friend's mom had, uh, she had gotten a job somewhere near there and she was living there for a short bit. So I went there. And that is the only random non-major city I've been to. You lived in Stoke? Oh my God. I breathed the air. <laughs> I breathed the air of that place once. That's your city? It was nice. It was cute. The Trent is river. Yeah, I know. That's why things are named blank on Trent. Right. Stokian air. <laughs> it's all the same. It's all the same. It all circulates around the gro gl globe. Okay. It just, it's all the same air, man. Stoke resin's called Stokers. <laughs> I don't know, man. What the fuck are they called? I don't know. I went up to Liverpool and I was, I, we very briefly stopped in Manchester and I was in London for a bit. And then Stoke-on-Trent. <laughs> We're called Stokies? 
<laughs> you have a name? That's cute. That's cute. Liverpool mentioned? Yeah. Cuz I I wanted to watch football, soccer. And um and so we went and saw a match in Manchester and then and then we were in Liverpool for a while. It was nice. It was nice. It's called football. <sighs> soccer. It's soccer. It's soccer. I'm sorry. And I love watching it out of all the like typical sports that people watch. Hate watching American football. Boring as hell. If you like it, that's fine. Hate it. Love soccer. <laughs> love it. Yeah, kicky ball. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. It is it is one that I like to watch. I like that in rugby. I like watching rugby. And unfortunately, very unfortunately, I used to like Formula One. <laughs> I used to watch F1 races. <laughs> I haven't been keeping up on it, though. I don't know. After a point, I was like, all right, that's enough of that. <laughs> but I used to. I used to back in the day. I still do occasionally, but not, not as often as I used to. I think it was just that I had friends that, um, that watched, you know? So I felt like I had an excuse to be into it. And then when I wasn't really around those friends as much. I'd still, I'd still watch it occasionally, but I didn't feel the need to watch everything because then I'm not, you know, in a room talking to them. Did you see this one? You know, you know what I'm saying? Still just kind of boring now though. Yeah, I feel like over time, uh, I, I just like it less. I like it less and less, you know? L ratio called soccer T in the harbor. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Tea in the harbor, cry about it. Cry about it. Come to Boston, huh? Come to Boston. Put your tea in the harbor. <laughs> that's right, that's right. What you gonna do about it? Nothing. Cry? You gonna cry? Okay. Go get your fleet of ships and go get your boats and bring them all the way over here to the harbor. See what happens. They're just jealous lads. <laughs> you say lads. <laughs> The harbor's just a big cup. Do not imply that you want to drink what's in the harbor because that <laughs> is gross as hell. <laughs> it is gross as hell, man. Ooh. You just say oi we dump in here? What the fuck? First of all, no one says that in New York. Second of all, we're talking about Boston. Do you know where Boston is? Spam me like beans on toast, please pipe down. Do you like beans on toast? Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Beans on toast is ugh, gross. It's good. Oh no. Uh uh. Uh uh. <laughs> Universal health care, yet no dental head ass. <laughs> oh man. Did you know my health care is timely? Hmm, imagine. Can't let fruit see this. Oh, I've 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 argued with her about beans on toast so many times. I've told her how much I hate it. It's alright, it's alright, she knows. <laughs> she knows. Beans with ground beef and cheese in a bun, however. Can you stop? Can you stop with the beans? Just get rid of them, okay? Just stop. Beans on nothing, all right? Not on toast. On a bun? No. No. Now, you can make beans in different ways and they're fine, but with whatever flavor shit you guys are doing with the beans on toast beans, whatever that is, get that out of here. Okay? Whatever that, I can't even call it a sauce. That water that it's in? Ugh. Tomato garlic flavor. It's not even good tomato garlic, man. It's just so fucked. It's fucked up, all right? I don't like it. Just go eat tomatoes. <laughs> God, man, they're so, ugh. They're so nasty. Curry beans though, I mean, that's flavored differently. That's fine, that's fine. I'm just saying, you put them in something else, they can, they can be fine, you know? I don't like them. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like practically any lentils. I'm a hater, but I'm not gonna hate on you for liking them. I just, I just hate the beans themselves, but 
I will say the worst version of them are whatever the fuck you do to them to put them on toast. Whatever the fuck that is. Ugh. Nasty. British beans can go. <laughs> they can just go. All right. Goodbye. Stewed red kidney beans on white rice is gold. I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like them at all. They're obviously ones that are more edible than others for me. They're okay, but I, I, no. No. Get them so far away from me. Beans are great with a fry. That's a great opinion for you, okay? You can't make me eat them. <laughs> you can't make me eat them. I hate them. I hate them. Ugh. Ugh. Disgusting. Gates beans, that means big corn gotter. You already know I've been a big corn sellout this whole time. Okay? Is this a surprise to you? No, it shouldn't be. I was bought out by big corn years ago, okay? And I realized how much better big corn is than beans. Beans can fuck off. Corn model went. <laughs> Someone made a corn hat for Boris. <laughs> Someone made him, they made him like a little buttered corn hat. <laughs> yeah, 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 it was Lynn. Let me find it, let me find it. Boriscorn.png. <sighs> let me put the corn hat on him. It's really cute. I haven't, I haven't fitted it onto his head yet, so I don't know how it'll look. Here. Oh my God. Corn hat. He loves corn. <laughs> Look at how cute it is. Oh, I love it. That was your homie. Yeah, yeah. Leave his corn hat. <laughs> Boris loves corn. That's what all the extra bits and subs go into, actually. That's why he's holding the sub goal because he knows that every time we meet it, he gets extra corn, extra corn feed. <laughs> the corn fund for Boris. Butter's a nice touch. I, it is. It is. It's the only way to eat it, okay? It's got to have butter on it. No matter what else you put on it, it's got to have butter. You know? It's so good. So good. He's corny now. I like that you can still see his drool. <laughs> Cheer 100 Omg Boris, that hat looks so good on you. He knows. Okay, he knows. He was meant to wear this. <laughs> this was made for him. Put some beans on the corn, please. Oh, buddy, you're on thin ice. You're asking me a band. Beans on the corn? Disgusting. No, never. Beans on the corn. Ugh. There's, there's nothing to put on corn but butter and seasoning. Okay? Nothing. You like margarine yourself? Mm. There are vegetable based spreads that are not so bad, but I, I prefer butter. It's, it's just, it's got this flavor that nothing else has. Okay. Elote and vas is so goaded. Yeah, well, elote is its own thing, you know? And sometimes I go to my guy on the corner and I get. He gives me corn, but he puts it in a cup because there's just so much shit coming off of it. <laughs> that corn thing. makes so me good. act up. Respectfully. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The proper street corn. <sighs> when they have to give it to you in a cup because there's so much butter and seasoning and everything on it. And then sometimes they do sour cream. Depends on like what you ask for. Some of them do it by default and I like those better usually. But, you know, elote man, my elotero. He's my, he's like my uncle. I call him boss, he calls me boss. I walk up to him and I go, let me get two. Goes, no problem, boss. Hands me two. I grab it and I go, thanks, boss. <laughs> I love I love when you've got like a guy for a thing, you know, you got a guy, I've got a corn guy. <laughs> I got my elote guy, he's the best. 
<laughs> Anytime I want it, I can just go outside. And I go, hey. Let me get two of those. <laughs> Love a guy that calls you boss. Him and there's there's a there's a bagel guy, one of the bagel guys at this one place. That calls me B, because many of us call everyone B. And it it morphed into boss. Sometimes he still calls me B, sometimes he still calls me boss. I don't know. It kind of... It's kind of mix and match. It depends. If there are a lot of people standing around, he'll call me boss to separate me out from everyone else. But if there's like two of us, he'll call both of us B. You know what I mean? Just how it is. What's that job called? Bagel monger? Ba the bagel guy. <laughs> bagel guy. That's it. I don't know. They're all the bagel guy. Hi, <laughs> Mickey. Country boys make do. I think about that shit all the time. <laughs> all the time. All the time. Bagel guy. What would he be called? I don't know. Is there is there a proper word for that? Bagel smith. <laughs> I kind of like that. Bagel baker. Baker doesn't sound right to me. Also because they proof them first and they like steam them. They steam proof them. I don't... Bagel artisan. I feel like this guy wouldn't want to be called an artisan, you know? He's he's like, eh, it's just a humble bakery doing bagels, it's, you know, right? Like, he just, he wouldn't like that term. Bagel boss. <laughs> I kind of like that. Bagelmeister. Bagel alchemist? I don't know, man. Booger boss. What? <laughs> I don't know. Bagel? Who the fuck said bagel? Oh, dude. I met someone who says bagel out loud, actually. Not just Mel, it was someone else. I know she does, though. Bagel. To this what is, is that? First what is that? The channel. Thank you for gifting a sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Kaiju. Bagel. But then you're like, oh, do you have a plastic bag? And they're like, I don't have a plastic bag. Well, which is it? Bagel and bag? Not bag and bagel? What? My god. Make up your fucking mind. I hate a bag. A dragon. A dragon. <laughs> bag is worse than bagel. I know. That's the thing. At least bag is spelled like bag. Bagel. If someone said bagel, I'd be like, I understand you saying that way. Especially with the E-L. Like, I get it if you look at that word and read it that way. I hate to hear it, but understandable. Looking at the word bag and reading it like bag. Makes me laugh. I don't know. What is that? Are bagel people also the milk people? Oh, milk. Oh, I forgot about that one. I forgot about that one completely. Oh, man. Ugh. Milk. <laughs> video? <laughs> some milk and some videos? Go to a video store? Ugh. Ew. I don't like that. Only ever heard that in a skit. That's, that's real. I feel like it's maybe less common than saying big like rough people for roof oh yeah oh yeah we gotta replace the rough what the fuck is that it's got two o's rough <laughs> people <who> pronounce <laughs> mario like mario really make me antsy <laughs> i almost said it the first time when i read it out loud <laughs> mario <laughs> what about mario how does that make you feel how does Mario make you feel? <laughs> I know Nag says it like Mario, Mario. I know a lot of people that will say, hey, it's me. This is my name. It's Mario. And they say it like that. Mario. And that is just what I was used to for the longest time. Not Mario, Mario. I don't know. And if you say Mario, that's cool. I got used to saying Mario, but I had to train that into myself. I used to always say Mario. <laughs> always, always, always. The Mario Brothers. <laughs> the Mario Brothers. That's how I would that's how I used to say it. Mario Brothers. Oh man, I don't know. Is that how you're supposed to say it? A lot of people say Mario. And when they voice act Peach, right? She always goes, Mario! It's just it's just standard, I guess. It's a New York thing. I, I yeah, I, I realized that over time. <laughs> I did. <laughs> but the thing is, you'll meet so many people with that actual name 
and they'll call themselves Mario. And okay, okay, you know, like, like if you tell me that that's your name and that's how you pronounce it, who am I to be like, <laughs> actually, it's Mario, <laughs> you know? <laughs> there are tons of different ways to pronounce things. It's canonically Mario. Well, right, right, right. That's how they say it. Because that's how they spelled it. All I'm saying is some people, some people will legitimately say Mario and that will be their own name. <laughs> and that is, that is it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm used to it. But no matter what, Luigi is Luigi and there is no, there's no, you can't change that shit, okay? There's no other way to pronounce Luigi. And if I see anyone saying, yeah, Lugi, <laughs> get out of here. You can, you can debate Mario all you want. Mario, Mario, not Luigi. That one is so straightforward. Okay. Person's name can be spelled Lisa. If they say it's pronounced Sarah, I'm gonna say Sarah. Right, 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 right. If they say it, I'm like, all right, whatever. whatever. <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> Drives me insane. I, I, I think it's really funny when I teach, um, a friend had to spell it, but they are ESL and they're from usually like an Asian country, right? So they, they hear Luigi and they always write a J and I go, oh, actually it's, it's with a G, it's with a G here. And every time they look at it and they go, you're fucking with me. <laughs> they're always like, no, no, there's no, I've never seen this before. Never. And then you have to explain that it's Italian. And you have to go through and you're like, actually, oh, that's why you pronounce a double C like this. This is why it's pronounced bocce, you know? <laughs> and it's just, it's like, oh, it's you're adding another layer of disappointment onto that person that's learning English. Because now they have to remember how these rules work for these words and how to be able to tell if something is of Italian origin. Oh, my God. Because most words, you know, you're going to get used to a lot of things of... French origin of German origin, right? You, you kind of get used to these rules, some things of Greek origin, and it makes sense in your brain. You start to really get them, and then you throw in like the Italian, like just the little, the little bits of extra shit in there, and they're like, oh my god, <laughs> oh my god, yeah, botchy the ball, yeah. Four languages and trench coat. Mm hmm. I feel like you get a cool advantage though if English is your first language, because you can start to remember what a lot of different roots mean. Like hydro and aqua, right? Both both being water related. For example, you end up learning all these different roots from these different places and different cultures that might mean the same thing. And then when you look at another language written down, you can recognize a lot of different things between different languages because you're familiar with a lot of these roots. So I feel like it's it makes it a little easier to start learning certain languages because you will remember you'll remember a lot of these similarities. Mind blown with helicopter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Colonel will always be example of English rules. Oh my god, Colonel. That's one that a lot of even English speakers look at and they just like don't quite know how to say it and they've never had to say it out loud so they just kind of don't they avoid it <laughs> you know that one's always funny to me yeah what the fuck is that it's colonel you have a friend that calls it colonel <laughs> lieutenant lou lou is a, a a word that we use on its own though like in lieu of this it's that same spelling so it's kind of, uh, eh, I, I don't know. I, I would say it's it's something that you see outside of that as well. In lieu of is something that's said often enough, I would think. I think. Learning Latin school was something. I never took a course for, for Latin or anything like that. I, I thought about it and I said, you know, this would be really cool to learn like a lot of these roots. And, and then I had no reason to for the sake of credits. So I didn't. <laughs> I had no reason to at all. None, zero. Used to say choir is choir. <laughs> I know. Caramel is three symbols, syllables rather. Oh yeah, I say caramel. When people would say caramel, I had no idea what they were trying to tell me. They're like, does it have caramel on it? And I was like, mm. and 
I would just avoid the conversation because I was like, I don't, I genuinely don't know what they're trying to say. It took me so long to figure out that they were trying to say caramel. I didn't realize it was a, a different pronunciation. <laughs> it's caramel. Silhouette is tough. You forgot the E in it too. See, it's hard to spell. I know, I know. It's tough, man. I took Latin through high school. Four years is ironic, unironically very useful. Latin and like Greek. <laughs> Don't come to Massachusetts. All our towns are pronounced weird. Well, up there you have a lot of, um, I think the whole Northeast has this. There's so many places that are Native American names. It's all the old tribal names or Native American names for specific mountains and things. And they ended up being town names in those areas. They just kept those words. And it's that's very, you know, prevalent in the Northeast. Yeah, a lot of the U.S., a lot of the U.S., but but a lot of the hard ones to pronounce in particular where the spellings are crazy are on the East Coast. And, um, yeah, it gets crazy. <laughs> it just, just looking at it is very, oof. It, it is, it is in a lot of other regions too, though. Caramel is candy, caramel is gooey sugar made from cooking technique. What the fuck is caramel? <laughs> what the hell is that? Don't forget your daily wordle. Oh, I did it in the morning. Don't worry. I did the wordle earlier. As a French speaker, I'm going going to Manitoba is just a disappointment. People get angry when you pronounce the names of places correctly. <laughs> it's hard, you know. Being in the U.S., if you try to pronounce things correctly, in certain areas, people will get... They'll be happier about it. They'll be like, yeah, that's that's good that you actually, you know, tried. And then other people in other regions, you'll try to pronounce something correctly. And they're like, what the fuck are you talking about? What do you mean? Because they only use an American pronunciation. It's so hard to know what you're supposed to do and where, you know? <laughs> and it also depends on people's backgrounds. Completely depends on people's backgrounds as well. Sometimes someone will move to a city and they pronounce absolutely everything wrong and very... Americanized and whatever. And see, I have I have the impression in my brain, I'm like, that's wrong. The American pronunciation, the bastardization of this word is, is not correct. You should try to learn to pronounce it X way. That's how my brain is. But them from somewhere else, they have the opposite opinion. So it's, just, <laughs> I don't know. It's very funny. It's very funny being in some of these areas. Yeah, little, little dialectical things. Little bits and little pieces. Using the one they don't like is the only way to win. Just keep saying it so they get pissed off. <laughs> English pronouncing Welsh place names. Dude, I I look at the street signs in Wales and it has like 500 L's in a row in it. And I'm like, how do you pronounce it? And they say an entire word and I go, that word wasn't written down. That's not, that wasn't written anywhere. Where'd you get that? <laughs> you know? That's how it feels to me looking at it, right? <laughs> it's crazy, it's crazy. It's funny though. Yeah, you just made that up. You feel like the person's like fucking with you. You can't tell if they are or aren't. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. The fifth L is silent. <laughs> the fifth L and then after that, every fourth, three times, and then every second. Mm-hmm. That's the rule. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh, I've seen that one. I've seen that long one. That, that just looks... It truly... The thing is... It starts off like it has me in the first, like, like two syllables there. And then the rest of it looks like a keyboard slam. It looks like it took my fist and I just went like, and just, just slid it across the keyboard, right? That's how it appears. Which makes me look at that word and think, this can't be real. This can't be real. <laughs> it just, it's just, it's so, I don't know. It looks so unheard of. I can't. I don't know, man. Arkansas? Yeah. Arkansas instead of Arkansas. <laughs> Get a clip of Connor saying the funny town name. I'm sure everyone, like, he's probably absolutely bombarded, deluged with people coming into his chat and going, can you say this? And it's some, like, street name that everyone's seen from some Welsh place. Streamer, I heard you were from Wales. Can you say this out loud? You know? It's like how you've seen me, um, you've seen it happen in front of you. I think 75% of the collabs I am in, someone says I'm walking here out loud. 
And it's never me who starts it. <laughs> never ever me. I say something and I don't have, you know, when I'm streaming especially, I don't really have much of an accent, but a little bit, you can tell. And, and someone in the collab will hear me say something and then they say, I'm walking here out loud. And I'm like, what the fuck are you saying? It's, <laughs> it's every time. <laughs> what? And you'll tell someone, don't do that. And then they'll do it the next collab. <laughs> it's fucked up. <laughs> it's so fucked up, dude. Oh my God. It's the Nags accent. No, he he is a very um He has a very New York City Italian accent. I keep hearing people say they think he has a Jersey accent. He kinda doesn't. He has some bits of it and not others. I don't know how to tell you guys this, but you guys don't know how to tell accents apart, and I'm very tired of all of you trying to pretend you can. <laughs> I'm very tired of it. <laughs> Mods, you have my permission that whenever someone just starts trying to guess someone's accent and it's from the New York or Jersey area or even up to Boston, you can just delete their comments. They're so bad at it. <laughs> like, like they're all wrong. I can't even explain to you how wrong you all are about it all the time. It's on site. Yeah. Staten Island, Jersey ain't the same. Yeah, because they have slightly different cultural makeups and everything too, I know. That's the thing is like, there's so many tiny, slightly nuanced accents in these areas and then it differs between cultural accents and regional accents an italian from queens and an italian from brooklyn might sound different same thing there are puerto rican neighborhoods in queens and in brooklyn and a lot of them sound a little different they have some small differences but the biggest difference between them is between those cultures not between where they're physically from you know so i when i hear people start doing this shit with the accents i'm like it's too convoluted and you don't know <laughs> it's okay not to know <laughs> it's okay it's all right staten island is like a bridge away from jersey though yeah but everything on western staten island between jersey and staten island uh their main populated area is like nothing land and a lot of people here's what it is you know what Staten Island was settled by? The people that currently live there? A lot of people that used to live in Brooklyn. So was Jersey. Okay, they're all originally from New York City, mostly Brooklyn, a lot of Queens. They're all from the same roots, but they all moved out starting in like the 70s, mostly the 80s and 90s. So it's, it's all like a one or two generation down kind of changed accent. And that's why Jersey sounds slightly different from people that are still in Brooklyn, people that are still in Queens and all that kind of stuff. It is different, but it's because it's not that far separated. It's hard to tell. And because of that, don't talk about it if you don't know about it. <laughs> if you're not from there, <laughs> you know? Plain and simple. How bad is it that I thought NL was from New York or Boston? Maybe it's the attitude. Where is he from? I don't even know. Yeah, no, it's it's um, it's the attitude. I think I think a Northeasterner would actually be likely to think that he's from there. Isn't he Dutch? What? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Wasn't isn't he um, isn't he just Canadian? I just don't know, like, from, from where. I think, I think he was, you think he was from Toronto? Well, Toronto is like Canadian New York. <laughs> Toronto area is Canadian New York. That's just how it is. And uh, people from New York and from Toronto go to each other's cities, like, all the time. <laughs> We're like little neighbors, you know? That's just how it is. Everyone's from Toronto and Canada or, or Vancouver. <laughs> Almost all from one of those two. As far as population goes, yeah. Pretty much, it dips into the U.S. I mean, I mean, yeah, it literally, like, it's, like, on the border almost, you know? It's just how it is. Canada's a huge landmass. It's enormous, and a lot of it is not as suited to living on as the already populated areas, so, you know. That's just how it is. Marcus from New York? No, I'm not gonna tell you where she's from, because I don't think she, um, talks about it at all. <laughs> I actually don't know how much she said, so I won't say shit. I'm gonna say shit, you know? But one day I wanna go visit her. 
I know where she lives. <laughs> so um, I know where her cabin is in the woods. So one day, one day I want to go visit her. I asked her if it was okay. I'll go to the woods. Into the woods. I'll do it. She's from Greenland. I saw the lore video. Oh. Yeah, of course. Right. Right. <laughs> Correct. Correct. Doesn't she live with Santa? She moved out of Santa's house. Okay. And now she has her own cabin in the woods. She has her own cabin. And I know where it is. And I'm going to go visit her one of these days. I think she's a little afraid to travel. I think a lot of my friends actually are a little afraid to travel. <laughs> not completely, but just, you know, it's a big deal for them. It's not like me where I'm, I'm really comfortable be being like, oh, <laughs> I want to see my friend. Um, hey, can I come over this weekend and literally hop on a plane? Like for me, that's, you know, that's fine. But um, it's not as it's not a casual thing for a lot of my friends. So I think um. Now that, now that my health is better and I'm allowed to travel and stuff again, I might I might start occasionally going and just visiting a friend. I was actually talking about going to Japan to see some friends that are there. I kind of wanted to go, but I didn't really have friends that were staying there. So, I, you know, I was like, eh, it's not a high priority kind of thing. But now that I have friends that live there, I was like, you know what? Maybe, maybe I'll consider it. If you don't live near an airport, traveling far is hard. That's, that's true. That's true. You don't need to live near it so much as you need to be able to easily get to it, right? How's your health? Are you fully recovered? Um, from a normal health perspective, I'm, cur cur um, yeah, I would say I'm fully recovered. But there's a lot of work I have to do on general PT to just get myself physically back up to normal. But I wouldn't call that like being in poor health or anything like that. You know what I mean? It's the equivalent of if you just sat at your desk for a really long time and did nothing and then you need to work out again, <laughs> right? It's like that. It's not, um, nothing crazy. PT is tough, but at least you can do it. It's, it's doable. Yeah, I've been doing, um, <laughs> I lock myself, I think I've said this before. I lock myself in my bathroom to do body weight exercises because every time I start doing something, my cats start like running beneath me and running into my feet and all that. <laughs> And I'm like, bro, you can't be doing this. I'm going to like fall on you or something. So I go into the bathroom and close the door and I do like basic body weight stuff often. So <laughs> it's good. I do have a gym. I have a gym that I can go to and everything. So, but I have to, I had to take it really slowly because I, I, things changed a lot. Things changed a lot. I'll just say that things changed a lot and it's very hard for me to work out. I can't just like run back into it and lift a billion pound weight and be like, woohoo, you know, and not like expect to have no problem. So we're getting there bit by bit. Me when pushups. Yeah, I would, I would try and, and my cats would like run under me and I'm like, what are you doing? And then I, so I'd hold myself up for a bit. I'd wait for them to get out and then I'd start moving down again. They'd be like, yippee. And I'm like, I can't, <laughs> I can't, you know, <laughs> it's crazy. Hardest part about PT is to keep doing it multiple times a day. Yeah, I lock myself in the bathroom uh, once in the morning and then once like later, later at nighttime to try and get body weight stuff done. It's just, it's been so hard to, I thought I was gonna have the noob strength work out quickly and get your strength back quickly kind of thing. And I'm kind of not, it's very slow moving. And I'm like, Aah. it's not a problem. It's just, Aah. I was expecting it to be faster because in the past it has been faster. So I don't know, but I'm working on it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how fast it goes so long as I'm doing it really, you know. Had an instructor on Zoom warn me about watching out for a cat during a workout. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're not using weights, it's not actually that big of a deal. Cause it's not like you're gonna have something that you're gonna drop on them potentially that is gonna hurt them. It's just like, they might knock you over. You're the one who might get hurt, <laughs> but you know. Are cats always so interested when you're lifting? I don't know. You're moving around. It looks exciting. They want to be involved. I'm not sure. I don't get it either. Because when I walk around, I start cleaning. They have no interest. They leave. They don't want to be in the room where I'm being all noisy and moving stuff, right? But then the moment I'm not cleaning and I'm exercising, they're like, oh, what's this? And they just start like running <laughs> past me repeatedly. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> oh, no, man, but I'm working on it bit boy bit and that means 
I'll be able to travel again. But I think, honestly, I'm going to start with, I'm not going to do any events. I'm not going to visit friends or anything at first. I'm just going to visit family. That's all. So I'm going to start, I think I have a trip planned probably for October where I'm going to go, um, I'm going to go visit some family that I haven't seen in a while. And then maybe start doing holidays again after that. Just just because we're getting into holiday season after that, right? Then there's Thanksgiving and then you have all the stuff in December right after it. So I guess I'll just kind of do the the usual gamut, I guess. I don't know, but we'll see. But I, I'm, gonna try to, I'm trying to plan one for October. I wanted to do something this month. Then I debuted this month and I was like, fuck, I'm not gonna have time. <laughs> My brain's gonna die. I'm not gonna have time for that. So October it is, I think, October. Bench press the vacuum. <laughs> I could, I could. I don't know, man. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I'm thinking of doing it um, TwitchCon weekend since everyone is already traveling. And I might, I was talking to some friends since some of them are traveling to there. I might be able to meet up with them during the travel process since they're already like doing connecting flights and things. I was trying to figure out like while other people are traveling, can I run into any of them? And then they go on their way there and then I go to see my family. So I was talking to a couple friends about like spending a day together before we then go our separate ways. And we might do that. So we kind of move our connecting flights together. So that'll be cute. That'll be cute. Cause it's people that I, they don't travel. I never have a chance to see them, but they're doing like one event. So I'm like, oh, maybe we can coincide this. So yeah, I might do stuff during that weekend and meet up with some people and then be on my way. We'll see, we'll see. Thank you for the prime. Look on in. Thank you. But yeah, I'm trying to get air travel done maybe in October. Cause uh, once you get to Thanksgiving, and Christmas, uh, I don't think I want to do air travel during those months. <laughs> it sucks. It's expensive. Everyone's traveling and it's crazy. So I'm like, all right, if I'm going to go visit family this farther, I think I'll do it October because <laughs> after that, I'm not trying again until January. That Those couple of months are blocked out. No planes. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. It's a nightmare, even if it's not right next to a holiday. So no thanks. So that's my grandmaster plan for the fall. We'll see if it happens. <laughs> We'll see if it does, but maybe. Never November, never December. Never ever. Hope you don't end up on the diarrhea plane. What the hell is the diarrhea plane? What? Check it for the prime. What the hell is the diarrhea plane? <gasps> is this, this is probably something that I know. She doesn't know. <sighs> no, this is probably something I've seen. If it has poop in it, someone sent it to me. <gasps> oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I saw this. I saw this. Someone had such extreme diarrhea that they had to turn the flight around and then land it. I remember this. This was recent, wasn't it? Oh, no, they identified her. They said her name. <laughs> no. Oh, let's see. Passengers on board diarrhea plane share ordeal. Is dribbled down the aisle. Smelled horrible. <laughs> no. It's literally a biohazard, so I, I understand them having to just, you know, make it stop. <laughs> one, one passenger says, it was pretty bad. The vanilla scented disinfectant used on it only made it smell like vanilla shit. <laughs> That's what I say about like, like teenagers that smell like BO that keep using Axe body spray. Now you smell like Axe and BO. <laughs> oh man. And she was very sick apparently. So she was just like this poor woman. Oh man. While the plane was grounded, the crew apparently ripped out the carpet and replaced it. Oh, thank God. Oh my God. The, the, the little ticket that has the typed out reasoning for them making the diversion says divert to Atlanta passenger diarrhea all over biohazard <laughs> something about that sentence oh man oh I feel so bad I feel I feel so bad for the woman because like they named her why why 
The person who originally posted the footage from the flight said their little brother who was on board with them found the situation hilarious. He hasn't laughed harder than his phone call to me explaining why he, why he was still in America. He said it was the funniest thing he's ever experienced. <laughs> yeah, it's funny until you smell all of it, though. Jesus Christ. I'm going to look at the video of it. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> TMZ video services showing alleged aftermath of poop plane. <laughs> the subtitle above the title just says poopy plane. <laughs> I wrote this. I wrote this. This was me. I wrote this TMZ article. <laughs> poopy plane. Oh, man. This poor woman. Dude, I... Why the video? It's very, thankfully, it's very short. <laughs> Funniest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> Poor lady. All right, anyway. I do want to play a game today. But I do have to go refill my water and do like a quick two minute break. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to put up a poll. I know it says Geek Eternal everywhere. I know my, my going live message everything says geek eternal but i'm still gonna put up to a vote because there's a bunch of stuff that i do want to get done in minecraft as well and i haven't played minecraft in a hot minute so i did want to put that up as an option because um i'm a little tired i don't know if i'll play doom very well today <laughs> at all so it's up to you on which you want to see whichever you vote for i will i will do that one so we're gonna vote on doom eternal or minecraft um panini was it Panini or Poshi? One of one of our um, staff went through. We're not playing nerds. <laughs> not a chance. Nope. Nope. Not at all. One of our staff went through and made an iron farm. So I finally have the iron I need to make. A lot of stuff that I wanted to make for a lot of automatic farms. So I can then work on my building projects. Finally. So I'm like, thank God we have an iron farm. Because I couldn't even make shears to make the automatic sheep. <laughs> the wool extractors, you know. I was like, fuck. So I just need to go get redstone and, and work on that. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of stuff that I need to do. Um, and then I also do have to get through Doom. So just whatever you want to vote on, whatever you want to see, you do that. And maybe if it's close, I'll do some of both. I don't mind doing some of both. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go on a break and come back. OK. All right. All right. OK. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Country music makes me so mad because it's just a guy listing stuff. I love corn. I love my wife. I love guns. I love my country. I love jeans. I love tractors. Frank and Frank Hog. Frank and Frank Hog. I love my truck. I love my wife. Grandma's casserole. I love corn on top. I love jeans. I love tractors. Frank and Frank Hog. Frank and Frank
Damn, that many of you voted for Minecraft? Oh, thank you for gifting Boris so many <laughs> subs. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. He loves them. He's so happy. Well, I'm glad you guys were cool with Minecraft instead of Doom, even though the title said Doom, because I am tired. I woke up five times last night in the middle of the night, and I really want to play Doom, but I know I can't do it well. <laughs> you know what I mean? If I had to play it and I had to say words while playing it, I think... I think it's gonna be not... Um, the skill won't be there. The fun will be there. The skill won't be there, so... Not that there's normally much skill, but you know what I mean. So, what I will do is... When am I streaming next? I should be streaming tomorrow, but I think I have a... Uh, Valheim tomorrow. So, maybe Saturday. Yeah, maybe Saturday, and if not Sunday, we'll do do. I'll just push it to the next time I can do it. Tomorrow has to be Valheim, I believe, because we're working on um, doing certain bosses together. And so that should be the um, the next, the second boss progression day, because I did, I did tell everyone who's playing Valheim with me, I said, hey, I'm gonna set up days. And on those days, we're gonna do those bosses. And that way everyone progresses together if they want, you know, and the pacing is good. So tomorrow is a Valheim boss day. And uh, Grape and I have been going hard. That's kind of why I haven't made like too much progress too quickly on a lot of um, Minecraft stuff is I've also been balancing it with Valheim as well and trying to get a lot of that kind of going and get materials for people and things so that they can just come in and have a good time playing and not have to sit there and chop 5,000 trees and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And some, some staff have been playing Valheim too and it's actually been really helpful because they've been gathering materials, so. Yeah, but I'm gonna, we're gonna do that tomorrow. Yes, and the Lily Shoto collab t is tomorrow as well. Super fucking early um, for some of you, especially if you're PST. It's gonna be 8.50, oh no, sorry, 9 a.m. 8.50 a.m. is when we're setting up the call thing, but 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, EST, EDT. Um, sorry, West Coast, get fucked. You're not gonna be able to watch it probably unless you wake up that early. Um, Euroids rejoice. Anyone who might potentially be Australian or Southeast Asian or anywhere over there, rejoice. <laughs> 1 a.m. for you? Woohoo! Yeah. That's what I'm saying. All right, let me put Boris back. Boris, you did a great job. Good job, buddy. You can hold your sub goal again, your beloved sub goal. Yep. Yep, yep. But yeah, that's, that's tomorrow's. Tomorrow's kind of a packed day. Uh, so I figured a game like Valheim would be good. I thought about maybe doing, like, some Doom in the Valheim, but I think my brain will be too dead from <laughs> getting up at a good time and having to be on stream. I do actually wake up, like, around 9 a lot of the time, and that's fine. But I don't do stuff for the first hour of my days, hours of my day, that actually, um, you know, involve talking <laughs> or socializing. <laughs> I need the first few hours of my day to usually just be a lot of nothing. I'm working on stuff, but my brain is, like, not socializing, you know? So I don't know how I'll feel um, doing that in the morning and then having a break in the middle and then streaming. I feel like it'll be so out of routine that either either it'll feel like nothing and I'll be surprised or it'll be weird. It'll be weird. I don't know. So Valheim feels like the right game for that kind of day, I guess. You don't do anything for, like, three hours after you wake up? I mean, I still get a lot of tasks done, but that's when I do cleaning, like physical things. No words, right? Oh, gotta scrub the bathroom floor. Boom. I'm sitting there scrubbing the floor, right? That kind of stuff. I'm gonna brush my cats and play with them. Boom. Brush cats. No words. No words. It's just very, like, that kind of stuff. Sitting down and reviewing videos, reviewing videos, writing notes on them for my editor. That's much better done in the morning for me, you know? Yeah prime introvert hours because i <laughs> i cannot socialize all day i'll die i'll die i'll socialize a lot but for a, a burst and then i'm done all right minecraft it is it's minecraft time and i'm gonna do do you want me to just solo minecraft or do you want me to throw myself in a vc so that other people could jump in from the server 
Would you rather me not hop in unless they're, um, you know, asking about it or what? You prefer VC? Okay, you, you don't mind drop people like dropping in? All right. All right, I'll do that. For me, I, I think it's nice when one or two people jump in, but I don't know if you guys ever get fatigued. I, I think only a couple people have said this. So I don't know if this is actually a common way of thinking, but do you guys get fatigued when there are like six people in the call and we're all playing Minecraft and we're each saying fewer words? <laughs> is that like a thing you care about? Kind of 50, no, there's more people saying yeah on that. Okay, okay. That's that's kind of how I feel. It seems like, it seems like it's pretty even though. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure how like, I guess common that that thought is like if you prefer it to be fewer people personally i like when it's just straight up like one-on-one -on -one or three people but then also when i see a lot of people in vc i'm like oh i want to join too <laughs> you know what i mean it's just nice so it's hard it's hard but um i will say that whenever whenever someone jumps on like whenever henya is playing you know, Zen tends to like start hopping on the server because she sees her streaming and she's, she sees her on, so she starts jumping in. Zen goes to the Discord server, the VSJ Discord server, and she goes at talent, which pings every member. We all have the talent role, right? She goes at talent. She goes, Minecraft now, Minecraft now, Minecraft now. <laughs> I'm like, bro, just, just stop pinging everyone. It's, it's like almost at everyone just without staff, you know, like Jesus Christ. Yeah, you know, if you're in her Discord, how she pings at everyone, she keeps doing that in the main server, and I'm like, Ooh, stop it, because it's like, it feels like, um, that, that server, we all have our own channels where, um, it's like our, our category that only we and our individual managers see, and we have all these different chats for all these specific things, all the organization, all the important stuff, so if I get a red ping in that server, I'm like, oh, Perhaps my manager has a time-sensitive thing to tell me. Perhaps it's important. And then half the time, it's just Zen. It's just Zen informing me that Henya's playing Minecraft. <laughs> like, fuck. <laughs> just mute Zen. Can you do that? I don't want to do that, though, because there are other times she pings for important shit. I just need to train it out of her. I'm just going to train her. That's all. She will learn. She sure will. She will learn. Oh, I forgot him with this. There we go. Will she? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She will. I'll make sure of it. <laughs> I'll make sure of it. Okay. Um. I'll just take the Geek Eternal out of the title for today. Minecraft category. Done? Added. Okay. For some reason, she's the type who can get away with stuff with that. I mean, I, I'm I'm thankful for it at the end of the day because I do want to be informed when things are happening. If it was a time when I was free and I just didn't realize, like I usually do lurk like Henya's chat or like people, people who are on when I'm not, I'm usually lurking their chats and just checking in here and there. I like to just be everywhere if I can. But still, if it's, um, if I was free and I didn't know, Giganob. I'd be, I'd be a little upset. I'd be a little upset that I didn't know, <laughs> you know, because <laughs> I could have hopped on. Oh, okay. It's loading. We're in, we're in, we're in. Okay. So now that I have a shit ton of iron, because I think it was Panini made an iron farm. I can now work on my stuff that was way over there. My, my barn that I was making for all the sheep. Uh, Zen's been working on her house, which actually looks pretty, pretty nice. Going for the, the tree inside kind of vibe there's one in the center too uh she liked these and left these i don't know what these are supposed to be but i made them <laughs> she left them so that's cool uh our mine entrance i was thinking about making this fancier more of like a gate shape at some point it's also really close to the chicken cooker and i feel like the placement's weird so i was thinking about making like a little um storefronty thing for this so it properly looks like a little a little storefront for the KFC, you know, something like that. Maybe even see if I could take the chest and move it up or, or I don't know. I think it's okay the way it is, but I was thinking about moving that around a little and then this, maybe opening it to that side. So it faces the little road instead. Something like that. Cause just the way these, the, the front is right there and it feels a little odd the way it's placed. Um, I made these fountains. 
They're nothing special, but they're there. This, once the wool farm is done, I could finally actually do it. But I was thinking instead of doing it here, I'm leaving it there so I have the template, but I was thinking of actually moving it up, putting it up much higher. And I'm not sure if I want to put it there or like, like, is this the right spot for it, but higher? I don't know. Maybe not Maybe not that high, but but the, the, the height that it's going to be, maybe starting the bottom there or something, right? I think it's funnier to leave it unfinished permanently. <laughs> No, but like once I have the wool, then I have no excuse. That was the thing that I needed, right? Because I didn't want to make it out of this wood and then like redo it. That would be so time consuming and I'd use a million axes. I figured it'd be, make more sense to just <laughs> get the wool and then place it, you know? <laughs> you know, um, this is all good. Mel's house is good. Did you see Mouse? Mouse built her house. Look at that. It's not 100% done, but it's pretty close. Mouse! I run, Mouse! I'm sleeping, she says. <laughs> she does not. She does not have to join. Go rest! Oh. Oh. She says she's just kidding. I have to turn my BGM down for myself. There we go. There we go. This is my little shitty house. Did you did you guys know that they added hanging signs in the last update? I had no idea. I had no idea and you can you can face through them. You can like walk through them. All right, where is she? I she said I I did a thing. I did a thing by accident. Uh-oh. Let's go see uh what she's got going on. Yeah, the geeks are hot. <laughs> I named it Giga Hut because it sounded like pizza. Come to your dog house. Oh. <laughs> okay. Also, I made this. Do you see this? I made this. Before she built her house, I put it there because I thought it would match. And it did. It did in the end. Ooh, my frames always get funny over here. Okay. I left this intact because it was the Zen grave. <gasps> Ooh, it's the dragon egg. I touched it by accident, Lamau. Oh. And it teleported here? <gasps> oh, I can't get what it does, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know how it works. Um Chat, how does how does it how does it work? Touch it? Don't touch it, it will teleport again. Yeah. Maybe I should put a sign. Maybe I should put a sign. Do I have any signs? No, I need to I need to hang this properly. I need to hang it properly. Uh uh okay. Do not touch. It'll teleport. Question marks. Seriously, do not. IDK, what? Uh, where? Where? It goes. <laughs> Maybe we should plug this basement up. <laughs> so they don't go down here. <laughs> Maybe I should just like... Uh, would you say... Oh. Oh, someone in chat knows how to break it. Is this, is this true? Is this true? Break two blocks below, place torch, break block directly below. You can pick it up that way. <gasps> oh, okay. Break. Second. So you leave the one right below it. Block below. Leave the one right below. Then place a torch. Torch there, then break the one right under. It should drop. I was wondering what she was doing. Oh, it drops on the torch because it's gravity. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, let me look at what's around it. Because there is like a, a huge hole beneath my um everything here. What is this? Oh, this is like stone or something. Oh, oh, this is fine. Okay. In some of these places, if you if you break these, it's just a giant hole. Uh, 
So right there should be fine. So it should drop onto it. I'm doing it. <gasps> Get it. Pick it up. <laughs> Yay. Okay, okay, okay. Whoo. <gasps> Thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. Thank God. <laughs> Maybe we should put signs next to it to let people know that it could uh, teleport. I think I think they probably just have no clue. Was this Dark Oak? It was. Huh? Or uh, did my was my third one under there? <laughs> Maybe Mouse picked it up. Don't care. Don't care about how this place looks. Oh no, I do have one. I was just a crazy person. Okay. Safe, she says. All right. Good. Oh, they stay hanging if you do that. <gasps> Interesting. Okay. 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 Let me let me go put a, a sign next to it then, because I don't want. I don't know how many people know that it does that. I didn't know actually. I've like never done shit with this. Okay. I'm gonna. Can I can I like hang it above? I don't think I can. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. No touch. It will tele... No, doesn't fit. Teleport. <laughs> oh, the dog. Oh. <laughs> it's like it's like when those creators hold out their hands in a little circle and then the dog sticks its little nose through. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll leave it like that. We'll just leave it there. Oh, he's still there. We'll just leave it and hopefully no one touches the damn egg. And if they do, they're going to freak the fuck out, probably. <laughs> Most likely. Maybe put some crystal blocks surrounding it. I Yeah, maybe I should, like, get glass and just cover it so they can't even do anything. Do I have sand in here? I know I don't have sand on my own. Okay. Let me, let me grab some uh, sand, encase it in glass, and just disallow them from <laughs> from touching it i don't want them like accidentally doing a thing because someone will and it'll probably be zen to be honest two three four okay okay this is my secret sand stash it is unfortunately finite <laughs> oh well oh well we all know it'll be zen i you know Zen does a lot of things for content like that, but if it's something that sounds actually really annoying, she won't do it. She won't do it. Because she's not, Zen's not an asshole. You know? Zen's just forgetful. <laughs> very, very different things. Very different things. Okay, we're gonna do you, and we're gonna cook you, and we're gonna get glass. And then I'm going to put the glass around the egg and then nobody can touch it. Nobody. She keeps playing Mario Party. Well, because that game's made to fuck people over, right? If you do it on accident, quote unquote, it's still part of the game. So it's all good. <laughs> you know, like when Zen put the bed down in the end. I, I, I watched it back and I fully 100% believe that she just like straight up did not know. She just did not hear us completely zoned out when we were talking about like the instructions. If you give Zen a bunch of information in a row, she'll, she'll, you know, lose something. That's the case with like anyone with strong ADHD. That's just how it is, right? So I always, uh, I always know that and keep that in mind and I'm ready when I have, because a lot of my friends have pretty strong ADHD, when I'm telling them something, I'm giving instructions or whatever, I am ready to say it again. For the most part. Occasionally I'm not, occasionally I forget, but for the most part, I'm like, I'm going to have to repeat this. <laughs> so it's just how it is. Uh. Okay, as cute as this is, we gotta, we gotta break this. Okay. It's a little weird. It's not going to look very good. And if someone wants to properly move this later, they can. But for right now, I just want to keep it safe. I just want to keep it 
sound and secure. Oh, yeah. Who's pushing me? All right. Fuck. <laughs> no! No! It's because the animals are there and it moved me over. Uh, my glass. I don't silk touch. Good enough. Kinda don't care at the moment. I'm gonna I'm gonna plug the top too, because I do not, I do not trust it. Alright, it's beautiful. Honestly, never seen very better interior design in my fucking life. <laughs> we should probably make a little circuit spot. Oh, that's right, Anya Henny and Mouse found more of these. Maybe this corner would be a good spot to make a pedestal for it, but it's kind of blocked here. Can I make a better shrine for it elsewhere and then move it? Now that I know how to move it. Does anyone put stuff in here? No one does. This might be a good spot for it. Or on the roof. So when we have roof parties with everyone, we can also have a, an, an egg party. I don't really know what happens at the egg party, but you know, you know, we could bring the egg to the roof or something. A fancy rock really brings the room together. Dude, I... <laughs> okay, I like interior design. I like when a space looks nice. I think it makes you respect the space more. You're more likely to clean it if it starts off looking nicer, you know, right? Like, that's good. I do not understand going, going to those... Um, stores that focus on like interior stuff and it's not just furniture but they have like a bunch of weird figurines and statues and things for you to just place on a table or on a shelf who has so much room in their spot in their in their space in their house in their whatever that they have like five different shelves to put eclectic objects on that they will like never touch what is that that's so weird <laughs> And I get it when you look in magazines, it looks really fucking cool sometimes, but like, I don't. Rich? Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know, man. I don't get it. They'll, they'll put a weirdly shaped polished rock in the corner on a, on a pedestal, on a white pedestal, this whole corner with, with like a two foot in every direction berth around it, right? Of, of just negative space, nothing. And they're like, look at that rock. It really ties the room together. I'm like, that's cool, but I... I can't imagine paying for space that I'm not going to use, right? <laughs> it's just... It's so inefficient. That shit drives me crazy. Me with anime figures? I guess so. Yeah, I'm not really a collector of that kind of stuff either. Oh, yeah, by the way, I was, I was building out a thing. I'm making a big, like, like, wagon house. I don't know if it'll be my main house, but it'll at least be a house for now. And it'll have like steps that go down to this road, which I might, I might move around a little bit. I might just make it this one. Um, it'll also have like a, a back area that'll be open. It'll come down to here. I'll need to extend this out a little bit to make it make sense. And I might, I might get rid of this and plug this off here. But it'll look like sort of like a merchant's or trader's wagon. I know it looks huge, but it's going to be, it's going to be cool once it's finished. And this will set the tone for the kinds of things I build over here. And then this, um, I'm going to steal some villagers from Henya. This will be a little stack of two farms on either side. Little, little automatic farms. So I'll need to place some people here too so that can kind of deposit stuff. But that will be that. And then I'm going to make more buildings this way. Instead of doing one giant build, I'm going to make like a little village of medium builds and tiny builds, I think. I think that will be nice. So that's what's going on there. So these trees and things that are planted here are just for my own... Uh, my own use for getting those done. And then I have, Henya has this thing here with their, her horrible villager pit is in there. So I was thinking I would just build straight back. Um, I have to plug that and then all this and then build to the water here, right? Just make, just keep adding small and medium buildings to make a little village sort of thing. And when I get to the water, I want to make like a, not exactly a boathouse. I want to make, a, house with a little bridge between and then a house on the other side too and that'll be like the end of the village right so that people over there can like go from staff island to my area pretty easily i think it'll be cool is anyone doing anything over here maybe i'll build into the rock face maybe i'll build some fronts of buildings but they don't actually go into anything <laughs> they're just decorative so that from afar it looks pretty 
Maybe like a tower up there, but nothing in it, just decorative. I don't know. I always used to build huge stuff, um, and I'm trying to get into building things that are normal. <laughs> Hobbit holes, that's right, that's what I mean, like like built into the rock face so it looks like it's just the front entrance all fancy and then the rest is inside there. I think it would be cool. I think it would be very cool. And I'm going to try and make a lot of my buildings in case little, little farms like this one. It's like she has the automatic chicken cooker over there. I'm going to try and do that with all these. But first, most important thing is to do my um, my wool farm. Because I finally, like I was saying, I finally have uh, what I need for that. What did I need this for? Oh, scaffolding. I finally have shit that I need. Um, This all looks like it was raided by somebody. Some of this stuff. Is this the stuff that Zen took when people were coming into chat the other day while streaming something else and they were like, um, uh, streamer, uh, Minecraft, um, was that what it was? Yeah, somebody in quotes, definitely. We all know. I grabbed this flower pot. I'm gonna place it here so I don't forget about it. If it is directly in my view, I will look at it and go, oh my God, the one that belongs in the house. <laughs> After I move the egg. <laughs> after I move it um okay what do I need I think I need to go and get more redstone before I'm actually building the sheep stuff and moving sheep into it I'm pretty sure the thing I need is redstone um so I should do I should get some more pickaxes which I can make now look at look at this stack of iron I don't know where the actual iron farm is. I know a, a spot where Panini left a bunch of stacks, so I grabbed it. But uh, yeah, thank fucking God. Thank you, Panini. I love you. You're the best. Mama, 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 mama. Because <laughs> I'm just so... <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Oh, side thought. Other thing. If I make this all out of wool, once I finish it up and I have the wool for it, do can it get struck by lightning and get set on fire? Is that a thing? It can, right? Yes? Okay, so I have to put a lightning rod somewhere Gee, above happy. it to absorb that, right? Yes. Yes, okay. Okay. Lightning rods help? Help. Okay. Is game rule do fire tick on? Probably. I don't think I have the perms to check those things. Or can anyone check that? I don't know, man. I don't know could make it out of concrete no i want it to be the right colors that's why i didn't i didn't go and finish it because i wanted it to be in, in wool um okay let me go to my sick nasty strip mine and do i'm gonna make another pickaxe try and grab redstone what's the right height to be searching for redstone where should i be I made, I made a nice one at negative uh, 53. I specifically did negative 53 because I wanted to be able to get diamonds, but I didn't want lava to be too frequent. I'm doing those ones where I crawl on the ground, so I'm doing like maximum efficiency. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? So it's in this main mine. If I go down here and I go here. It's my epic strip mine. Make your own, you know? <laughs> Yeah, it's a little trapdoor one, and then I'm, that way I'm checking literally every block in the vicinity. I'm not, like, wasting, because resources are finite, you know? They're finite. What does it say? Oh. I placed that. <laughs> I don't remember placing that. You can color concrete and terracotta with the same colors as wool. That's something I might actually replace it with later, yeah. We just don't have a lot of what we need for those, and those seem more tedious to get, whereas the wool farm is going to be a little easier. Okay, so this will be negative 53 here. So let me go up a little bit and make another one. Uh, 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 wait a minute. Is that 53? Yeah, it is. It is. 50, 59, you think? Redstone? Yeah, for some reason I read that as like 48. Is it, It's lower for redstone? For proper frequency? This is where I have it right now. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. I can't go there because there's water that way. Look at how gorgeous this efficient one one by one strip mine is. Ooh. 
One of the village types can sell concrete powder. Could be wrong though. Ooh, okay. I'll go a little lower than if we feel that uh, redstone is more of a thing down here, if that's the case. If it's more frequent or most frequent there, we can do that. I'll believe you, and if I get one guide, I get one guide. You know? <laughs> At least I can still find diamonds. I wasn't counting. Was it 57? Let's go. Let's go with that. Hiya! Let's go with this. Okay, and then we'll do our funny little trap door. Look, I'm becoming a, a Minecraft expert. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. And let me put this in my offhand. Do you see this? Guys, do you see this? This is efficiency, okay? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, happy day. I'm telling you, this strip mine is blessed. It is blessed. Rat arc. <laughs> I'm actually doing rat RP live on stream right now. <laughs> nice script. <laughs> wow. The pixels are making you claustrophobic. You don't like the warmth of the dank, dark tunnel? <gasps> Guys. I'm telling you, it's crazy in this place. It's crazy down here. I told you it was my... Oh! My epic strip mine. Oh, there was one there. I blocked it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's one more. Lapis. Aren't you gonna... Okay, there we go. <gasps> I told you guys, this place is, is beautiful. Okay? <laughs> She's scripting. She's scripting. These things aren't spawning that infrequently. It's just that... It's a lot better to find it. Well, th this particular tunnel is like weirdly blessed, but by doing this uh, one by one, right? I'm checking every block around myself. And then when I go back, I just go, I skip this block. I skip the block after it. And then I make a tunnel on the third one down. And I am then hitting every block horizontally. It's the most efficient way. <gasps> this is what I'm actually here for. I need redstone so I can make all my little bits and bobs and things. I don't remember how much I actually need for uh for this wool farm. I don't remember what the build looks like. I'll have to like grab a video just so I can do it right, but I've made one before back in my day, so I'm just going to grab redstone so I have it. Cuz after this, I also want to make an automatic milk farm like all of those things just so we have one of each really. I think I think my goal will be look up every uh every farm type and see if I can make it automatic and just try to make one of each over time because I don't think other people want to <laughs> I'm gonna be honest and since I'm making a bunch of small buildings in my area just decorative I think it makes sense for me to just uh, like you know put little farms in them a true farmer with a passion yeah why did my BGM get so quiet can you there's no way you can hear that. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff, man. That's the stuff. <laughs> all right. All right. And he's doing some farms. Yeah, I'm just gonna... We don't even have a Minecraft chat separately. We should have one. I'm gonna... I'm gonna ask for one. Um in our server so that way I can I can log like what people are making so I don't accidentally accidentally do this you know double and shit hi RPR no problem for 90k by the way anytime I will be checking my bank account and I will be waiting I will be waiting <laughs> follow bots dude there was Monday I got follow botted this was a long time ago it actually hasn't happened in a long while um, cause, cause people don't do really much anymore cause Twitch just auto purges them. So you don't, like the streamer doesn't even have to do anything. You just like report one of them and then you're, you're good. But, um, I got follow botted one time for like 10k people. And I was like, what the fuck? It was crazy. They got purged so fast though. I think they had already follow botted someone else. 
Um, so they, they, you know, <laughs> they got pruned so fast. Thank God. I never understood the point of doing it, doing it to someone else maliciously. Like what, what does that achieve? I don't I don't know. They always get smoked the day after. I know, it's so fast. It seems to have deterred them. I haven't seen it in forever. I don't know. I never understood the point, man. I never understood the point. <laughs> like, why? I, I don't know. I think it's that just to feel something crowd. They want to do something so the streamer's like, oh no. Because I, I think they think the streamer is going to be really worried that Twitch is going to see it and be like, how dare you buy these followers in the middle of your stream while you're playing a different game and your hands are busy. You know, <laughs> I think maybe they think the streamer is going to freak out, right? But they don't. So, I don't know. Oh, okay. Let me do that faster. Oh, I can't place that there. Where can I place it? Oh, this is all lava. Okay. Well. Boom. It was real. It's been real. Um, can I go can I go this way? Where does lava start? Oh, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. I'm gonna, I wanna dig over and then head back. <gasps> Fuck. Okay. Almost, almost. Shit. <laughs> I want to take over and take back. Ah, oh, yes. Yay. Okay, there we go. Do you have a bucket of water? I do. I do. But I don't feel like doing that whole thing right now. I don't feel like doing that and grabbing obsidian or whatever. It's easier to just do this. You know, why bother? Why bother? Why bother? What? Here we go. One more over? Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. <gasps> Look at you guys paying attention. This is what happens when I stream and I do things at the same time as streaming. You know? It's not optimal! Oh. You were trying to get me killed, weren't you? <laughs> How could you? Let's plug it up, boys. Plug it up. <laughs> yeah, lava too. I see what you were trying to do. You weren't actually counting the rows. You just knew with your chat clairvoyance that there was going to be lava and you were trying to get me killed. And frankly, I don't think that's very nice. I don't think that's very nice at all. Are we crouched? Uh, I'm laying down on the floor like a little freak. I'm doing rat RP. Actually, I don't need to fill these. Actually, I'm just keep going. Do you like it? Do you like rats? How do you feel about them? I'm I'm doing full rat RP. See, this is me on the ground. You see that? Ooh, <laughs> that's what I look like right now. You place a trap door and it has you lay down so you can uh, be all efficient with your block shit that you're doing in the, the block game, you know? You know that trick? <laughs> Me too. I remember how many blocks I went, so at some point I'll start having to dig right and see if I'm um, too far or not. But not yet, not yet. New Minecraft life hack. Yeah, did they add this in the newest update? Because I don't remember ever seeing anyone suggest this until recently. Either I missed it because I don't play that much Minecraft, or this is something they added in like 1.20 or something. It's been in for a while? Okay, yeah, never noticed. Since trapdoors? I feel like it wouldn't have been that long ago. Wouldn't I have seen some YouTube short by some like, you know, Minecraft Master 69 or something by now. I would think, I would think. <gasps> Look at all this redstone. We're in the money. We're in the money. Uh, whoops. I didn't mean to cover that. Whoops. My bad. 
Just gotta add to Bedrock, but it's been in Java for a while. Mm, okay, okay. What is the point of having Bedrock exist? Who uses Bedrock? What, 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 is, what is that all about? I've only ever used Java, never knew why it exists. Console mobile. Oh, it's for console. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. I mean, there are tons of kids that play... I don't know if they use Bedrock for this, but there are tons of kids that play it on their iPad. Unironically. <gasps> I'm telling you. The minds are blessed. They're blessed. Giga's epic strip mine is the greatest place in the server. All right. Now, I know it may not look the most exciting, but I promise you, it is the greatest place. The most wonderful. The most coveted. All right. Minecraft education is really good if you have a niece or nephew. <gasps> Interesting. What is, it? what is it? Minecraft education. I do know that I... I have one, um, what is the term? I always forget. Cousin once removed, right? My cousin's kid that likes Minecraft, plays on the iPad, doesn't play a ton, you know, isn't, isn't like a, like an iPad baby that only does that, but, um, her mom's always like, you know, well, it's, it's good for them to be playing some games because it teaches them some basic concepts, makes it fun, you know, they, they're understanding things like, ah, cobblestone has to be mined with a pickaxe. And certain things that are harder have to be mined with a harder pickaxe, right? Like those little concepts kind of make sense to them. So I think I think it's it's good for some basic shit like that. Hi, Shando. Hello. Welcome to Giga's epic strip mine. It's really cool in here. Do you like it? <laughs> Do you like it? Hi, chat. Hi, chat. Welcome. Welcome. Hi, chat. I hope stream was good. What was going on today? What was she doing? Was she doing something good? I'm on the Vishoja server and I'm strip mining. Oh, I must have gone past where I was. Uh, or no, sorry, it's one more. Oh, I must have gone past where I was. Okay, we go back. <laughs> I have to find where I where I went in. How are you standing on a one block tall hole? Oh, so close. Well, you see, <laughs> I'm kind of like something of a Minecraft expert myself. You know, I'm just, I'm just like really good at Minecraft, so <laughs> it's that. This is the epic, uh, how to mine most efficiently strat. So you see every block is getting looked at. Every single one. Ooh. So, yeah, that's my, that's my epic strip mine. I have a bunch of it over here too. Look at that. Look at how, how satisfying this place is. <laughs> Isn't it so cool? I don't know. I was never that much of a Minecraft player, but then when I got on this server um, and other people were actually being active, but not playing so much faster than me that I felt like there was no point in me being there, I started to enjoy Minecraft. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm claustrophobia now. Look, I've always had it, but the, the minds call to me, you know? The minds simply call my name and I yearn for them. Why is it two blocks tall? I'm going to show you something. I'm going to blow your mind, okay? I'm gonna blow your mind, buddy. Check this out. Check this out. We're gonna do an exercise in uh in why do it that way. I need two different blocks. Okay. So. So. Huh. Huh. Guys, I'm I'm the Minecraft god. Why why did this disappear? <laughs> I was gonna show you something so cool. Huh. Well, that is gravel. I know it in my heart of hearts. Maybe I should do this somewhere else. Is this place cursed? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Are you playing on Switch? No, I am not playing on Nintendo Switch. <laughs> I'm going to do this near my house. I don't trust. I think this place right here is cursed and haunted and I don't want to be here no more. If you just add more, it'll update. I don't trust it. Minecraft is haunted. No, 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 no. 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 That happened to Henya in the end. It happened to me in the end, yeah, when we were trying to find Elytris together. Okay, check it out if this happens again. <sighs> all right, all right, we're safe, we're safe. Okay, in a one by one, 
right? Every block, every block is getting checked. You see, every block horizontally is getting checked, right? And what's happening? You break one to check all of it horizontally. Now, technically, the same is happening here in the two by two, right? However, you are breaking two blocks to check one, two, three, four, five, six. Whereas here, you're breaking one block to check one, two, three, four. Do you see? For each block broken in the one by one, you're getting more blocks checked per break. <laughs> so it's actually way more fast, way more efficient. You get it? Strip mining takes time and don't, don't cheat yourself out of time, king or something. Time is money, yeah. Something like that, it's efficient, it's, it's efficient, it's good. Too complicated, it's <laughs> so easy. <laughs> no, it's not complicated, it's easy. I placed it so babies could understand it, you know? I dig a three by four, what are you, crazy? No, the, the more you add, the less efficient it gets for the most part, but yeah. That's why you do the, the, the one block thing. Anyway, check out my big wheels. We're gonna make a, well, I'm not gonna do it today. I was making a giant thingy and you'll see it someday. This will be a people farm. I mean, people farming, not farming the people, though the, the people farm where the people are farmed does exist, it's over there. Um, and today I was trying to get some redstone, which I just did so I can go that way and finish my barn. And I can go and put uh, sheep in it because I need wool so I can make the Vishojo sign happen. And I abandoned it when I realized I wanted to redo it with wool anyway, and it would take forever to break it and then replace compared to just doing it from the get-go. <laughs> you know? People farming sounds like organ harvesting and get behind that. Look, I'm just here for whatever gets me money most efficiently, right? That's it. That's it. Um, how about, let's move these things around. I need, what do I need? Okay, hold on. I have to look up my, my little, how, how the fuck do I make a wool farm? I'm not, I'm not a Minecraft expert. Automatic wool farm. Easiest automatic wool farm. Minecraft 1.20. Is it going to be, is it going to be very different from 1.20 back to 119? We're on 120 here. I wish for a written guide, yet they are all videos. <laughs> I want a written guide. Oh, I think I found one. Place down a dispenser. Oh my God, they made a numbered one. Check this out, nine steps. Place down a dispenser facing horizontally. Grass blocks one block lower and one in front of the dispenser. Build a pen out of glass. Preferably the color of the sheep. If you want to be cute, lure sheep inside. Okay. Observer underneath the dispenser facing at the grass block to power dis the dispenser. Piece of redstone dust on top of the block behind the observer, which is in behind the dispenser to power the dispenser. <laughs> Put a shear into the dispenser. Place minecarts and hoppers underneath the grass to collect the items. Make a room full of chests in there because we're getting the wolves into Okay. I can get behind this. I can get behind a nice written guide. I don't know why I hate video guides so much. Yeah, the micro wolf farm. I wanted to make a ton of those next to each other and then have one sheep of each color in that barn. How many how many dye colors are there again in this game? I need to make sure I have enough space and I don't have to build my my thingy, my barn backward. You know? I might have to move it. 16? Is it 16? <laughs> 16 Minecraft colors. All right. I'll probably have to extend it back. I know I don't have that many dyes existing, but I'll make a few stalls, throw some sheep in there and get it going and then add, expand later. This is the outline of my barn. Right over here over this way. At some point, I'm going to make uh, mine carts going between some of these areas. I was thinking of making like a, a rail that goes through this area here. I can't do it through this grassy area. That's actually the spawn point and I can't touch anything in there, which is why I put weird blocks around it. But through this to go horizontally across. At some point, I'll do that. Not today, though. Actually, maybe today if we do this fast enough. Yeah, sheep heaven. Here we go. Okay, I have one, two... 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have the number of stalls. So I could make it. Oh, I have two options. I could extend it back. Or rip out the roof and make a second floor. But I feel like a tall barn. Would it be weird? I don't think it'd be weird, right? It would be okay to, to do it because the sheep are only like one block tall, right? Are sheep one block tall? How tall are sheep? Go down? Yeah, it definitely could. How tall are sheep? Uh, <laughs> one block? Okay, okay, okay. So if I place something here and I put a sheep under it, it won't choke to death. It won't like choke out and die. <laughs> Because I have, I have accidentally killed things in Minecraft so many times that I'm like traumatized now. <laughs> that will kill them. Okay, so they're so they're not one block tall. That's what I'm saying. They're not exactly. They're approximately one block tall. Okay, I put some of my stuff here. Oh, my orange wood, it's gone. <gasps> Did Zen take it from this chest? Did someone else take it? <gasps> uh. All right. Wait, do I want the inside to be all this color? No, it has to be. It's, it's like the closest to a red barn I can get it. It's got it. Whoops. It's got to be. All right. All right. We need more wood. And then um, I'll check if I need more redstone. I probably do, right? Use a slab or a block with some transparency and it won't suffocate. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. So it's only full blocks that'll choke you out in this game. Is that the case? Is that the case? Zen was spotted going through your chest. I know. It was genuinely kind of annoying. <laughs> but people... I was extremely something else and people were coming into chat because Zen was playing Minecraft and they were like, mm, She's going through your chest. You should check Minecraft right now. And I was just like doing something else. And I was like... Okay. Let's not... <laughs> But I did hear about it. I did hear about it. Indeed. Yes, yeah, snitches. Snitches. Um, all right. So I need to make... I'll check here. This dips... 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 Cobblestone. A bow? I need string. I need string. Should I go to the mob farm? Okay, order of operations is probably go to the mob farm. Farm things there. Get some string through that because we don't have a string only farm. Which I, I think I can make. Cats drop string. You shut up right now. <laughs> I'm, not drop I'm not dropping the cats, man. Um, and then I come back here and I have some redstone and then I can make these and then I can start working on that because it's really just the dispensers that I need and redstone dust. Go to the Zen Cyber Warehouse, see if she got some. All right, how about this? Since she took some of my blocks. Does she have? Does she have a bunch of string? <laughs> We're gonna see. Iron for shears? Yeah, I have some. I can grab more. Wait, wait, what does her sign say? Well, okay, I seem to notice that it does not say no stealing. Wait, this is it? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. No way she wrote her cyber warehouse and it's six chests placed in the least efficient way. <laughs> oh, Zen. I'm so glad she's been enjoying Minecraft. <laughs> and no, she doesn't have any. <laughs> All right, let's make a sword and let's go um, beat up some spiders at the mob farm, I guess. <laughs> she is trying. Bless her heart. I mean, she is trying. <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, 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 all right. Where are my sticks? Where are all my sticks? Did I see them in here? Did I use all my sticks? Oh my god, I finally did it. I finally used all my sticks. Okay. Sticks I shall make. Uh, let's do you. And then a bunch of you. And then a bunch of you. And then I'll make a couple of swords. Because I feel like uh, one sword, one iron sword at the mob farm is not quite going to be enough. One, two. Let's do two. All right. 
I sleep and then off I go. <laughs> Yippee. Hey, Giga, congrats on 90k. Thank you. Thank you so much. There's a bow. Yeah, but I'm going to need a lot of dispensers, so, you know. I like to do things in batches. If I have a bow, I don't want to, like, make a dispenser, go make one little sheep spot, and then come back and go get more string. I want to do, like, all the string gathering at once. All the redstone gathering at once. You know what I mean? A pipeline, you could say. A pipeline. A nice pipeline. It's only a pig belongs light is basically air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is this? Oh, was this Haruka stuff for, um... Oh, oh my... Oh, oh... Oh my god. Did staff do this? Or like... Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is a lot. <laughs> That's so many. Is it to finish off our paths? I just... I don't know if you guys saw. I took our pathways and I added these little like outlets in... Oh. I'm not wearing um gold. Uh, Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Is the mob farm the same way as the end portal? Or is it that way? Was it where the dirt was? Check this out. It's like they were never even there. I think I think that dirt over there might have been where the um, mob farm will be. I could just find the sign. No, this isn't anything anymore. Oh my god, it moved. Oh my god, they changed stuff. Is it this way then with the torches? I think it might be that way. Maybe. I need to make these nicer. It's right next to the portal? Okay, so it's not this. I think that's the way I went for another biome. Okay, 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 okay. It used to be the multiple things were in different directions. Oh! Is that? <laughs> I should really make us like a little, a little, um, house little house at the beginning <laughs> it's it's honestly it's just because the end portal spits you out in the direction that nothing is <laughs> okay well here i go do you use nether portals to fast travel between places on the overworld yeah because the mob farm that we have i mean it has to be built in the overworld it's built very far away just to make sure that nothing's spawning in ah yeah i remember labeling some of this with henya a while back. Not that one exactly, but some of the other stuff. Okay. Here we go. But yeah, we do a lot of, um... Oh, I hear it next to me. Uh, the baby noises. Uh, we do a lot of labeling, which I enjoy. Sakura biome. I've been there. Okay. Sending down off with you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Yeah, Shondo Raiders, please go, uh... Go fuck off if you need to, you know? Get rest, whatever. Or hang out. All is good. All is appreciated. Here we go! Yippee! Like the nether portal overworld travel trick. What I really want is, um... I'm working with Tofu. He's the guy that, that made the mod pack for Bounce SMP and did all of the administrative, like, everything on there. And I asked him if he would be... Boots? I asked him if he... <gasps> if he would be willing to, uh... make a version of the mod pack for us. There was some stuff that was just too much. Like, we don't need, um, races and classes and things and jobs for the server. It's it's so unnecessary, I think. It's too much. But a lot of the other mods I do really want, and I think people could do well with, like, Create. Yeah, was the one I was gonna say. Because with Create mod, one of my favorite things is you, when you build a, a big train, you can pass it through nether portals. You can pass the train through nether portals and that's really great they're free to use what is this <gasps> i see i see Ooh. Ooh. okay i understand i understand all right i'll beat them all up this will be good, actually. I'm quite low level because I, I died so much in the end and I, <laughs> I lost all of my <laughs> experience. Wait for Thomcraft's return. I've I've been hearing about it. That was one um, that I used a while back. 
I don't remember how. Was it part of the Feed the Beast pack that like everyone used to play? No spider spawn, by the way. I mean, hey, I could still use the XP. And uh, if they're dropping bows from the skeletons and stuff, then it's cool. It's all right. Because the end result really is that I want, uh, I want that. That was the other question. How do you get eggs? How do you get eggs if I want to get a spider egg? Is that a random drop, a, a low chance drop? Is it um, from their spawners? How do you grab those? Because I did find a little like spider farm that I could make for string. They're only creative mode. Oh, hi. 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 How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm moving you over. I will go late. Oh. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, oh, go away. I was like, yeah, Ugh. I'm gonna stream and it's gonna be great. I'm a great stream. And then I woke up late and I'm like, well, time to go back on my trapper. Yeah, yeah. I am supposed to wake up at like, I'm supposed to be up before nine tomorrow. I usually wake up a little after nine. Mm -hmm. And like my brain is shut off for the first three hours of the day, you know? I just, I just like clean or like do stuff where I don't have to socialize. But I'm gonna do a collab with Shoto and Lily tomorrow at 9 a.m. Come on, Shoto Lily collab, let's go! <laughs> yeah, they wanted, they wanted to just hang out and chat, and I was like, okay, but uh, I'll do my best. <laughs> I'll do my best talking. Yeah. And once I get into the role of it, it'll be fine, but like, I feel like for the first two sentences, I'll be like, hey guys, what's up? Um, I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah. I was wanted to do bl blood or fly. A social blood fly. Yeah, a social blood fly. That's me. Well, I don't know. I actually consider myself introverted because I like hanging out, but I like my brain has hours where it's ready for it and then a lot of hours where it's not. <laughs> so, I see. Like, you know, when we're playing Minecraft late at night and I'm saying some words and then at some point I just stop saying words. I'm just like, yep. Mm hmm. Yeah. That's everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, so you're social? I mean, I still think so. I think I'm somewhere right in the middle. Right in the middle. You can be an introverted extrovert. Or an extroverted introvert. Yeah. Perhaps. <laughs> yeah, both things. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whenever I take, like, tests, quizzes, personality, anything, it's always like, oh, yes, you're very introverted. What? Really? Every time, every fucking time, it's like you're very introverted. But then um, I always get like this, like, oh, you're 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 like to take charge. You're a natural born leader. Blah blah. blah. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I get you that too together. sometimes, but I'm like, I don't, are these things right? I don't know. <laughs> like I was, you know, uh, my birthday's in 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 a, in a birthday month. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And they're like, oh, yeah, your zodiac sign totally. That, yep, classic mouse, classic mouse. I'm like, that is oh not God. like me at all. What are you talking your about? Zodiac. Yeah, I'm um, I'm an asparagus. I'm an asparagus is in retrograde, so I'm not feeling so good lately. I'm, I'm a Jemini man. <laughs> I'm not a Jemini man. <laughs> a Jemini man. A Jemini man. What am I? I'm a carpy corn. <laughs> I'm a carpy corn. I'm a carpy corn. <laughs> Asparagus is in marinade. <laughs> That's why I feel like shit all the time. I fucking knew it. <laughs> Something's off, you know? Something's just off. <laughs> I, I, I find that that's what, you know, I don't believe in anything related to astrology. And it's, do it. Yeah, it's one of those things that like some some people that come off as very sane and like not the types to believe in things like that. For some reason, there's still a good number of people that still like reference their sign. I just don't believe that like the stars and the moon dictate what type of person I am. Yeah, no. That, that doesn't make any fucking sense. Zero. There's a lot of My people mom's too. My not that... pregnant. She had a baby, yep. she gave birth, and you know, it happened on a day, and it's like, that that day doesn't dictate who I am for That's the rest of my life. It. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing, you know, there's, in, in a lot of Asian countries, 
they believe that your blood type has something to do with your personality too. Who said typical Capricorn? I'm gonna kill you. T typical Capricorn, get out. <laughs> <laughs> More like Crapicorn. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the blood type thing. I'm O negative. Oh, and then they're like, oh, that means you 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 love talking to everybody. And I'm like, what? What the fuck? Since I'm A B, they're always like, that means you're a fucking weirdo. And I'm like, cool. <laughs> Glad I told you my blood type, so you all think I'm a fucking weirdo. <laughs> Like, oh, negative. Oh, you are so special. You're so, you're so special, queen. And it's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> so stupid. It's fuck so you. dumb. What the fuck? <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, those A B types. Real the only weird. Time star dictates who those I am is when freaks, it is too those hot damn or cold freaky to be outside and I embrace my introvertism. <laughs> They're so mean to me because I'm AB negative, and you know what? I'm just different, okay? I'm just different. <laughs> you just don't understand me. They'll never understand. I'm just special, and they just wish they were special like me. They'll never have what I have. They just don't get it. I'm, I'm gonna Google it. Understand. <laughs> Blood type, uh, personality. personality. It's a big thing in Korea, especially. Yeah. Confident type O is confident, resilient, self-centered, and unstable. What the fuck? Huh? What does Pick that a mean? struggle. Jesus Christ. They're fucking, they're everything. Type AB, rational, adaptable, indecisive, critical. <laughs> what the fuck? Rational and indecisive. Like, come on. How does that make sense? Come on. Make it make sense. They just pick a bunch of vague shit and throw it together so that you fit at least one of them. So when you read the word rational, you're, you're like, like, oh, oh my yes, god, me. Totally me. <laughs> that's, that's like, so me. And then you believe it. <laughs> that reminds me of, like, when I go on TikTok and, like, I get recommended the tarot readings. They're like, this is a reading just for you. <laughs> if it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. And then, like, they're just, I have resonate. a message. The spirit is trying to tell me something and they want you to know. And it's like the most vague thing, and I'm just like, well, this can apply to everybody. Dude, it's like, you ever watch, um, those shows with mediums on it, and, and like, people will take someone's hand, and they'll be like, I feel a spirit around you. Did someone die Do you recently? remember Sylvia Brown? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I love something there. I know I did. Oh, my God. God, There's just something, that lady, bro. <laughs> she was crazy. <laughs> Fucking so Sylvia crazy. Brown. Oh, there's one here. Can you imagine if, like, during peak Sylvia Brown time, there was TikTok? Holy shit! Oh my God, she she'd be famous. She would be. Sure, would be incredible. All right, I got the stuff I needed. I was getting your super bad strings vision. so I could make uh, uh, bows, but except I just grabbed whole bows and I can make dispensers and then I can make the wool farm. Oh, a wool farm. Yeah, we need a wool farm. We need it. It's very important. Ah! I'm trying to crit like the kids do. Oh, I'll go with you. Yeah, I'm gonna head back. <gasps> Oh, yeah, I have to use my elytra. I have to wear it. There's more elytras we found. I saw. I saw. We're trying to get one for everybody. Mm-hmm. Fuji just said she doesn't know about the string farm. Lol. Well, Fuji, you see, maybe if people uh, made things and then logged them in a Minecraft chat in the server, we would know about things. <laughs> like this. Look, labeled. EXP farm. Wow. How did you go tend to your pit of monsters? Yeah, where's uh, where's the sign for the string farm, huh? <coughs> Where is it? Where's the string farm sign? Where's the pit of monster sign? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He was laughing so hard when I told him that we were dying in his pit. Oh, <laughs> Dude. yeah, Fuji, it happened on stream, too. You can see me, um, someone, someone accidentally, uh, who, who was it? Was it you? Was it Henya? Someone, someone broke all of your... <laughs> your scaffolding that went up to your hellish circle in the sky. So I picked up all of it and I put it elsewhere. 
<laughs> it was so sad. I was zoomed on it. And I was just watching it fall from the top all the way down. Or no, from the bottom up. I was watching it all break. <laughs> it was like dramatic. Oh, so cool. It was so cool. Off we go. At some point, we that was so cool. Cities. It was so cool to see. Oh, someone says it was Zen. <laughs> Oh, I believe it. Zen. Yeah, it was Zen. Because then after, after she broke it, she stood off to the side and she watched us die. <laughs> she like ran to the, to the side and yeah. she stood just outside and she was like, what are you guys going to do? And I was just like, what the fuck, Zen? We're dying. <laughs> she just stood there watching us. <laughs> She's doing her best. She really she is. All right, now... I rearranged all the books in her in her bookcases in her house to say "send sucks" and she couldn't read it. <laughs> oh, she couldn't read it. Oh, Zen. She's having a hard time. It's just, it's, it's it's rough out there for for Zen, you know. God, you know what? I want better leaves so bad. <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I have the list of all the stuff that Tofu needs me to look over, and I've been looking yeah. over it and everything. And I can, if you want to sit down at some point, we can like go yeah. through. Because I was we like, can barnstorm. Yeah, we can barnstorm everything. Because some some people are gonna have no idea what a lot of the mods are, but I know you you know more of uh, them. No. So. What's the problem here? Do I need a bow that isn't broken? Yes. Oh. I see, I see, I understand. That's great to know. <laughs> no, I think it's this. There we go. Ah, oh, I see. I think it should still work. <gasps> I have to place it because it's not the same item if it has a health bar on it. Oh, I understand. Minecraft <laughs> is real funny, you know that? It's real funny. I love Minecraft. I love Minecraft. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, no. Let me see what I need. I'm gonna follow a written guide and see if I can use my brain to make Mine's it happen. So smart. Also need observers on my cart with hoppers. I wanted to do a train track. Oh, a train oh. track. Yeah, but I'm thinking because I was gonna do like a minecart, like railroad from the farming from the from the X XP farm all the way back here mm -hmm. for people that don't want to fucking fly or that can't. That would be good. Yeah, yeah. But then I was like. If we get create mod, can we just make a fucking train? Mm-hmm. And the train can go through the nether. I was just saying that on stream. I was like, I like that um Create Mods trains can go through the nether completely. So I think it's it'll like, be good. But we should just I was just like, well, maybe I'll just wait and then we'll just build a fucking train. Yeah, I, honestly, yeah. Cause that that was one of my requirements for was like I, just create mod has to exist. I really, really want it. I wanna make a factory and I want to make my um uh, my windmill again. I want to make an amusement park. <gasps> v show yeah. land. Yeah, v show oh land. V show home land. It'll be so good. It'll be so good. I want to make an amusement um, park. Like You're very goal oriented and I'm very like, I just want to build things so that I can ride them and have a good time. <laughs> Are you like, yep. yeah, I want to create a business oh, empire. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm doing is I normally, when I build stuff, I, I pick what one huge thing to build. I'm going to build a castle, you know, or something. And then the interior doesn't look good because it's just big and empty. And I don't know how to decorate. So instead, I'm going to build a village of a bunch of small buildings. And I'm going to make them all little farms or something. Oh, Automatic stuff. Oh, nice, nice. Because I think I can keep to that and be more interested in that than making one thing. We're going to do our Halloween town thing. <gasps> Or Halloween. Yes, do we do? Oh, scout locations. It shouldn't be too yeah. far, but far enough that it's like an actual mm -hmm. like 
Halloween place. We could do a Halloween place. Yeah, I think I think I think we can like just go a ways over, make a little rail to it, and then just just start start going, start building. Yeah. Is this is someone's mine. Start moving forward. I wanna I wanna find nether quartz. I have some quartz blocks, but I want new I wanna keep those and I want new nether quartz. So I can make observers. Oh, she wants to make observers. I wanna make observers. Observe I think digging this way is not efficient, but we do it anyway. Oh yeah, that's right. Don't you have like a, a super efficient way of digging? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't think nether quartz is going to spawn in the middle of these blocks. I think it'll spawn on the outside. So I was going to... Maybe this is a bad idea. I could I could go She's through. She's a business entrepreneur. Am I something of an entrepreneur myself? You know? Yeah. If I dig out to the next opening and then look around there, it'll be a new spot. And maybe I'll be able to find some shit over there. Because everything around here has been dug out. Or maybe I'll... Whoops. Maybe I'll go over there and then I'll, um, you know, just fall out and die in lava. That could happen too. <laughs> That's always Story fun. Of life. <laughs> Story of my life. Dying in the lava. I love dying in lava. It's my favorite. <laughs> it's my favorite I activity. Love it. Dying in lava. Favorite pastime. Oh, yeah. You're so funny when you die in the lava. I can't help it. It's. Something my ancestors did. She's a quirky girl. <laughs> I'm so quirky. <gasps> Found an opening. I did it. You'll just never understand. You just don't get it. No way. You just don't get what it's like to be me. <laughs> There's a reason why I always die in the Labla, and you just wouldn't know. Only true believers would understand. <laughs> Dying in Labla isn't for everyone, you know. It's not a phase. It's a lifestyle. Some people can do it, and some people just can't, and that's okay. It's not for everybody. Just know what you are, you know? N know who you are, know your boundaries, and know you can't die in Labla like me. I was literally made for the Loblo. Where the fuck? There's no nether quartz in my immediate vicinity. And it makes oh. me very, very mad. <laughs> oh, my head. Okay. I keep forgetting that I need to buy a fucking new mouse. What's wrong with your mouse? And so the scroll wheel is broken and it moves on its own. So sometimes, like, I'm using the scroll wheel to get shit, and it'll, like, cycle all, all the way around, like, multiple times. And I have to, like, it's like a, How long has it a been mini like game. This? <laughs> like, two months. No! I, I bought a mouse, but when I bought it, I was like, oh, I'll get this mouse. It's way too big for my hand. Oh, yeah. It's way too big for my fucking hand. Yeah. So then I was like, well, I'll buy a mouse eventually, and then I just... Oh, Never did yeah. It. <laughs> is it one of those things that you just got blocked on? Like your brain is just like, no, we're not doing yeah. this. I just forget. I got so much shit to do. Got so mm -hmm. much shit going on. It's like, fuck. I feel you. <laughs> I need a personal assistant. Aww. Honestly, for you, it may make a lot of sense to get one. <laughs> oh, that's what my sister told me. Yeah, I, you know, I had one previously. For, for like my other work. I hired oh, yeah. one, not not like all the time and not for like every hour of the day, just like they had like one office hour every day where I would just, I would just send the messages throughout the day. And then during that hour, they would just compile everything and then check in. They would have like a, like a daily stand up meeting with me and they'd be like, okay, here are all the notes you wrote, <laughs> you know? I need, I need one and I need somebody to like make phone calls for me because yeah, it doesn't work for me. Like, it's it's hard to like... do different small tasks all day, right? Yeah, like most jobs like... are a little more menial, like and, and it's more you're doing the same thing over and over, so your brain is kind of chill during it. But when you're a creator, you're doing all these unique little tasks and figuring new things out so consistently that your brain just gets very tired. Yeah, and then it's like 
when the when it's time like especially like to make phone calls and appointments and stuff mm -hmm. like it's hard for me because like i stream and when i'm not streaming i'm sleeping and and if i'm not doing that i'm working and it's just like when do i have time to do anything mm -hmm. and and if you can't go and do some nice fun normal person stuff what are you gonna talk about on stream exactly. well guys yesterday i was working and and then you know tomorrow i'm gonna be working and <laughs> it's like you know story of my life always working yeah yeah i feel like you become like less relatable over time <laughs> it's true it's true yeah it gets weird it's already happening <laughs> dun dun which is why I retreat into Minecraft and I hide. No one no, can I find me in the that. nether. <laughs> can't even do that now because Steph is always on their, like, mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was their plan all along. Um, did yeah. you see that email? How come you haven't answered my message yet? I'm like, ah. <laughs> And I pretend oh. like I'm AFK. <laughs> <laughs> no. I get it. I think it's really important to have some hours every day where you just don't make yourself do anything. Honestly, like you don't true. force yourself to do shit. Otherwise, your brain really just starts to like shrivel. 28. Uh, yeah, exactly. I need a personal assistant to buy me a mouse. Yep. 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 <laughs> exactly. I think a lot of a lot of people in my chat are like programmers or work in tech in some way. I think a lot of people that work in tech understand this really well too because you're like depends on what kind of job you're doing but a lot of them you're uh constantly changing up what the fuck you're doing yeah your brain just dies when you try to do stuff outside of work you're like <laughs> and you're just sitting there like suffering it's a lot yeah it's a lot especially when you start like i feel like once you're like a a more established or like mm. or a, a corpo streamer or whatever mm -hmm. it's a lot more stuff than when like you're this is my hobby and i'm just here yep and it's everyone wants your, your time hobby. all the time and you're constantly balancing all your scheduling between all these people that you like yeah. enjoy <laughs> you know and you, but you just like don't have the time to get to everything and everyone it stinks yeah. I wish I had more time in the day. It stinks real bad. It smells yeah. so bad. It smells like shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, Mouse, stop complaining. Blah, 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 blah. Who said? And then, and not only that, on top of that, I have to take care of myself. <laughs> yeah. And I don't just mean basic human needs. That's important, too. Yeah. But I need to take care of my health all the time, and that's a full-time job. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So I'm sorry. Dude, when <laughs> I was in recovery, I didn't realize how time-consuming it was. It's a lot. Oh, oh. Yeah, oh, hen, yeah, hi. Staff's unbuilt spider string. Oh, farm at Staff Island. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's okay, hen, yeah, I got it. I made it work. You I'll made it work. It out. But yeah, I'll get more if I need to. Eight. I made it work. I made it work. I did for now. But I, yeah, I'll, I'll probably use that later. I'll probably need more. Okay, what else do I need? Henny, I'm making the wool farm. Uh, dispensers. I'm gonna need grass blocks. Uh, some glass. I need some glass. I have everything else. It looks like minecarts hoppers. I can make easy. Okay. To the iron farm! The iron oh. farm! I gotta go add some iron so I can make a ton of tracks! Exactly. It's gonna be a lot of iron for all those tracks. Oh my god, I know. Lot of iron. That's okay. Now that we have the farm, we're, we're like doing alright with it. Thanks, Panini! Thank you, Panini. Thank you, Panini. When she posted the picture of the iron farm, I was like, <gasps> oh my God. Hallelujah. Thank God. That was what was keeping me from doing. I had like no iron and I had gathered iron a couple times, but it mysteriously disappeared every time. So I couldn't make 
uh, all the hoppers and things I would need for the wolf farms. So that's why the wolf farm was sitting there. And then the the result is that the logo was also just sitting there because <laughs> I didn't have iron. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> oh. A cascade a of events. Oh. Oops. Oh, the misery. What, um, what uh, shaders are you using? Uh, Silders. S I L D U R. Silders oh, shaders. Because your shaders look so nice and juicy. I like I like these ones a lot. I was thinking maybe changing the textures on a couple things, but but I like the lighting on them a lot. I like the so nice and warm. Yeah, it's very warm, which I like because I play Minecraft at night a lot, and when the lights are more yellow, my eyes don't die. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about changing because I use complementary shaders, and I love the way everything I do like looks. Them. But look I at do, the but... look at the reflections. Look at this. But like. Let's be real. You're like when I had the silver shaders, mm. which I've used in the past, mm -hmm. they really make you feel like it's like fall. Yes, yes, exactly. I really want that fall vibe. I want the pumpkin spice shaders. Yeah, I want pumpkin spice. <laughs> what the pumpkin spice shaders? That's exactly it. Yeah, I wanted I wanted very yellow lights and everything to feel really warm because uh Well that's it, I'm changing. Nice. Yeah, do it. Do it. Yeah, I just really wanted like a really like uh fall vibe, you mm -hmm. know? I do find I don't know if it's the shader pack, but I I drop some frames when I start going near our, our group house. So I don't know if you know, I oh, need to change and adjust why. some stuff. It might it might be the shaders just being, you know a lot. A lot. It's a lot. Potentially it's a lot. Alright, let me grab my my wool farm article. I'll put it next to chat. I was gonna say a joke, but I'm afraid it's too offensive. <laughs> well, it's a good thing you didn't, because it probably is. <laughs> yeah, I like how you put an XD. Do you like my XD emote? Do you like that? <laughs> I have. I have most iterations of XD have been replaced, and that one, that version is just—it's just like, ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> it's my favorite. All right, place a dispenser facing horizontally. Okay. Yeah, here. Okay. Here we go. Grass blocks here and here. Okay. Build a pen out of glass. Oh, you know. What? You know. The well, pens only back. need to be this big. That's fine. Chat. The pens only need to be this big. Which means, chat. I could. I could smash more of these uh, sheep next to each other, right? Like I can get rid of this. Put another sheep here. It could be more efficient, but then the shape don't match up with where these are. The windows. And I don't want to change the exterior. Does that bother you? Does it bother you that they don't line up with that? Or if I do it, are you going to be fine with it? Are you going to cry? No, nah. Okay, because it doesn't bother me. I really don't care if they don't line up with it. <laughs> you know? I could, um, mm, let me, let me break down some of the fences and we'll, we'll just look at it. I'll place them in the newer placement and we will just stare at it and see how we feel, you know? Let's try that. Will this be the sheep farm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I finally have enough iron to make it. Because my iron is no longer mysteriously disappearing or even if it does, there's more being made, which is cool. Okay, so let's grab our, uh, you and you um i think i will at the very least leave this but the pens will be like that <gasps> oh i could line it up with these two 
Oh, it lines up so nicely. Never mind. It's great. It's great. It's incredible, guys. It's incredible. I love doing things in threes. Okay. Yeah, no, that's good. That's good. Whew, no more issues. Okay, but I will place this maybe. Make a blocky structure back here, I think. I might have to put double glass here because the, the sheep will be able to get on top of it or put trapdoor, you know, something, something there to like horizontally to keep the sheep from jumping up on there. But I think that's it. I, Cause I don't think I put anything here. I think this dispenser is going to dispense every time the sheep has wool, it eats the grass. It's going to dispense the shears. And then down here somewhere, I'll look at it later. There will be, um, actually, where does the observer go? Oh, let me check. Let me check. Let me look. Uh, grass blocks there. Pen out of glass. Lure the sheep inside. Observer underneath the dispenser facing at the grass block. Ah, uh, okay. So when the grass is here, it is powered. So the observer will be underneath. It'll be there. I see. I see. I see. Okay. No, I don't want more room. I don't want more room for the sheep. I want it to stay right here so that it's all lined up beautifully. Also, because look at how nice these pens are. So I'll get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It'll be 14. Oh, there's 16 colors. Okay, so I, I just have to extend these walls out the tiniest bit. And then that's perfect. That's all the colors, right? Uh, it's, uh, it's checking. It's checking out. It's looking good. Okay. I like it. I like it. So what I can do is then I can push it back and maybe have a back area with some stuff lined up, like decorate the back wall a little bit, since there will be a, one of these poles on that corner. It'll be like this. And then it'll like kind of end there. Maybe I could do one more window and the back has something. Maybe I'll just put a shit ton of sheep in the back. <laughs> just normal ones in case someone needs wool fast, you know? <laughs> I don't know. In that case, you might need to move the dispenser forward so the redstone dust is inside the building. That's the thing, yeah. So they said I would have to put a line of dust behind it. So I'm like, if I move it in, is that weird? Then we just have one, one way to be walking. So what I could do... Oh, I feel like moving the walls out that way would be weird. Mm. You see the vision? You, you, see, you see what I'm going for there, right? Yeah, because then otherwise the the redstone dust is going like back this way. Let me see. What is the place behind? It's uh redstone dust on top of the block behind the observer. Oh, yeah. So I'd have to break this. I have to break this and then place redstone dust there. That would be there. And that will power it. Hmm. I mean, I could I could build little flower boxes here, right? Sort of like I have in the front. Oh, I can't pick it up because I'm full of stuff. Okay. Uh, sure. Gravel. We don't need. So what that would do? Show you the front. I think it'll be fine because I could place these on the outside. I think doing that would be like fine. So if I cut this out. And I place a flower box there. Who cares, man, right? Like, who cares? I think it'll look okay. All right. Oh, no, wait, I wanted to get rid of these. I need more of this wood, but my saplings all disappeared. Which is interesting. <laughs> that part's really interesting. Um, don't know where they went. Place this in the wrong spot. They go here. I may even replace these and not have a fence. We shall see. And you know, th things magically happen sometimes in Minecraft, right? Things just fall out of chests, it seems. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Perhaps. Um, this one's staying normal, right? Yeah. Okay. And then like that, and like that. And then when I punch this out, I think I make the sides, I'll make the sides all just flower box. 
to hide the ugliness of those things, kind of sitting there, maybe. Maybe. Perhaps. They said make a glass pen, but do I really need to if they're just in here? I just need to cover that. We'll see. We'll get to it. Man, we'll get to it. I think fences will be fine, and I like the look because it looks very, uh, barn-like. Shit, I need more doors. I need more doors. Oh. Oh. I did have enough for that side. Oh. This goes here. That's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. You don't just have to trap them. Exactly, exactly. They just have to not be able to run out of there, right? That's that's really it. Okay, uh the the the, the fence gate. Gate gate is the word. Sticks. Sticks. I can make exactly three. Okay, hold on. Let's change that. Let's make more of those. Let's make more sticks. And then we'll go like, whoops. It was this, correct? This one for a gate? How many did I need? I'm gonna grab seven. I did not need seven. But it's fine because I'm using them in other builds. Boom, okay. Oh, no, 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 I will need more. Uh, okay, let me, let me do this right now. We do this right now, so it's just all sorted out. And then I won't worry about getting literally every wool color right now. I just want to set up the spacing for it. So after I make the first one of these and get it going, um, the next thing I'll do, I'll put a couple sheep in here so that it runs, and then I'll move this back, and then I'll work on the other stuff after. It's the order of operations. Okay, you will go like that. It's so beautiful, guys. It's so beautiful. Anytime I've made um, an automatic farm like this, I have always made it so fucking horrifically ugly. <laughs> I've, I've always made the most disgusting utilitarian contraption I possibly could, you know? <laughs> so, I'm like really entertained by the prospect of making something that doesn't look like shit. It's very nice, guys. It's very nice. We're gonna do this, and then we're gonna do this for fence. There we go. I don't know. Like, I, I always made builds that looked good from the outside, like huge, huge, enormous evil castles or something, right? And then after that, God knows what the fuck everything else would look like. It would just be awful. I mean, like, look, it's all my farms. And you know the thing Henya built? Imagine, like, 20 of those lined up near each other using all different blocks because I just used whatever I had. <laughs> it was fucked up. It was so fucked up. Okay, these are ready for that. Uh, next, next. Grass blocks are there. P pen out of glass. The pen is made. Observer under the dispenser facing at the grass block. How do I place it facing the right way is the question. How do I get it to face the right way? I won't be able to see the arrow. It's facing that, so I need it facing that. Need a crouch place, maybe? Let me see, crouch, and I'm, I'm, I'm here. Do I need to place it on that? Stand behind? Oh, does it face the door? Oh. Which way is it facing now? You have to face the way the dispenser's facing. Ah, oh, I see. Oh, this is gonna be so annoying to place there. Okay, that's fine. So I want it facing that grass block. So if I click on this, is it facing on to it? I will check by doing this. Is this correct? Doesn't this mean it's facing that way, right? Isn't it following the little arrow? Right? Is it because I was crouching, maybe? Oh. Hmm. 
Mm. Okay, okay. Hold on. I see. Where's my dirt? So if I do it... This... Oh. <laughs> that was correct? Oh, wait. The redstone is where the power... Oh, that's the output? Uh, I see, I see, I see. I, th I thought that was the input direction. Okay, so that was correct. So, oh, oh. I, I see what's going on here. Okay, wait, wait, wait. That's why I'm aiming up. I'm trying to get it, like... Okay. Okay. And then uh, this will grow grass again. Ah! Oh. Understood. Understood. Okay, that'll regrow. Uh, you will go... Ooh, my planks will go... Here. And then my dispenser on top. So I'll probably have to just remove each of those, which is fine. And it'll be like that. Next, next. I will remove each for ease. And I'll go like this. Just keep it easy. And I'll place you like, eh, like that. Okay, so I need it, I need it like that. Yeah, arrows direction of output makes sense. I got it, I got it. Uh, you, I should just leave this one open. Ah. Ah. Okay. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Will the grass go from here to this? Does this count because it has this on it? Is it technically light blocked or anything? Just want to know for, for aesthetics sake. Yeah? Okay. Then we're good. Then we're real good. Okay. Server, there, there, you in here, you in there. It's so satisfying. It's so nice. I like this part of building because I never, um, never got into a lot of this stuff to actually like pay attention to how it worked. It was always just me building farms at the fastest speed I could so that we had things on a server somewhere. <laughs> I never got to take the time to understand why I was doing what I was doing. Except for one time a while back, which is why I don't remember any of this. I was like, I'm going to make a Christmas tree and I'm going to have, I'm going to make something simple. I'm going to make the lights on it turn on and off and I'm going to make them twinkle, right? The way, the way uh, the Christmas tree would. Oh. Hello, Zen. Zen, look, I'm making my sheep uh, woolly farm. Look. Look, look, it's coming along bit by bit. How'd stream go? Oh, Zen, I was going to ask you if you wanted to play a game, but I know you're doing shit uh, tomorrow, so not tomorrow. But as soon as possible, as soon as we both have a day where we're not doing anything. Because the game just came out that I really want to play. We got to do it. We have to. Raiders chat, welcome. Look, I'm finally making the fabled wool farm because I have iron for once in my goddamn life in this game. I have iron. So now, now I can do it. I can make it. It's, it's, it's actually going to happen, guys. It's crazy. It's happening. It's happening. Says so getting ready for her big day. Yeah. Not to make you jealous or anything, but, um... I just want you to know... I'm just gonna play this up right now, uh, That I've seen everything that she's gonna show tomorrow already. <laughs> I just want you to know that, like... <sighs> I've seen it all. Like, not, not to brag. You know? Not to brag, that'd be weird, but... But I've seen all of it already. <laughs> and, like... <laughs> you know. Oh my god. I have enough for five. Five? I need to go steal more iron. Ugh. Um, does it matter where I place it? In the dispenser. Is that a thing? Does placement matter? Do I have to put it like top left or something? 
No? 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 Okay. Good, because I'm placing it in the center for... For... Well, not, not really any reason. Just because I like it. Okay. 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 Time to get more iron. Wow, it's almost like your friends are something cool. <laughs> Prove it by describing it in detail. Um... It's... It's a uh, Zen and she's wearing some cool clothes. Um, and, sh and, and she's, um, and she's Zen. Are you picturing it? Can you see it? If, if you close your eyes, can you see what I'm describing? No way. <laughs> Sorry for spoiling it. I know, I know, I know it kind of ruins the immersion. I know it kind of ruins the whole thing, but I just thought you might want to know what the outfit was like. So, you know, there it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Sorry for the spoilers. I know, I know. I leak everything. All right. I'm going to go to the one spot that they just left a bunch of iron. Actually, let me see if I can find the actual iron farm. So I actually know where it is. Do any of you guys know where the iron farm is? Have any of you guys watched other people go to it? Over there? Oh. I see. I see. I understand. Is that just here, Thunder? Is it raining over that way in that biome or something? <laughs> okay, well, this is Panini's area. This is Staff Island, but that's this is or actually this is Poshies, and, and that's Panini's. <gasps> oh my God! I'm going to save Staff Island. I am the hero. Oh my God, Staff, you would have died. You would have died if it weren't for me. Oh, fuck. How do I... How do I... How... <laughs> Staff, the trees! The trees! The trees! Guys, the trees! Do I have to clear all sides of it? Oh, it's so stupid. Stupid Minecraft fire. Look at that. Ow. Look at that. Perfectly intact. See? <laughs> If it weren't for me, this tree would be dead. But look at it. Alive and happy. All right. All right. Where the fuck is the iron farm? This is Panini's house. No, this is Ponchi's house. This is Panini's house. Is this... Am I meant to do that? I did it anyway. Oh my god. Me eat food. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see what's down here. I don't think the iron farm's down here, but I want to see what your mind looks like. <gasps> Two paninis. Oh my god, they're so organized. Hungry? Wow, it's so organized. It's so beautiful. Wow. We save trees so we can kill them ourselves. Yeah, nothing's allowed to die unless I kill it. Nothing. All right, all right, let's see. <laughs> Loot the place and run. Who do you think I am? What's going on down here? <gasps> it's so dark. It's so spooky. Do you think they... I think they don't know about the efficient strip mine thing. <laughs> I should show them. I should show them the, the big brain strip mine strat. I should do it, you know? I should. Loot the place and Zen will get the blame. <laughs> you guys are saying these things, but like I'm on stream. I'm, I'm literally... I'm streaming and anyone could click on here and, and look at what I'm doing, you know? Haha, <laughs> ha, no one will know. Just all of us. 
None of us are snitches. We won't tell anybody. Really? Really? Because literally within two seconds of Zen opening one of my chests, she didn't even take shit. Everyone was in my chat going, Oh my god. Giga. I know you're doing something else, but please get on Minecraft right now. What the hell is this? Zen's taking all of your stuff. <laughs> I see you people. I see all of you. Oh, this was from our adventure. Wait, I should, I should, I forgot to remove the signs later. <laughs> That's when we set the thing up for, um, <gasps> oh my God. This is so nice. This is so nice. I didn't realize that the leaves fall. I thought it had to be attached to a tree, but no, if you just place these, it'll just drop the little, little petals. <gasps> Zam, Zam, Pashi. This looks really good. Well, it's not the iron farm, though. <laughs> I'm going to assume the iron farm is some, like, really tall thing or somewhere out wherever there's going to be a... just some blocks in the ground of, of water throwing some golems into a pit. I don't know. I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. They might have built it nearby, or they might have built it way out wherever. What is this? <gasps> this is new. <gasps> oh! Oh, it's a bamboo farm. Is it? It's one of those ones that when the bamboo grows, it, it pushes the, the piston out to break it, right? <gasps> Who the hell is this? Um, there's somebody in there. <laughs> somebody in there. Yeah, it's the fuel, I would assume. Oh my god, you sickos. You sickos. What are you doing to them? <laughs> you absolute sickos. You freaks. Yeah, this was the thing I was building. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, you found it. I found where staff have all their um, stuff. Sick. You're sick. You're sick. Sickos. I was going to find whichever one was the iron farm. The sickos. Oh. Oh my God. The string farm is very efficient. I'm on my way to steal some iron from the iron farm. Where is the iron farm? I don't know, but I'm going to find it. I know what they look like. Oh, this look. Oh, I jumped in. Oh, no. I can get myself out this way. I just don't want to cover up their I'm source blocks. I'm just letting you know, if you fall into the lava, don't worry. All your stuff gets <laughs> sorted into the hopper when you die. Yay. Which I learned the hard way because I did a nosedive flying right into that pit. This is there from Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. Typical. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, ah! And then I fell. Ah, that's me yelling. Ah! <laughs> that's then, me yelling. <laughs> then I fell to my death and I was like, oh my god, my stuff! Mm -hmm. And then Fugi was like, uh, I was like, it was like, uh, the last save of the server was six hours ago. I don't think I reset it. I'm like, no! And then <laughs> Panini was like, oh, oh wait, so did you, where did you fall? And I'm like, in the iron form, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and she was like, Oh, your stuff is probably in a hopper. <laughs> Thank God. And I'm like, oh. whoa. Whoa. That's crazy. Yeah, that no, this, is, is, this is, is cool. good to see. This is good to know because I'm going to take so much iron. What if I built a whole house out of iron? Where do I freaking get the iron from? Here. Do you see me? You come this way. It's time. And there's a sign that says, collect iron here. <laughs> Have fun Why are you laughing? <laughs> Why is she laughing? Uh, no reason. 
No reason at all. What's this dirt bridge for? Oh, there's a village here. All oh, cute. Cute. Is this where they farmed their humans? That's probably how they got the golem over. Chat, do you say golem or golem? Golem. 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 Um. Golem. Some people Golum. are spelling it exactly as the word is spelled because they think they're so funny. You think you're so you're funny? So funny. You're so funny, Jen. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go drop off my shit and come back and get a shit ton of iron to make a shit ton of tracks. Mm -hmm. Oh no, whatever shall I do? There's dirt blocks blocking <laughs> my path. I can oh, never no. leave this building. Oh, foiled again. Uh, car says. <laughs> I should really put on my elytra, huh? You should. I'm gonna grab it, grab it from the house. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> Failure to do so only results in you wasting more time running around. It's only inefficient. What do you need to make the little fireworks? Uh, you need paper and gunpowder. Paper and gunpowder, okay. Do yeah. we have a creeper farm? Oh shit, we need a creeper farm. Yeah, we're gonna need a creeper farm. But I'll let you know, at the experience farm, there's a ton of gunpowder there, but I took it mm -hmm. off. To make a shit ton of TNT. <laughs> Which I don't know Which what I'm you... gonna do with it. Oh, I was gonna say, all the TNT you lost during the happening at the end. Oh yeah, the happening. My TNT! I recovered all of the TNT. Yeah, nice. And now, I can blow shit up. We can make, you can make a TNT cannon. You can make a thing that like, tosses it. Oh my god, don't tell me that. It's possible. It's possible. It does exist. <laughs> I'm just Don't saying. Don't tell me that. My it's, dream. It's doable. To explode the world. You could build something really pretty next to someone's house. Make it look really nice, but then on the inside, it's just like a TNT launcher. And if they're mean to you, you just flip the switch and you just fucking blow it all up. <laughs> all right. We're doing that design. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I swear to God, if she tries me one more time, it's over. If she tries me <laughs> one more time. <laughs> It'll be so good. Someone says, if you get create mod, could you mount a launcher on a train? Uh, oh. I don't know that the blocks on there become interactable other than seats and things. Oh, man, we could, we could do like a firework show. <gasps> yes. Do so much cool shit. It'll be so cool. It's gonna be so cool. It'll be so nice. All right. Get my Elitora. Do I have to put mending on it? You should. <laughs> <laughs> you should, dude. <Dean. laughs> I don't have mending. I think. I think the. The little people farm has it, right? The people farm has mending. Okay, okay, okay. Because otherwise it just breaks, right? Yeah. I'm breaking and mending. Yeah. Yeah, I need to put on... Uh, I think mine has unbreaking on it. Hmm. Well, but mine is... Uh, it's got nothing. It's got nothing. I got no. nothing. I have nothing. 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 And I am telling you. <laughs> All right. I'm organizing. I'm organizing. I I always help other people organize their stuff, and then I don't have it in me to like organize my shit for a while. Well, but I'm gonna so build us right. an auto sorter later, just to make it easier. Oh man, I, I miss the on the old resource server. We had like a mm. computer. 
that we could do a computerized storage. Love it. Oh my god, it was so handy. And you can make a tablet where you can basically access your your uh, inventory from anywhere without using yeah. like the little. Oh, I you can love pull that. anything you want, and you can put anything you want back mm -hmm. from the tablet. It was I so handy, it. and I need it. Okay, I'll make some shears. Whoops. And I'll make some red dye, and I'll put away the red dye. I don't have all the dye colors. There's some that I still need to get. But I think oh. I can combine a lot of what I have. I want to make one of each sheep. Oh, sheep. Yeah. It won't be the fastest farm. It's not going to be, like, crazy. But it sure will uh, work, so. <laughs> as long as it fine. works. That's all that matters. Yeah, it'll be close enough that it'll be running normally, automatically. So, uh, if people are just playing on the server, it'll probably be working. But I can, I think later I'll make a version where I throw a switch on the back so that it doesn't have to run all the time because I don't want to lag shit. Yeah. But for now, it'll be okay. It'll be all right. Okay, did I do this one? I did. Okay. All right, back to my guide. What do I need? Um, observer, redstone dust. Redstone dust behind. Dust. Just a bit of dust. Okay. Okay. Oh, I put it away. <laughs> I'll put it away. Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Oh, Someone wow. said, you can craft shears in your base inventory. No need for crafting tables. <laughs> Thanks. Oh my god, I never Mr. knew. Mr. Johnny Smith Minecraft. Mm. Thanks a lot. Look, Timmy. I miss backpacks so I'm much. Aware. Oh, I do miss backpacks. Yeah. Miss backpacks and miss crafting from the backpack. Don't need no fucking crafting. I did. I did like having a little, little table right in there. It was nice. It was great. Bro, the backpack system that we have on QSMP is so fucking good. How has that you been? You can literally do everything from the backpack. I and like that. I do like that. Yeah. It's been good. It's been really fun. Mm. A lot of uh, a lot of role playing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, fun. that is fun. yeah. A lot of the people that have been like longer term Minecraft players, that is yeah. the main thing. Really, is just creating scenarios and stuff on the server. Yeah, I'm having fun. I think it's really fun. That was the but thing I man. felt like we missed a little bit on Bounce SMP was like people making funny shit happen. And I think the one who did it best was Joe. Joe Fudge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> He was so he funny, did. just running around making. He made the ah, there's, we're being pillaged. There was um, I loved it. There's the whole thing where he made like all of the graves of his family in the basement. I remember. He had the pictures, and one of them was like they looked oddly one of like them you. Was me. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? It was so funny. Oh, it was so good. Yeah, he was hilarious. I miss Joe every day. Oh, Joe. The war between the smalls and the talls. It was a great time. It was a simple time. It was simpler back then, you know. It was simpler. Very simple. One of the most simplest times I've ever been a part of. Dust on top of the block. Behind the observer. Okay, sheer in. Minecarts with hoppers underneath the grass. Chat, putting putting a hopper underneath these blocks would work. It goes through a block. Confirmed. Huh. Okay. Huh? Do I need to place two here? 
I guess I could put a chest there. So it needs to be uh, here. So if they're standing on this, then they need to be like... Oh, I need to make sure the direction's right. I think, I think, I understand. I understand I'm gonna do everything. the, the, the minecart, minecart strat where it like picks the shit up and then taps it into the chest. Smart. I think that's the thing. So minecart's always running under here and collecting and, and dumping it into somewhere. That's what I'll put at the end. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let me see. What else do I need? Let me bring the sheep over. Make sure I have enough. I think I have enough. Maybe. Maybe. Perhaps. Range is one block. Ah, okay. I get to make a funny looping minecart that goes around, collects all the stuff, and dumps it in a chest. It'll be so nice. Oh, that's cute. It'll be so cute. Tell me if you hear my cat in the background. I already heard him. <laughs> <laughs> I heard him. Wow! 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 He's having a great time over there. I have this this one cat tree that has like, like the you know the little poles that they can scratch are usually like they're all the same width. They're all like a three four inch in diameter kind of thing and i found one mm -hmm. that is like so thick it's like one of those bigger pvcs that you could almost fit your head into it's like that thick so he Whoa. runs and jumps at it and puts his arms around it like a tree it starts climbing up the whole thing <laughs> that's cute he loves it he that's loves so it so cute. much he has such a good time Ooh. it's adorable yeah. I wish I had a cat. <gasps> I wish you had a cat. I am my own cat. <laughs> Who needs one? I am the only cat this house needs. <laughs> I like having cats. They're gross, though. They would give you toxoplasmosis in two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> My fucking toxoplasmosis cat. <laughs> it would be, it would be like immediate. Come here, little sheep. Come with me. Come on. I kiss my cat on the face. And every time Aww. I do, my mom's like, You're gonna get toxoplasmosis one of these days. Mom, maybe I won't talk so plays Moses. Whatever he has, I want. <laughs> <laughs> it's only fair. I'm not like, I'm not like kissing my cats on the mouth, you know? Occasionally it accidentally happens, but I'm not like, it, you know, it's usually like, it's on the head. It's on the top of the head. That's cute. <gasps> Don't kiss your cats. You gotta, you gotta. Can you not kiss your cat? You have to. Even if they hate it. Mine love it because they love me and they would never turn away from me. Never. <laughs> they never deny my love. <laughs> One of my cats, I was, I was telling my chat earlier that he like looks away, he turns his head away as if he's going to try and escape it, but then he stops right there. And he like oh, wants me to cute. do it. <laughs> it's like he wants, he's like, just checking, just checking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He turns away and he's like, eh, 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 eh. but then he like leans into it after that. I'm like, all right, buddy. Okay. I see how it is. I'm bringing my sheeps. I'm bringing my sheeps. I have to box in the back of their pens. Ugh. <laughs> Where the fuck are you going, sheep? Where the fuck are you going? Okay. What the hell is he doing? Oh my god. Oh my god, he's an Leo, idiot. what the hell are you doing? Oh my god, he's climbing everywhere. Oh my god, okay. 
Single file. Single file. Single file. Single file. Come on. Single file. Come on. Single file. <laughs> I think you mean single file. Single file. There we go. A little smack never hurt nobody. Where the fuck did he go? All right, fuck that sheep. Oh. Oh, he made it in. Okay, 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 okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're doing great. All right. Alright, I'm gonna make this place uh, perfectly sheep proof. Okay. <gasps> I hear him. Nucky! My son! Nucky, meow. Meow for everyone. Nucky, can you meow for me? <laughs> Nucky! I don't know if you can hear me so quiet. Lucky, speak. Oh, <laughs> now you ignore. Oh my god. He jumps on my desk instead. He jumps up here silently. And blocks my tracking and everything. I see how it is. I see how it is. Okay. All right, buddy. I think I will make some fences. The fence in these windows. So my sheep can never escape. Oh, I put my sticks away. <sighs> I put everything away that I need. I always do. All right, check this out, guys. It's going to be a pro gamer move. Watch this. Watch this. Wow, we. Wow, we. Are my sheep gonna be able to get out of here? Do I have to build a thing across the back? Aww. Can they get on this? Can they? Oh. Hey, can you get up there? Can you, can you climb up here, Mr. Sheep? What if I go over here? <gasps> I can't tell. Can this sheep go up here or not? Mr. Sheep, come here. All right, I'm gonna block it differently. I'm gonna block it differently. We're gonna do... Oh, yeah, there he fucking goes. Yeah, 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 I see you, asshole. I see you, buddy. Come here, pick one. Pick one and get in. Oh, my God. <gasps> Ooh, okay, for now, it'll be dirt. Doit. It'll just be some doit. Just a little bit of doit. Just a little bit. Oh, you... Oh, oh. Oh. I hate this sheep. He's very, very disrespectful. <laughs> very, ha. very disrespectful. What the fuck are you doing? Okay. Okay. Perfectly trapped as he should be. <laughs> it's what he deserves. It's what he wants. Oh! Oh my god, I fed him... I fed him the wheat? Alright. It's a disaster in here, Mouse. It's a disaster. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Maybe I should get glass after all. I'm looking for... a field of flowers. What kind of flowers do you want? 
I just need a shit ton of pink flowers. Pink flowers. To decorate? Yeah. Mm. I'm on my way flying around. I think they're they're gonna be biome specific, right? Yeah, well, I'm gonna I'm I'm just flying around looking for flowers. Yeah. I know there's fields of flowers. She knows. She knows. I'm gonna make some... I'm gonna make some stone slabs. Oops. And I'm gonna stone put them... Slab. Yeah, some stone slabs. And I'm gonna put them on top of my thingies so those dudes can't climb up. And then... How do I wanna do the windows? Do I want to do with glass? To the window! To the wall! To the wall! I guess I'll do it with glass, but it's for later. Alright. Alright. Ah! To, to the barn. I can't believe someone in chat said, A, I'm shepherding here. I'm getting real tired of you people, all right? I'm getting real tired of you. Where are you from? Where are you from, huh? Where are you from? Tell me where you're from right now. You're on thin ice. You're on thin ice. Now I'm freaking pissed. Now I'm pissed. Now I'm pissed. I'm keeping a list of all of you. All of yous, guys. I'm keeping a list of yous. All right? You're on the list and there's no getting off the list. You did it once. It's over. It's over for you. <laughs> That's them laughing. <laughs> Whoops. All right. Place my slabs so that these things can't get out. It'll be so beautiful. It'll be so beautiful. I feel like stone looks like it's the wrong color next to this thing but it's whatever it's fine i guess it's fine it's fine it's fine don't you want to go in this pen i made it for you oh my god he did it oh fuck oh yeah you show that he found the ball. window he found the window you show that he found little... the window you show that he found the window oh no he's crawling away Come here. Come here. Come here. I don't have any wheat for you. Come here. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. You know what to do. You know what to do. Oh, he's spinning. Oh, shit. Ooh. You know what to do. All right. This, this, this damn sheep is pissing me off. Come here. I don't care about him anymore. He had his time. He could have lived a life endlessly fed in the nice barn, but no. Look at him. He's a fool. He's Give a fool. Give an inch, takes a mile. That's what I'm saying. They do it every time. Every damn time. Um, okay. That's good. Hello. Get some wheat. Oh, my playlist ended. <gasps> There we go. Now, I'll get more wheat and I'll grab more sheep from uh, the barn. The former barn. I'm going to move them to the new barn. I'm going to trap them forever. I'm going to trap them forever in there. And they'll have a great life eating um, two blocks of grass all day, every day. <laughs> It'll be great. It'll be wonderful. <laughs> Wait, I need one wheat. Um, how do you, how how many, uh, the sheep are out and about, aren't they? In uh the f the former barn, uh, or just formerly known as barn. I think some of them are. All right, let me see. Oh yeah. 
We got a few. We got a few. Single file. They don't want to do single file. All right. All right. They're already fucking it up. This many is good. Come here. Come here, little sheep. Come here. Come on. Come with me. Oh, there's one more. Come here. Don't you want to come to your new home? How many do I have? Well, if I have too many, I'll just kill one. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Look at how beautiful, guys. It's nature. It's real. It's the beauty of life. Well, they're all coming around. Look at them. All my new babies. Ready to be peeled forever. <laughs> they're going to go into the endless peeling dungeon. I'm calling Peter. <laughs> Call them all you like. Do you think Peter's canceled Minecraft because of all the automatic farms people have made? Don't uh, let definitely. In the barn. People I can't from believe Wales we are weird into around lava. sheep. <laughs> so, people from Wales are weird around sheep. <laughs> <laughs> so I've heard. So I've heard. I asked. I asked. You know, I was looking at like my viewership stats of where people are from. Right? Uh -huh. I went to like geographical location and I have a, a good number of them from the UK and Germany. Like a pretty good number. And I was like, oh, you know, a lot of my friends from the UK are from Wales. And so many people in chat were like, oh, Welshman here. Oh, yeah, I'm from Wales. Oh. And I was like, what? Why are they all Jesus. Welsh? But then when asked about the sheep, they had nothing to say. I would like to point out. <laughs> they had no particular comments on the sheep. You know, the people not from Wales said something and they were like, hmm, anyway. They just they just tried mm. to move on just like that, and I just wanna I just wanna note chat that I I saw, I was watching. Yeah, Connor comments about fucking sheep all the time. Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, some people just really like sheep. It's fine. They're nice little animals. They're nice little creatures. <laughs> <laughs> this was climbing up again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come here, come the fuck on. Okay, there they go, there they go. Oh my god. Oh my god, these sheep. Chat, is there any problem getting them into a singular doorway? Are they like too wide for this for any reason? I feel like they're not, but maybe they are. <gasps> Single file. Oh. You guys too. Come here. It's a single file. Single file. Oh. Wow. Wow, we. Wow, the moment I put the wheat away, they start walking out of the barn, literally. <laughs> just like, they turn around, shit. they about face, and they walk directly backwards. So fucked up. What if I did it this way? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Single file, single file. All right, all right, all right. Oh, uh, good enough. Okay. Looking good, looking good. Oh, I can lure this magenta one back in. Oh my god, I'm doing it. Oh my god, they're coming back. They're coming back. They're coming home. They're gonna do it. They're gonna do it big. Shit. Come back! Why does this one sheep hate wheat? What is his problem? What's wrong with him? Okay, A meat okay. eater. Maybe, maybe. Meat eating sheep. 
He's got them brain diseases they get from their sheep meat. Oh no, not the brain disease for the sheep. Oh no. Oh my god, it flew into a bee. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh no. We collided. We collided? We collided. All right, all right, I'm doing it. I'm trapping him. I'm trapping him. Come here, buddy. Come on. One he is. One he is. Well, it was fucking one he is. It was one he is. My favorite is someone made it like an Italian version of that, and the mom just goes, Who made cocky in my bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> that makes me laugh. <laughs> my bathroom. <laughs> I'm like, that's the realest shit I've ever heard in my life. Jesus. Oh <laughs> Do you guys say cocky? I don't. I personally do not, but many people do. It's just caca. It's, it's very similar, yeah. I'll trap them there. Fucking caca. Give me cocky in the bedroom. Oh, <gasps> the shape was red the whole time. Oh my god. He was red. I'm gonna push this one back and I'm gonna push him in. I'm gonna push him in. Ah! Didn't work. I tried. I tried it. I tried. Whoops. I tried it. I really did. Um. Well, I think this place is good enough for right now. I think it looks beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's almost in. He's almost in. <laughs> get in that one, get in that one. Go in there. Go in there, it's enclosed. Go in. Go in. Go in. Go in! Go in! I'm doing this shit so manually. Go in! <laughs> no! All right, round two, round two. Come on, little sheep. Come on, little guy. Yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Diabolical. Diabolical. Side eye. <laughs> okay. <gasps> It's perfect. Okay, I'll separate them out later, but it's good enough for now. <laughs> all right, then I'll get collected later. Okay. Well, if the shape are existing in here, and I'll make them, I'll, I'll move them out when the other ones are done. And then I have to place, I have to do the minecart shit in the basement. Oh, the minecart shit. The minecart shit. I do all the minecart bullshit. All right. All right. Hmm, I have to do this pretty deep down. Am I? Maybe not. Wait, let me think. I have this layer with grass, and then I have this layer where the minecart's gonna go around and pick stuff up. So no, I don't have to go that deep. I don't at all. Okay. Oh god, I already hear the shit working. <laughs> but there's nothing to grab it. There's no... <laughs> it has already begun. There's no minecart with hoppers. Maybe I should dig it deeper so I can access it. You know what? What? I will. I'll, I'll dig it one, one deeper. One more than it needs to be. Just so I can get to everything. Oh, Zentraya has entered the game. What do you think she's gonna do, huh? Cause mischief. Not again. Of course. Of course, of course. It all makes sense. 
All right. I broke my shovel, mouse. Oh no. I broke my shovel and I don't want to walk back and make a new one. So I'm just going to punch the dirt. <laughs> she's punching dirt. She's losing it. <laughs> there are times where I just like punch stuff because I don't feel like walking back and making the tool for it. I'm like, well, it's not that much time. So I'll just do this. Bro, are you me? There will always be people who are like, um, you know, you could just craft a new shovel for that. No. Don't you see? It's on purpose. Don't you understand? One, two, three. Bro, uh, like, uh, huh? <laughs> Are there like no flowers anywhere? <laughs> I was like, where is she going with this one? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, there's like no fucking flowers anywhere. What the fuck? What is what this phenomenon? That's How an is it that we're surrounded by nothing but grass? Nothing but grass. There's nothing else in the world. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, whoops. One, two, three, four, five. All right, all right. I'm doing this. I'm activating my third eye. I am seeing all. No oh, shit. I see the Minecraft. Actually, I don't need to place it under the the blocks. It's just under where the sheep are. So it's actually just one, two, three, four. <gasps> Whoops. <laughs> Oops. Like that. I'll dig it out like this and then I'll dig out the rest for now, but so I know the placement. Oops. Or actually. 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 Um. I could do it like this. Boom. Hear me out, chat. It's gonna make so much sense in my brain. You'll all see. <laughs> You'll all see. My build will be incredible. See, chat. See, it's where the, it's where the sheep are. It's the stall. It's like an allegory or something. You understand? <laughs> wow. I swear it means something. I swear. It's cool and meaningful. You gotta believe me. It makes sense to me. Oops. It really does. It sure does. Zen! Let me do that because I didn't do that. I said Zen out loud, but I didn't type it. How will she know? She'll never know if I don't tell her. Gotta make sure she's aware. Oh. That's right. Zen says, yo! To which I say, yo! My longest yo ever. <laughs> Beat that, Zen. Beat that. I bet you can't. My yo was longer than yours. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty good at uh, typing, actually. I don't know if you know. I don't know if you understand. Oh, I understand, all right. Do you? I think I do. <laughs> Maybe. Let's see. Okay, okay. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh. Ooh. 
I think I'm doing it. I'm sitting on it. I think I'm doing it for real. She's doing it. Yeah. I I really am, you know, I really am. And this should go same thing. One, two. One, two, three, four. Four. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I'm gonna have a mine cart down here and it's gonna go in circles for hours and hours and hours. Please stop pollinating these damn flowers. Get the fuck off. <laughs> trying to cut them. There we go. Okay, now I'll make myself a new tool. <gasps> Iron Mouth, no! Oh my god, I can't believe that. She's Come dead! Fuck. Come back. Jesus. I was so far away too. <laughs> well, looks like I would have taken Elytra to go get it. <laughs> so easy, so easy. <laughs> well, what do I need? I need a... A one of these. I can't believe that shit. What the fuck? <laughs> <sighs> I can't believe she found. I can't believe you done this. Can't believe it. Oh, I need to place a torch. Is it good enough? I don't know. Oof. How many <laughs> blocks does a torch protect? A lot. Oh. I don't, I don't remember how many exactly. Me neither. My brain tells me eight, but it might be like 11. There's something that protects I, my 11. My brain also tells me eight. Is, is eight correct? Maybe. We need a creeper farm stat. If you press F3, you can see light levels and mobs spawn at seven or below. Oh, okay. Oh, Zen says, okay, bye. Oh. Zen. What the heck? Zen. Zen, what the heck? Zen. I was telling Chad earlier about oh. how every time um, Zen sees Henya on Minecraft, she pings talent in the <laughs> server. <laughs> yeah. At talent. Minecraft now! <laughs> oh, did I do this too far back? Oh, shit. Oh, no, it was fine. I just placed it like that. One, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is fine. This is fine. I just have to do that. And you know what? If Zen pings the talent one more time, I'm gonna be so pissed. I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> I was I was saying maybe it'd be good to separate a role and have one for like ping me when Minecraft or something. Like a Minecraft oh, role. Oh yeah. Or something like, like a, that. Like a gaming tide type thing. Mm-hmm. Either I just, I, all I really want is I just want a Minecraft chat because we don't have a specific one. Oh, I, I guess we technically do in the collab server. Yeah, but we need like a, a, a chat chat. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. A chat chat would be nice. Chat chat for all our chatting stuff. Yeah, it's different. Wait, what do I need? I need rails. What is what is a normal rail called? <laughs> if I type rail, it doesn't show a normal one. Is it not called a rail? What is it? What is it? Track? I don't think it's track. <laughs> All right, let's. Well, either way, I will need this. I don't have gold. I don't have gold. I need to strip mine for gold. Two, six, 
sticks and iron. <gasps> oh, okay, okay, okay. What happened? Someone, please. <gasps> please go to bed. I'm on my way. I'm on my way to my bed. I'm on my way home. I'm going. It's so dark. It's dark and cold, guys. You got such a soothing voice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's time for the lurch check. Ready? <laughs> Just in case anybody was sleeping. <laughs> if you thought that was soothing, well, you know. There you go. Um, oh wait, I had these already. Shroom lights, huh? I'm gonna use them for more stuff. I wanna make a cute foresty looking house with lots of moss and grass and shit. And then I want to put little mushrooms on the top, but they have shroom lights on the underside to light up. Make it like glowy mushrooms on top. I have a vision in my head for it. Make it happen at some point. I'm gonna do it, so help me God. All right, all right. Oh, thank you for sleeping through this night. I could have slept faster, but you know, very I important know. to put my my leather away. <laughs> important stuff. It was of the utmost importance. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna throw these arrows in here too. Okay. Well, I need to strip mine for what? What did I say, chat? My brain. I needed to strip mine for gold. So that means what height should I be doing? What height should I be doing, Chan? What makes sense for that? What is efficient? Me. 24? You? The fishiate. I am uh sufficiente. That's sufficient. Fuck. Sufficiente. Kill sufficient can. I am Kenuff. I need what do I need? A trapdoor. None of these are planks. Oh my God. Trap door. Okay. There we go. There we go. Someone said a gold farm. Yeah, you know, let me just go make an entire gold farm right now. <laughs> You're onto something. We honor your request. You got a good idea there. Oh, I found a big ass water Me temple. <gasps> Ooh, you're in the ocean? Yeah. There's guardians everywhere. Holy shit. I can imagine. <laughs> At some point, I want to go and like plunder a bunch of them so we can um do the, 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 the thingy, the thing. Yeah, the thingy. Get sea lanterns and stuff. Get all we need for I that. Love sea lanterns. Oh, I found the turtles. Um, I forgot that I made the staircase like this. I wish I could steal um. the turtles. All right, all right, all right. Don't worry, chat. I'm gonna make something happen over here. Okay, I'm gonna make something happen. For my gold strip mine. Oh, this area is nice. Noise? What is it? Very nice. It's a jungle area. Ooh. Part of me slightly regrets not building in the little biome area with um all the spruce because I like the 
the grass color. It's like a mm. slightly lighter green, and I'm like, man, I should have done that. But oh well, I'm replacing oh well. it all with brown anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> it's all brown. Making everything brown. Yeah. I too wanted the fall vibes. Uh, oh, I found another one. What the fuck? Oh. Second one. A second water temple. Very nice. Round two. Okay, here we go. It's time for my A gold strip mine. Third one? What the heck? Ooh. Mark wherever three. that is. Oh my god, I'm marking all three. Oh my god. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Someone said, hey, you hat sticks. I can't. Yeah, but I don't want to carry these unique peeled birch logs that I had. So I made them to sticks. Why not? All right, we're looking for gold, guys. We're looking for gold while Mouse dies to 100 guardians. <laughs> in the background. I'm not going in there. Are you crazy? <laughs> No, you don't want to go in there and die to the guardian. I, I kind of want to, but... <laughs> you know, I kind of wanted to live today. Maybe. No, I kind of wanted to live. Remember the first time I saw them? Huh? I had not turned my, um, like, mob sounds or whatever sounds they make in particular down. Oh. So I was playing Minecraft and I had the most chill, like, ASMR and music in the background. Very low and, like, all my block sounds were low and then at some point one of them swam up to me just went like boom like in my eyes and oh, i was like geez. oh god it was the first time i'd ever seen one too so i was like what's happening what is this? <laughs> it's a horrific experience that happened to me with a shulker oh yeah then you hear that <laughs> and i'm like what the fuck just in your ear in my ear <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sounds like getcha. Someone says, Giga, is mouse life? You see, Meow. what you can do is you can go to twitch.tv slash iron mouse to check. I'm not sure if you knew that. I'm not alive. I'm dead. <gasps> I've been talking to myself this whole time. I'm sorry. Taylor can't come to the phone right now. She's, She's dead. dead. <laughs> Ooh. And then a boyo yo yo kind of sound plays. Oh. Boyo yo yo Whoa. I love boyo yo yo I want. You know what I want? I want, instead of soundboarding stupid sounds, I want to have a tiny little station next to me that just has a couple of things. There's like a slide whistle, a kazoo, <laughs> like a cowbell. <laughs> like it has like a tiny little percussive things just sitting there. Ready for whenever I need them. <laughs> so you want to be a radio station. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I like how they do it live. Something about having it physically makes you more likely yeah. to like do it. Definitely. I want it. I want it. I want a slide whistle too. Yeah. I have a kazoo and I have I have some silly objects, but I don't um I don't use them on stream much. I really don't. I really don't. I have stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, someone asked if my my Fortnite team is gonna play together again because they really liked our team. <laughs> <laughs> we should. It was me, Heavenly, Geary. Who did I have? My brain. Who was on my team chat? <laughs> oh, Harga. <laughs> <laughs> it's Haruka, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, we were really funny together. We were really funny. I like that group. We were having a blast. There were there were a lot of people that were like, you know, I liked your POV. You had just nothing but funny shit to say because because <laughs> we weren't like trying too hard, you know. And yeah. like, if you really like Fortnite, it's it's nice to watch a POV where they're trying harder. But for anyone that was casual, we were there. <laughs> we got you guys. It was a good time, I liked it. 
<laughs> Chat, I'm not finding gold. I like Fortnite. I love Fortnite. I think Fortnite's <gasps> funny. Fortnite is funny and cute. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it too. Yeah. I like playing it. Yeah, you're I like doing great too. Because we were actually doing really well. At, like, Heavenly's good at the game. I'm mid, somewhere right in the middle. Not good, not the worst. And then um, Haruka and Giri. Like, Giri's like not good at games in general, which is fine. Yeah. She's just like, she's a chatting streamer, you know? But she also, she can be pretty good at some stuff if, you know, she puts her mind to it. She just hadn't played that much Fortnite. She had, like, just downloaded it, like, the other day. I know. <laughs> so she, I think, like, if she had practiced, she would have been fine, honestly. And she's like, it's because I'm bad at games. And I'm like, look, maybe you're not, like, pro, but... Girl, you got it. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. I've seen her play some stuff and do just fine. So it was really just that she had, like, barely ever played Fortnite. Yeah. Same, same with Haruka, she hadn't played too much. So I was like, I was not expecting anything. I was like, I think we're going to be like last. And then we actually did kind of well. <laughs> yeah, this is great. <laughs> yeah, we did all right. I was like, oh, okay. It was just because Heavenly had a uh, good map knowledge. Mine was okay. And we just made sure to do the right thing. I found gold. Oh. I did it. I did it. Oh. What you crunching on? Pay a chips. <gasps> Sounds fucking good. Did I get all that gold? Did that just phase through the ground? I think I got it. Pay a chips. Yeah, pay a chips. Oh, Peter Chumps, man. I just like, I like eating just plain pretzels. That's like my most favorite thing. Just a pretzel. Nothing else. <laughs> Girl dinner. <laughs> oh. Soft pretzel. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah, soft, uh, soft, soft, salty pretzel. Mm, yeah. That's my no, favorite. Oh, I'm so bad now. Fuck. Well, you're you're moving on up in the world, right? The world of food. Yeah. yeah. You live in like the parental capital of the world. I do. I do oh, indeed. Do you? Yeah. Actually, Wait. actually can make them pretty pretty well. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What other kind of pretzels are they? Like the pretzel varieties? Um... Honestly, Wait. it's... Most... I don't like the, the hard pretzels, because, like, mm. they hurt my brain. <gasps> do Does they? that make sense? <laughs> How do they hurt your brain? When I eat hard pretzels, I don't know, for some reason it gives me a headache. I don't know why. <gasps> really? Yeah, I don't know why. Gives you a headache. Hmm, and maybe, maybe it's the... Yeah, someone said loud crunch. Maybe it's the... The act of chewing on them. And all that Are crunchiness. Pretzels? Maybe. Are pretzels only like a United States thing? Because I swear I've talked um, to people in other countries and they don't know what the fuck about pretzels. I I think, I mean, they're, they're also very European, but the types of pretzels that people typically eat in the U.S. are very, like, in the U.S. Mm. Like commercialized bags of tiny hard pretzels, without without even being too flavored, right? I feel like that's a, a very American thing. Yeah, chat. I know pretzels are from Germany, but I'm saying like they are the one. Yeah, pretzels originally a German thing. I know. I'm just joking. <laughs> a pretzel, a schnitzel. It's very. I think. I think like the tiny bags of little dry kind of plain pretzels. I feel like. It's just super American. I don't know. Yeah. But like in Germany, you're more likely to find like soft pretzels around, or if it is a hard pretzel, it's probably like interestingly shaped, has something on it, you know. 
Why is it called Prenzel? Why is it called Prenzel? Any Germans yeah. in the chat? Explain yourself. <laughs> we got the tiny pretzels in Germany too. Are they eaten in droves though? Are they like super commonly consumed? Because I feel like in America, the only thing that's consumed more than those little pretzels is like potato chips. <laughs> but people eat them in so fucking often. It's usually with a dip or something. Potato chips. Potato mm. chips. Would the oil kill you? Right now? Oil, yeah. Yeah. It's hard I'll for me to digest. Bladder. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got baked shit. Mm. <clears throat> baked is good. They do bake them. They do exist. Pringle flavors from other countries. Oh, I don't like Pringles. Oh, they they Ew, Pringles. They make them into that paste and then extrude them into like the the shape. Ew. And then and then bake it like that. Ugh. I know some people like them. For me, the texture is just so wrong. I don't I don't like it. Ooh. I don't enjoy it. Yeah, it's like it's like a mashed potato, but then they bake it. Just just eat them as mashed potatoes. They would be so much better like that. Not not baked into a chip form. Ooh. Pringles are wrong. Pringles aren't chips. Mm -mm. They're so fucked up. They're so messed up. Okay. I'm gonna Google it. <gasps> you Google it. Mm hmm. <laughs> The Pringles are dried mashed potatoes. Ugh. How are Pringles made? I watched a video of like someone in a. Were they in a Pringles factory or was it like a knockoff? I think they were in the actual Pringles factory. It was. Ugh. It was a lot. It was a lot. <laughs> Weird mouth feel. Do you like that term? Mouth hmm? feel? Yeah mouth feel something about it it's like the word moist to me where it's kind of just like ooh, just a little bit mouth it's feel. like it's kind of weird mm -hmm. mouth absolutely feel. is mouth feel how about mouth it's, feel you know it's one of those <laughs> how about mouth feel it's one of those words that i feel like i didn't hear until the past like couple of years people didn't really seem to use it much and then ah, out of nowhere, everyone's saying mouthfeel out loud when they're describing foods. And I'm like, all right, buddy, you didn't True. say this, you know, a year ago. You watched one video of a guy testing foods out and going, hmm, you know, the mouthfeel. Why not just call it texture? Right? I hate it when that happens. <laughs> When people say mouthfeel. When people like take words and then they like overuse them. Mm -hmm. I do that all the time. I get it. It's a, yeah, it's a very like normal thing for a person to do. But yeah, bothers me too. And I hear them. <laughs> they keep using the word mouthfeel and it starts to like, I feel like you wear it out a little bit. Yeah. Just say texture. They're not, they're not exactly the same texture and mouthfeel, I don't think, but still. Just use it anyway. Oh my god. With my pickaxe's dying breath, I found gold. Oh He's my god. It. I done did it. Okay, okay. How much gold is that? 16, 18, 18. Um. Um, that's... That's okay. <laughs> I'll take it. I feel like when I went down to my diamond level, I found way more diamonds than I did gold just now. What's up with that, huh, Chan? What's up with that? That reminds me I need to get into more diamonds. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe I didn't find way more diamonds. I don't know. I don't know, but it's enough for now. I don't need that many powered rails. It's okay. <laughs> I 
Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't even read that message. It just makes me laugh so much. <laughs> you know the one, chat. You know the one. That's so... Yeah, all right. All right. That's great. That's great, chat. That's wonderful. Oh, uh, guys, oh, uh, champ. Do I need to do another lurk check? <laughs> Just to clear that out? <laughs> Wait, what the? <laughs> That's a brand new sentence. <gasps> Henny! Hello. 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 How you guys doing? We're good. good how are you? Are you streaming? I am! <gasps> Hi, Henya's <gasps> chat. Hello. My cat's walking on my desk. Hello, Giga's chat. <laughs> what the fuck is this? This is how Pringles are made? Ew! Oh, you're watching the video? We were talking about Pringles, yeah. and I was telling her that when they make Pringles, that kind of chip, that instead of, mm -hmm. like, slicing the potato and then frying it, they, like, uh -huh. mash it into, like, a mashed potato and then form it what? into a chip shape. And that's why the texture is so different. I don't like it. What? No way! <laughs> really? Uh-huh. It looks really? gross. They yeah. say they're made from potato flakes. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I thought they just slice it. No, most <clears throat> potato chips, yeah, but not Pringles. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, thanks for yeah. letting me know. <laughs> <laughs> I, a lot of people like them, you know, it's not... Like, it's still potato, but... Yeah. I mean, actually, I never really had a Pringles before, so... <gasps> really? I can't tell. I think... No. I don't like the texture, but I think the flavors are good. Like, the seasonings on them are good, so... Oh, I see. I love the sour cream one. Yeah. 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 What is this? This is gonna be, like, um... Like a cart? I'm gonna make it into a house, but it's gonna be, like, a merchant... Cart... Oh. Caravan kind of thing. Heart? Oh, mm -hmm. looks like I see you're trying to make a village over here. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a bunch of small buildings instead of one big house. Do you need the villagers? I will. Yeah, I want to put um, normal farmers in each of these, and then I need uh, -huh. uh, what's the guy with the monocle? I need one of those guys here to collect items or something. Oh, let me know when you actually need a villager, and I can yeah. give you some. Yeah, I'll, I'll have it set up later for them. I need to make the spot for him. But okay, okay, yeah, okay. it'll be an auto farm, and then I'll have I'll have two two layers of each, so I'll have one of each vegetable here. Oh, so we're going to have an auto farm. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Oh. I'll steal your humans. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Take and take him. They are looking for a new job. They'll be happy <laughs> They'll to be, be here. They'll be so happy to be employed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, finally they get a job. Farming mm -hmm. forever. They'll love it. They could eat the food. They could eat the food I that they farm. I call them they're my hentais. My, my fans <laughs> are like trapped in there. <laughs> it's them. <laughs> it's Chat, them. It's don't my, you want to be in Minecraft? You could be in there. It's my audience. My hentais. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Nah, you guys will love it, right? Right? It's such so fun. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, of love course. It. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> you love having work. It's your favorite. All right. What am I, what am I building? What am I doing? Rails. Oh, what are you doing, Melfi? I was eating potato chips. Well, pita chips. Pita chips. Ooh, what flavor? Plain. Plain. <laughs> ah, and there's potato chips in the U.S. They're plain pita chips. Just pita chips. It's like mm -hmm. bread, right? Oh, I see. It's like pita, pita? bread. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Pita bread. Have you tried sun chips? <gasps> I love sun chips. <laughs> But they don't have it in Japan. What? <laughs> I was I was asking staff if I could send 
sun chips to the Vishojo JP headquarters and then they could send it to you. <laughs> I was like, can Wait. I can I do it like that? <laughs> then I'll give you some Japanese snacks so you'll like it. We could trade. Yeah, I wanted to, now that it's Halloween, I wanted to get a bunch of like the Halloween uh, Reese's stuff to send it over oh. and see if we could send it to JP. Wait. The special Halloween, Halloween Reese's. Reese's. Yes! Yeah! Yes, 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 yes. Make some special yes. Halloween Reese's. Give me the list. I'll go outside and get it for you. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll send you everything. We're oh. sending you. We want to send it to you. Yeah. Oh, I want to send it to you guys too. <laughs> no, no. My mom just needs to go to the store. <laughs> Wait, let me guess. Don't you need a cinnamon roll? <gasps> yes. Yes. Cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll. <laughs> so cute. Me. I ate too many pita chips. I ate too many pita chips. Oh. She does it every time. Chips. <laughs> it's hard to stop. So I make a real. I'm just not used to eating, Shit. so I don't know. It's hard for me. It's hard to know when to stop. It's hard yeah. to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> My mom made me a cookie on the other day, and it was hard mm. to stop as well. <laughs> I think everyone Reaching struggles with it. my hand to the cookie it. jaw. <laughs> yeah. The, the way to do it is just before you eat the thing, you place a certain mm. amount of it on a plate, and you just you just put that amount on there, and you look I at it, and you're full, like, okay. like, really fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's I know for you, fast. definitely, because your stomach's not used to, like, being stretched mm -hmm. or anything. My tummy is not used to stretching. Yeah. Wow. I have no more cookies now because I ate all of it. No. I want to. I always more. have a problem though because I can't stop myself and then my tummy hurts afterward. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. I was like, I ate too much. <laughs> I always have the same problem. Oh. Me too. Cheer 100, yeah. cheer 100, cheer 100. Damn it, I'm gonna buy some Pringles now. It's very easy. Just keep going. Especially when you yeah. have the, like, a bag in your hand. There's just a bag yeah. sitting there. You just keep reaching in and eating them. <laughs> right now in Japan, they selling a lot of flavor of uh, sweet potatoes and pumpkins mm. in here. Mm. It's just so good. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Every time I go convenience store, I was like, huh? Ah, I must get that. I gotta get that one too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I always like trying like seasonal flavors and stuff. There's gonna be pumpkin here soon. Not not yet, but they'll start doing oh. pumpkin flavor stuff soon. Right now they're still doing peach flavored everything. Peach flavor? Yeah, everything's peach flavored right now because it's summer. Oh yeah, oh. the peach. Mm hmm I think it's like peach. early early summer, everything's cherry flavor. That's cherry season and then Around this time, they're still doing peach stuff, and then soon it'll be pumpkin. Mm. I think it's about oh. to start. Hiccups. She's hiccuping. Hiccup. <laughs> Cute hiccups. I'm scare him out of you. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I don't think that shit works. <laughs> scaring the hiccups. <laughs> No, it, you know what always works for me? Somebody's mm. telling me you'll never be a frog. I don't know why. I don't know why it works, <gasps> but it always works. And I just said it, and now I think it worked. <laughs> I never understood that, but yeah. That's what yeah. I'm going to do next time. I think, here's the, here's the, what I think. I think the reason why it works is because you start, you, you, you're like confused and you start thinking about it. And then, I don't know. Oh. Something like that. But I don't the know. Concentration. I it. Maybe, like a, some random... Word yeah, I you're like, never what the understand. Mm. Hey, a frog? <laughs> yeah, you're like a frog. Why? And then, then you forget that you have. It makes, it makes sense. Yeah. No. Um. So, Chad, this is what I've been doing for three days. Clear this entire area. <laughs> Doing, I, I was watching your streams. You were doing so much, oh, and then yeah, when you weren't streaming, that. oh, I saw the area. And I'm like, who is doing this? Whoa, yeah, she's been clearing so yeah, much stuff out. I just, 
I, I love well. leveling land. That's one of my favorite things Me to do. Too. Mm. Me too. It's so much fun. Especially when I'm watch when I'm watching like some video or anime. I just keep doing it. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna make a super flat by my hand. I'm working on my wool farm right now. I'm looking at a little thing on the oh. side to make sure I'm doing it right. Wait, how many colors are they for the uh, sheep? Six, 16? 16, I think. 16. 16. That's a lot. Do you need any help? No, I think it'll I think it'll be okay. I'm just making sure I built it right. I'm looking at the guide. Okay. Hey, thank you for the gifted subs. Nice. Laser, thank you so much. I appreciate great. it. I appreciate it very much. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm trying to figure out if I did it right or not. So I followed a written guide, and it seems to be correct based off of the written guide, but I don't trust it. <laughs> so now I have to no look at a video. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I have to see it just to make sure. Let's see, observe. Oh no, I did do it right. Oh. Okay. Oh, chat. Also, this area, I clear entire this area as well while I'm watching Konosuba. Oh. <laughs> is that what you're doing? <laughs> yeah. It feels like this three days, I took a day off from stream and I have been living in the Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I see what I need to do. I see. Same here. <sighs> I'm addicted. Like, Me off too. stream. I only watch like a video about Minecraft. Mm. <laughs> so, and then I play Minecraft a lot off stream, on stream. <laughs> I have problem. No, no, I'm just as addicted to I understand. Yeah. Um, same. Yeah. I've been yeah. watching so many videos too. I watch people me. build. Me too. I love watching it. Have you have you watched like like Minecraft ASMR building videos? I did like a long play one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, I did. <laughs> yeah, there'd be what, someone that's relaxing when Minecraft I long play. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I watched that too. I watched oh. that too. <laughs> like two that's or three hours favorite. long video. I was thinking about it, and I was like, maybe when I'm building stuff and I'm not streaming it, maybe I should just turn it into these videos. <laughs> that's what I. <laughs> like, I'll film it and I'll have my model on it, but I won't speak. I'll, my mic will be off. Oh, yeah. I think about that too. We should do, we should do relaxing we ASMR long play. Well, I, I was gonna stream on YouTube and do a, like a Minecraft stream oh, yeah. with me barely talking. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, you should do it. Yeah, and I'll watch it. <laughs> yeah. yeah! Watch it too. <laughs> I like to watch. I like to watch. <laughs> I like to watch. <laughs> I'll watch it. I'll do it. Are you guys coming to today's Tokyo Game Show in real live stream? Maybe. Is that going to be in like 30 minutes or is that later? Ah, uh, in 30 minutes. Oh my oh, god. I didn't know. I didn't so even know. Soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Hi Guy's going to be walking around, right? Ooh. I think so. I think so. Yeah. Go, go See if I can. The yeah, yeah. Only if you guys can. Yeah. I think I that's gonna take a while. I think I wanna watch it. And yeah. play Minecraft. Yeah, I think what go, I'll do is I'll, I'll eat first, and then after you've been doing it for a little bit, then maybe I'll see if I can come Oh, in. yeah, because you're doing it, right? Oh, uh, and you? Yeah, I'm gonna stream it. Oh, yeah. then I will watch it. Yeah! 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 I'll watch it while I do Minecraft play. Oh, I do my yeah. Minecraft long play ASMR. <laughs> no talking. ASMR. Relaxing Minecraft long play. Okay, here we go. Making my my perfect entrance to this thingy. Thingy? 
this thingy so you can go downstairs and get wool easily. Oh, I need a chest. I need a chest, though. I need a chest. Chest, please. Whenever, whenever I see the word chest in Minecraft, I think about like seidel chest. I don't know why. Seidel <laughs> chest. <laughs> I look at the word chest in Minecraft. I think seidel chest. Like just in my head, you know, it's like an intrusive thought. I know. <laughs> it happens. It happens. <laughs> You should cover that song. One of you. <laughs> I love this song. It's so good. <laughs> yes. I am covering the Kyofu Order book and I'm thinking about releasing on this Sunday in my yeah. I like the song. Ooh. It's so cute. I love that song. Definitely do it. Yeah. Oh my god. I like the new one as well. Neoki mm -hmm. Yashi no Ki. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. they released a new one though. They did, no they did. Suneki. Am I doing this at the right height? <gasps> uh -huh. I'm gonna hopper. I need a hopper and I need a chest. Oh, if you need an iron, uh, stuff is oh. made an iron farm. So yeah, you can take it from I there. found it and I have like five million iron now. <laughs> it's so nice. <laughs> same, same, same. Oh, I love it. Thank you, Steph. Stuff is arigato. You the best. The best. The best around. Na 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 Fixed it. Okay, okay. All right. I'm gonna do... All of this. No, wait. Wait. Mm. Chat, should I place... Should I place the cart with the hopper or the cart with the chest or whatever's whatever's collecting, you know, everything? Should we be going here or should we be going here? Oh, yeah. This is the dispenser is above this block. Blah. This corner. And then the sheep is standing on these two. Okay, or should I force the sheep back. to just stand on one and then put it under the one? Like, should I move it back, do you think? Yes. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Don't you go back. Like currently they're standing here. Well, he's he's all messed up right now. Okay. Currently they're standing right there, and I'm gonna block the corners off more. They're just not blah, right now. Blah, blah. So the wool's likely gonna go there, <laughs> or it might do that. Um, but this will be cased in. I wonder. I really want to. You know, not under the temple. dispenser. That's oh, what I'm saying. The two. Huh? So one, three? two, I found three, three I found three four. Them. Right. Wait, 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 wait. Where they are? I so I space this as one, up. two, three, four. And that's they're standing here recording? and here. And the dispenser huh? is in this yes, corner yes, above here. So not about this yes, one, yes, but about yes, this. I wanted to go do it, but I didn't want it to go by myself. Maybe I should put it one back. Oh, we can go together. Yeah, I found Maybe three I of should. them like back to back. Yeah, I'm listening to them on the screen. Really? Mm-hmm. She oh, found a million. I sea lanterns. Let me let it's me hold on. Let me. Gonna... I really want sea lanterns for the lighting. It would look so good to have them like yeah. all around the village. Yeah. We're gonna make a guardian farm. <gasps> Yes. <laughs> yes. Sea lanterns. Sea lanterns. Sea lanterns. I want them. Me too. I want them. I want them. Now that we have iron, we can make more like pretty lanterns instead of using torches everywhere. Oh yeah, because we can make lanterns. Yeah, very normal that's lanterns. That's true. That's true. 
Oh, this is awesome. It'll look so good. Yeah! Yeah! Finally, bye-bye, torches. <laughs> it's about time. Yeah, finally. Thank God. Let me show you where it looks. Uh, oh. where should I where should I post it? Wait, hold on. <laughs> I get what? It's too far. <clears throat> we need a Minecraft channel. That's what oh, I was yeah. saying. We only have the one in the Look. collab oh, server, yeah. but it's not the same. I need a Minecraft. <gasps> I posted a, a screenshot, but I'm gonna I'll I'll I'll, I'll post the coordinates right now. Mm -hmm. I just wanted you to see how close they are. They all? Yep. Look very they're all close. Like they're all the right near ocean. each other. My cat's sitting on my space bar. Oh my god. I want to go, but I didn't want to go by myself. See, you like to respond! <laughs> Alright, let me get the coordinates. Coordinates, arigato. Semastics, semastics. is enough actually. I find that after oops after maybe uh four hours of streaming my brain is like gone. Dead. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh no. And I can still play Minecraft but I, I look at my inventory and I go, do I have any sticks? And I have to stare at it for like five full seconds. I think there's a ship next to one of them, too. Let's <laughs> explore the ship. Minus two, three. Here we go. Five, eight. I put three in negative 30, 40, Y110. One, one That's one of them. She has the location. Oh, three, nine, one, three. Y110. One, one, oh, thank you. The location of the goods. And V for four, seven, one. And there's three, four, five. Four, four, seven, one. All right, chat. And then the, so the this. other one. Is it, is it really just going to grab it through the block as it passes? Is that how it works? I'm gonna All right. Fly over there. I'm going to, I'm going to open this and check. Um... Lucky, please don't sit on my wrist. My cat's completely across my arms. Okay. Oh, they're kind of close together. <laughs> they're all really close. I posted oh, all three at my coordinates recipes. to all of them. They're really close, all of them. Minecart with oh. hopper recipe. Yeah. Oh, I just make a minecart. Uh, <laughs> Put a hopper to next to it. I see. I you. see. <laughs> yes, we can. We can fly there. It's that okay. simple, huh? Yeah. We okay. can. I, I I found it because I was going. I was looking for flowers, oh, really and I was like, "I find here, a okay. field of flowers," and I couldn't find a field, but I found the ocean, and then I was like, "Whoa!" She explored it anyway. I did. Oh, oh! Thank you. I've been looking for it. I'm surprised that they were all so close together. I was like, yeah. Oh. yeah, when you Wait, when you oh. found one and then you were like, oh, I found two. Oh, I like, found three. Who? I was like, home. Huh? I need more rockets. I can give you my rocket. You have rocket? Oh, no yeah. lag. I'll give you my rocket. I have rocket. to push it. <gasps> <gasps> nothing bad. No, nothing bad. I just have to push this thing. <gasps> it's all good. Nice. It's all good. Wait, what am I here for? I'm pretty Rock sure it. I was here for something. Rocket. How do I push Rock it? Rocket and. <gasps> what? I like that she. <laughs> I oh, saw... obsidian. I saw that you you closed your temp your your storage. You like closed my warehouse, and I'm like, <laughs> is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh no! The sheep is gonna die. Oh no, I got logged out. So I, don't know. I need to go get my obsidian. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh no.
I am um, no nothing yeah. nothing bad. I can't connect to the server. Oh, oh no! Kill. Yeah. Why? Oh squid. Let me go get obsidian so we can make it over there. Oh. <laughs> well, let me get ten obsidians. Does anybody know what's the difference between mm -hmm. regular obsidians and the crying obsidians? Uh, I don't think crying obsidian does much. Oh, it's the same? I think it's just like for how it looks, maybe? Oh, sure. I see it. I think, I think. I'll do it over here. I don't know. Crying obsidian sad? Oh, I wonder what happened. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Having a bad day, maybe? <laughs> maybe. Mm. Poor obsidian. Yeah. He's so sad. So, so, sad. so sad. Don't be sad. <laughs> nah. Okay. Okay, you got <clears throat> ten. My thing is made. My my wool thingy is made. We'll see. Yay. We'll see if it works, but it, it should work. Yay! It should grab wool. And then and then it should deposit it into here, maybe. Do you need a rope? I think I think I'm good. Okay, okay. I still have to move my sheep around and finish some of the stations for them, but I got the oh. the minecart underneath working. I think. So how how does that work? How that automatic shaving sheep works? You put shears in the dispenser, oh. and then right under the dispenser, there's an observer, and it's looking at the grass block that the sheep is standing on. And every time the grass block, they, they eat the grass, right? So it turns into dirt. And then every time yeah, it yeah. turns back into grass, the observer activates because it sees that it changes, and then it I... powers the dispenser and it throws the shears at the sheep and cuts their wool, and then. <laughs> And then it works. Oh, I see it. I'm not on it. Yeah. I think I need to push oh, my sheep back, know. though. But yeah, it works pretty well. Oh, I'm excited! <laughs> I'm back on the server. Welcome, Welcome back. back. We can go together then. Yeah. Is it okay? It's not laggy for you? No, it's not laggy anymore. No? Okay. Okay, okay. <gasps> I need rocket. Yeah, chat. I think, I think I might need to just like I enclose them better. Rockets. So oh, that okay. oh, um, I can give it to you. Oh, it's like it's like I either yeah. either I need to I have, have it cover oh, everything. Like I'm running out of rock. Or I need to encase them I better, know. which I was gonna cover. Like this shouldn't be in the corner, right? That should be covered. But I think I need to move them back so they're forced to stand here. Yeah. All right. So the I think that's what I need to three, do. I just like this three, aesthetically, three, but. 40? I don't think yeah, it matters that much. Way. So if I just move the, the fence here, you know, one one back, and they're stuck on that grass block, I think I think that's oh, fine, that's honestly. Far right? away. This layout should work. We'll see. Oh. We'll see. Cause like, see list. how some of them are landing here? I don't think it'll grab that. But it looked like well, that red one disappeared. This is a lot better compared to the flying around the. Yeah. And yeah. Cause it's a void. <laughs> Yeah, so it's, oh it's my functioning. God, so it's just scary. that some things might fall through the cracks need to a little find bit. More. Yes, more. Mm. But we managed to find a lot. Mm. That's true. Yeah. More than I thought. Should I get more I know, of the right? same wood to fill in this? Probably. <gasps> yeah, yeah. Does it look? I think it's looking oh, good. Oh my god, I got a leg. But it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Is it okay? It's fine. Okay, okay. <laughs> I see you flying. You're like. Oh, like, I see you flying too! Slow, moving slow at like fly. 3 FPS. <laughs> no, 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 oh, sorry! No. 
Zoom! I love Editora. It's so good. It's the best thing ever. I don't have any rockets, so I'm just wearing mine for now because I still have to put mending and unbreaking on it just in case, so I'm not using it yet. <gasps> Wait, you can use my rockets in my warehouse. <gasps> no, it's okay. I'll put I'll I'll put my enchantments on it first and then I'll then I'll steal them. <laughs> okay. Anytime. Anytime. Oh no, oh, no, 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 am I die? Uh oh, uh oh. oh. Are you alright? What kind I, of dying? I, I see nothing. I'm in I I see nothing. <gasps> Did you fall through the uh -oh. world? Nothing is loading for me. The world is not loading. <gasps> mm. oh! I'm in a how tree. How much for your um the distance? It's the like distance? Uh, uh I don't know. All right, chat. It, it's just really bad lag. Chat, what's oh, the verdict? Do you think I move them one back so they're forced yeah. into one? Or do you think that I just sucks. let some not make it in? <laughs> it's so bad. I see you behind me. Really? Mm. I could even place. Yeah. What the heck? I could even place something across here to force them I in and then leave the front like this. Like, like I could put glass across here, you know, because their head would get I... pushed back. On my way back. You know what I mean. On my way. Hopefully, I don't die. You know what I mean. But I'm at the minus two thousand. Do it. Okay. Should I move the front of this back? Or should I place like fence up higher and then just place what? glass across? The oh really? Front? Oh that's yeah. Jungle. I box them in. I have them in a single glass also, tile Also, I'm box. trying to find a mesa biome as well. No, widen the tracks. Mesa biome? Mm, mesa biome. I did that. Uh, oh, I still haven't the found one, one yet. Looks like a curry if I did that, I'd have to make them like. Yeah, I still haven't found that one I'd to, yet. I'd have to have it come out here. What is this place? Go like that, oh, yeah. and then come back. I loaded it already. And then go there was around. nothing in there. It was just fire. <laughs> or something the like that, you know. Balls. Oh, I see it. Or I could have it oh. loop here and go back. There's a lot of either where I'm scared. Oh, hello. I could do that. Hello. I could. Especially hello. since I have these places. Which Ooh. one do you want to go to I first? I like this, though. Oh! Anyway. Ooh. <laughs> What's your recommendation? Mm. Let's go to this one, because it's closer. Okay. I don't think about it. The Observer only sees one block though, right? Yeah, I but it's it just because things could drop here <gasps> Thank or here. You. So if the hopper's only We're almost there. tapping these, it'll only absorb Ooh, things that are above this here. block, we'll not above fly. this block. Ah! You know? Oh, I see it! Yeah, I guess I'll do that. That way the top can look oh, the way I want it. I'll do it, I'll do it. How do we get the portal to do here? Because there's no platform. Yeah, we what have are to they make one. About? What are they cooking? Oopsie. to make one. What are they cooking? Do you have any blocks? Oh shit. Oh my god. Ah! Ah! What's happening over there? <laughs> I don't have any blocks. We got cursed. Yeah, we got cursed. <gasps> oh. I see. But they I didn't bring see. any blocks. I should have brought some. Oh, I'm so well, 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 well. The genius did. Ah, yeah. That's why you're the <laughs> genius. That's why people call me I genius. forgot. I forgot that there wasn't an island around. I was like, oh yeah, we'll probably do it on the island. And then Figure I remember, I do this. wait, there's no island. <laughs> yeah, there is no island. How do okay, I want to do this? Can I have it come here? Above the sea I it's here. No, because I want them to be able to walk down these stairs. Oh wait, I need an island to open up my ender chest. <laughs> I think I should just do it back oh, this no. way. <laughs> Maybe if we could like, uh, place a block like at the yeah, top of this. And, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. And lead it like away. Yep. Oh, maybe. Hold up. If oh I my god. Do it in here. And then we're gonna ow, move ow, this. Ow. Could you stop? Back. Could you stop? Ow, ow! Ow! Is it socks or is it? <laughs> yeah, he's. They're hitting us. Oh, it's them hitting you. <laughs> yeah. I was like, it they sounds don't like... like us here. <laughs> ow! I was assuming she was getting bitten by her cat. I was like, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Use ladder. Aesthetically, I don't want to. I think if we could find the... Uh... I recognize that it is objectively mm. more efficient, but... Oh, man. I prefer the feeling Ugh. of walking oh, down no. the stairs. I can't fly because I need to land. Wah! Okay, okay, okay. Maybe we can make a land in here? Maybe? Yeah. Right, let me um, see if I can Do I need try to pull it out one more? Maybe I don't, maybe I don't. Oh, yeah! Oh my god, I, I have okay scaffolding this... too! Nicer! Let me know if you need me to bring anything over there. You sound like you're suffering. <laughs> yeah, Story it's a lot of suffering. Me every day. I'm adjusting my, <gasps> my minecart, my track here. And then let me put my... Thank you. Go like... Oh, I can't place my ender chest in here. 
Oh, we need a... <gasps> can I get this one? Oh, can this one not be if a... I put, like, a... Uh... Do you have dirt? No, wait, you don't have dirt. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I can... Oh! An L shape. That's what I was trying to say. An L shape. Okay. Noted. Do this way, and I'll connect that after. I'll fix it. I'll break this up and fix it after. But for right now. Smart, smart. That's why people call me genius. Thank you. Henya making genius claims yet again. I thought we would have interesting. But I forgot there's no island. Turn it around like that one. Okay, so needs to I'm go this way. Here and I'm gonna make a nether portal in here. Yeah. So I make, we can make a nether highway. Okay, okay, okay. Super fast highway you gotta to get go. and farm. Okay. Oh. I'll make proper stairs later. They're just struggling over there. The fishes, <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> How's Wait, your adventure on. going? Is it fun and great? Is nothing going wrong? Nothing's what going wrong. wrong. Yep. Okay. Maybe. All right. I see. Are you sure? <gasps> I forgot my f flint. Flint? Oh, no. I don't have my flint and steel either. Fuck. <gasps> ah! I'll go get it. Take it now. <laughs> You're gonna be okay. I can go get it. Oh, oh my god, the leg! Oh my god, I'm lagging. Hold on. <laughs> my leg. My leg. Hang on. Oh, I have an idea. Oh, wait, I don't have an idea. Oh, wait, I have an idea. Oh, wait, I want this is to there, rejoin. Is there like, down there? Here? You have an iron? I, I like have an iron, but I don't can start have here, a right? flint. Can you go, go around. Go Goes Ooh, here. Loops back. Down here. Goes there. Maybe? Maybe there needs to oh then loop goodness. back like here and hit and hit this. Oh my god, it's so like a loop here. Frick. Come on. You know, ooh. I have to be careful with that. Ah, the curse. Oh, I need you, you get what I'm oh going god. for, right? Like 13 seconds of curse. Like that. And then this will go this way. Oh, can I place I don't think I can place it on the chest. It takes forever. <laughs> I gotta put it around. There you go. Fine. This, is, this would be so jank, though. I don't want to actually put it around. I could put the chest underneath the... Gravel, please. Hopper. Gravel, I could do that. I have too much shit in here, though. But, not that but one. I could put the chest underneath gravel, the hopper, doo -doo. right? And then and then do a thing like that. Um, oh, <laughs> it stopped there. Do you see him? Oh. It goes here. Mm. I could place more as well and just place the chest out one. Just stone. I think I think I'll do it. I'll do it that way. I'll do it that way. Um, I'm like, sorry looking. if I keep losing track. My cat loves to walk in front of Come on. everything. Well, it's supposed to be under the sand. All right, let's. He's having it. a great time. Yeah, I've trying to get me to feed him because I will. I will do that very soon. <laughs> oh God. I will. Stone. I will. I only see stone. Okay, so I'll place the chest here. Ah, I found it. Give it just... Yeah. I found it. Yeah. No, no flint. Okay, yet. okay, okay. Flint. I will place mine, please. And I will Lead put this down as well, because I can see. Ah, I found it! Let's Whoops. go! Whoops, I was crouching. Yeah. Place you. And then I will place oh, the oh, hopper. Oh, 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 I have to get it into there. Um, We're going to go like this. And then I will place you. Okay. Uh, is that in there? Oh, yeah, it is. Do you have... Oh, okay, never mind. Now it can pass along there. I thought I needed a crafting that table, but apparently I didn't. That should work, and I, I think I need to add more powered rails, maybe. Oh, okay. So I need redstone oh, torches, there but... There you go! That should <laughs> work. Right. It's time to see what's in That's there. That's a loop. Uh, I hope it's not bad. That Ooh. is a loop. Okay, so I don't need this guy, though. I could put Whoa. a powered rail here, maybe, and Wait. power it. That would be good. So Work cool. forest finally. It's oh, oh wait, I need we to. Are, we are too not too shit. far. Too really? Well, I Give mean, me. we are kind of far, but not. Okay, not okay, like okay. Hold on, let me. Let me, let me Ooh, take it's working, shot. guys. Ooh. Okay. okay. Put you here. Um. Where do I want to place my redstone? Probably want to do like. Wait, Giggles here before? Really? 
Where was I? We're at the, the blue nether. forest. We're in the warp forest in the nether. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was... I don't know if I was at the exact one you're at, but I was at one earlier. Oh. I, I post a screenshot. Okay. My wolf farm is coming along while you guys struggle over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. If we just go straight east, we would make it to the other portal. Okay, let's see. I have one okay. here. Yeah, look, look at the... One here. The screenshot Are you sure I, I have enough? It probably needs to be powered again right so over here or something. That long line, that's, the, that's the line that you made. Oh! Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. I see, I see. Oh my god, yeah. your map that. is so good. I oh. made that. And then... Uh, we will all have that soon. It should we make will. it, but I don't know. Yeah. Wait, do you need to use Just a forge case. to make up... Just a in case. We'll Minecraft? put this here. Yeah. Oh, I have enough I anyway. Uh, I, I don't know what Tofu's gonna... Uh, do you think we're gonna... We're gonna need that, right? Ego? Getting which one? Forge. To use forge for the modern Minecraft. I think so. I think so. Oh. I'm gonna ask him about it. Thank you. We're still we're still in the phase where we're deciding. So if you have any mods that you really want or anything yeah. you don't want, just let me know. Um, I just want like want... more biomes and uh, more realms, mm -hmm. please. That's... Like, uh... I have a one mod in Minecraft that I want to try. So I'll send oh, you later. One? Which one? Which one? I I forgot the name, but I'll send <laughs> you later. What does it let wait, you do? Wait. Frick, hold on. How you guys find this waiting for me? I I I, I should go. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do your thing. Bye. Bye, Henry. I think, I think uh, everybody is uh, like a welcome and joining in the VC, I think, to okay. watch the video because he's going to mute it and Ooh, uh, just okay. share the screen. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, Sounds yeah. good. I'll probably eat and then and then join after. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'm doing crazy stuff. Okay. I'm just getting my thingy here to work, and then, uh... And then I'm good. <laughs> uh! I done did it again. Wait, how this sheep... Oh, my free-floating sheep made it down here with me. Get the fuck out. Get out. Get the sheep out of here. <laughs> I hate this damn sheep. <laughs> My house is going crazy with these sheep. <laughs> oh no. They're making me crazy. Oh. <laughs> it's time. Oh my <laughs> god. I can't, I can't go back home because I can't see. The fucking lag is so bad. Oh no. <laughs> How the is the lag? So I'm wondering bad. why the lag is so bad for just you. I don't know. It's just maybe in, get, it's in the nether, not, not far from, like, spawn, or...? No, I went out. I was just gonna fly back home. Mm. Maybe it's but something over there that's, like, so affecting bad. it. I wonder, I wonder. Yeah, we're loading a lot of fucking chunks. Yeah. So many chunks. Let me show you my chunk. Girl, you keep I'll loading all them chunk. chunks. Alright, I'm gonna... Let me see if this thing will help. Yeah. <gasps> Please. The sheep can't fit through the trap doors. Oh no. I'll move them just for him. Just for him. Yeah, it must it must just be all the chunks. I guess I guess if yeah, you log out and then wait like a second and then come back, like it it'll have unloaded the chunks and maybe maybe it won't be so bad. Maybe. Oh my god. Okay, I did it. I hear my cat behind me. What are you touching? <gasps> oh. Minding his own business. He's he was he was picking at a little thingy. I know what he was doing. Thinks he's a real slick. Oh my god, this sheep just went back down into the basement. I hate this goddamn sheep. <laughs> I hate this sheep. I'm gonna fucking kill it. It's this one red sheep. He thinks he's real funny. He thinks he's so funny. I 
Oh shit. Oh fuck, I fell. Uh oh. Now I fell. Now you're gonna be carried around on the minecart. Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> oh. oh wait, I need to do this the other way. There we go. Saved it. Saved it. Oh my god. Come <laughs> on, lag, please! It's still happening. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh god. This is the worst. This is the worst. I'm gonna die. <laughs> no. All right. Me and my sheep bestie here. I'm gonna get him in this damn thing. Oh my god. <gasps> when did Zen come back? I hadn't. I hadn't seen her name in the thingy. <gasps> Zen. Zam try a come back to us. All right. Well, I think I've done it. I need to fix the upstairs. But my shit works. My shit works and I'm glad. I'm glad your shit works. Yeah. Oh my god. I got disconnected from the server. What the fuck? Oh, it DC'd you this time? Yeah, what the fuck? Maybe maybe if I log out so everything's unloaded. It shouldn't matter because it's loading client side for you. Well, actually, no. Maybe it is server side. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna disconnect. Yeah. I'm gonna disconnect and wait <gasps> a minute for you. Fogey, pay your server. <gasps> Fogey, please. Fogey, please help. Hey, the damn server, please. We'll see. Because I, I was loading in all this stuff that was going on just now with, like, my redstone shit. So I wonder if, uh, I wonder if me being logged out will help. We'll see. But I was going to end and raid Henyer so I can go eat food. I hope you enjoy eating your food. Yeah. And then after that, um, maybe, maybe I'll see if I can join her for the thing. But guys, she's doing a tour of the Tokyo Games Show. Is that the name of it? Is that the official name? Um, and Haigai is going to be walking around and, and yeah. carrying VTubers. So if anyone is able to join, she'll be in the VC so we can just hop in. So if I can later, I'll see if I can. But nice. she's setting that up right now. Oh, so hi. let's go do that. It's been real fun. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. It was chill. I was supposed to play Doom Eternal today, but I slept like shit. So I was like, I don't... I don't know if I, my brain can do this right now. <laughs> I'm like so sleep depressed. Oh my god. I even I even typed slash raid iron mouse. I didn't hit enter though. I start I I wrote iron mo and then I was like, wait. <laughs> if that shows how sleep deprived I am right now. So I need to take a nap. I need to eat some damn food and then I'll get good sleep and then I'll be back tomorrow morning for chatting, not on my stream. Yeah. And then I'll have a normal stream in the afternoon and we're gonna do Valheim, which I don't know if you can join for, but. I will try my best to be there. Okay. I'm gonna do Valheim. And then, uh, yeah. Yay, yippee, hooray. <laughs> Thanks for joining, guys. Thanks for joining, Mouth. I'm gonna say bye to chat. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. All right. Thank you for joining. I'll be back tomorrow at the normal time. Uh, tomorrow's Valheim day, so we can get more shit done. And then we have uh, Saturday, I have an Apex tournament. I'm in Nia's tournament. And that will be with me and IPN and RPR on a team. I don't think I will be streaming that. I'll, I'll send you to one of their POVs. And then I might stream Saturday night probably on YouTube. I just haven't set up the waiting room the exact time yet. But probably the usual Saturday night thing I do. And then Sunday is also a normal stream. 3 p.m. EST. Yep. And I'll see if maybe I can do Doom Sunday since I didn't do it today. Sound good? Sound good? Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for bearing with my half-functioning brain. Um, I'll be back at it tomorrow normally because I will actually get sleep, or so I hope. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat food now. Thank you. Enjoy, enjoy the walkthrough with Hi Guy and Henya. 
and I'll see, I'll see if I can pop in a little bit later for at least a little bit. And if not, I'll be in chat watching, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Goodbye.